everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and as you see we have an open challenge for Mohammedan from around the world to call us you know the Muslims they uh, this is what they do uh, you know sometimes some Christians they make you know silly comment or even silly uh, uh, statement or even debate so J. Smith he said that uh, Zakir Naik is the most dangerous person and I was laughing at actually I am the one who keep mentioning the name of Zakir Naik and his video in every video we go almost live on air because he is the best comedy not the most dangerous man so you know this is a good a great example you know this is why the Muslims they use your comment if you are a Christian especially when you make a foolish one those are foolish comments how this person can be any kind of danger to Christianity unless the one he is talking to is an idiot this guy did not know his religion he did not know ours so how he can be dangerous because he can quote a verse by heart but then the second he start talking about the verse people will start laughing so the most time they use always statement made by some Christians to promote an idea or to promote Islam or etc actually I saw in the chat somebody saying that Muhammad was number one According to a guy who wrote a book, a guy who wrote a book, he said Muhammad is number one. I'm, I'm going to make a book, I will make Muhammad number one. But still, that book you are mentioning, speaking about him as a criminal, as a warmonger, not as a peaceful man. So I can say Hitler is number two. Not even Jesus, not even Musa, not even anyone, because as long as we are complaining about who is the one who killed more well Muhammad will win you know so people they are desperate and they try to find uh, you know something good about the religion and the funny is if Zakir Naik is the most dangerous one to Christianity that's mean Muhammad is not <laughs> Zakir Naik is your God <laughs> and that again will show you that when a foolish Muslim he tried to make a foolish uh, like a uh, promotion he you know he got busted his profit you know this is what uh, let me let me open the page for you or the picture this is what the Muslims they meet Christian apologist uh, J Smith admits okay what he admit dr. Zakir Naik is the most dangerous man to Christianity in the world well, thank you very much. That's mean if this is true, that's mean Muhammad is nothing, Allah is nothing, the Quran is nothing, Zakir, Zakir Naik is everything. And why he is so dangerous? Because he can quote a verse. He did not know the Bible by heart. He knew some verses. He want to use them. And the second he start quoting them, we love. And this is my open challenge for all the Muslims. Feel free to call me either to quote a question from Zakir Naik or to ask me to play a video of Zakir Naik and we will die laughing at it, whatever you want. Anyway, there's a Muslim, he is so desperate <clears throat> uh, to call me. He is from Indonesia, I believe. I told him, just hold your horses, let me go live. <coughs> <coughs> Sir, hello. Hello. Yes, sir, Mr. Muhammad. Turn, turn off your camera, please. Uh, uh, Christian Prince. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm from Indonesia. Uh, first, uh, sorry if my language is not good. Yeah. Uh, tur you, you said... Turn off your camera. Your camera is on. Maybe you don't notice. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Unless you want to show your face, I don't mind to put your face in the screen. It's up to you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, using my shirt. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, you say uh, all of the teaching of Islam is bad. Yeah. Uh, all the teaching of uh, Nabi Muhammad... Uh, what do you think about the teaching of I think uh, Islam is good because what do you think about a riba? What about riba? What is that riba? Uh, 
uh, that's a a good thing uh, the teaching uh, from yeah, Nabi but this Muhammad. Is, but this is something you, you know Muhammad he is copying from the Old Testament interest is forbidden in the Bible so he didn't know if I copy what somebody else before me he said doesn't make me bring in something good so you are quoting for me something good from the Bible not from Islam because mm. our book came thousands of years before Muhammad even exists uh, because because in in the Bible the in the Bible hmm. uh, uh, it's it said uh, riba is uh, it's uh, I'm sorry uh, hmm. it's it's good from for uh, the same Jews but show me uh, show, me, also, show, me, show uh, me where it says that go ahead. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, hmm. Let me ask you first. Uh, uh, are you sure from what you are saying that interest is is lawful in the Bible? <clears throat> uh, sorry. Are you sure that you know it is lawful in the Bible to make interest? Because riba is interest. Uh, yeah, but in the Bible it say uh, uh, y you can. Uh, Give a riba to the another where, where, Jews. Where, where it says that? Uh, uh, where, where it says that? Hmm? Wait, I, I, I will open uh, the book. Yeah, open your book. Here we go. This is Mr. Muhammad. He is looking for the verse. This is my friend. This is the this is the Bible. It says it clearly that you cannot make any benefit from lending money to the poor and the one who take a mortgage anyway he's a poor exodus 22 25 to 27 so what you said is absolutely false uh in indonesian uh Ulangan number what? 23, uh, chapter 23, number... What? What is the name of the book? 19. Uh, what is it? In the... Um, Moses, Moses, ulangan, ulangan. Uh, what is it in the English? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 there is no, there is no such uh, thing. Deuter Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. Okay. Chapter 23. All right. Ayat 19. Okay, read it for us. Go ahead, read it for us. Say the opposite of what you are saying. <laughs> it says the opposite. It says you shall not. Take it easy, relax, 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 relax. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. I understand. Yes. So you see, it says the opposite. Now let us go to the Quran then. In the Quran, you cannot take interest, but you can steal the money of your neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You cannot take money. Okay, did, did your prophet he borrow? Did your prophet borrow according to Muslims? He borrow money from mm -hmm. the Jews? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, of okay. course, but, so, uh, okay. not, no, I will go with you, no, 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 hold on, hold, riba. Hold, hold on, hold on, as long as you are the one who said the Jews, they take, they, they take riba, they take interest, correct? So, I will go with yes. you, so this Jewish guy, he take interest, and uh, Muhammad, Jews and, take riba hold on, hold on, another... hold on, hold on, and Muhammad, he borrow money from the Jew, that means Muhammad, he do interest business. Uh, it's not say, uh, he, he take, uh, riba. Okay, With the did, he, did, he, did he give him the uh, money? Did he give them the money because he loved him? Uh, because uh, we have to help. <laughs> the Jewish guy, he gave him the money, not the opposite. The Jewish guy, he gave your prophet money, according to you Muslims, according to your Muslim stories. Oh. So when the Jewish guy, he gave your oh. prophet money, loan, did he charge him interest or not? <laughs> you see, you are the one who said... 
the Jews they do uh -huh. that, right? Okay, I agree. Some of the Jews they do that. Why not? You know, because yeah, they, they, are yes, not, yes. they are not a true believers. You know, but if they are following yeah. the Torah, if they follow the Torah, uh -huh. they shall not show. You know, uh, charge interest. And you are the one who quote for me verses. You thought this verse says the opposite, but as you see, it says you shall not charge interest. So the one who do business with the riba is your prophet because your prophet he borrow money from the Jews. So what kind of a prophet he himself he encourage interest and riba? Huh? If he is a prophet of yeah. God, he refuse. And why your prophet is asking a Jew to lend him money? He don't ask Allah. Uh, because uh, in the Bible it says hmm. Jews can give a riba to another uh, what's it goyim not uh, not to my, uh, my, 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 my friend my friend hold on hold on you are the one who quote for me the verse and the verse says you shall not you shall not charge interest it is you yes, who chose yes. for me the verse I'm reading the verse you chose for me I'm not reading the from verse so I did, did go with you. And I say, okay, this is the verse you are talking about. And you're a prophet, mm -hmm. he was borrowing money, and he was paying a riba. And you know, if you pay riba, according to Islam, the one who pay riba and the one who take riba, both of them, they are practicing, start practicing something haram, correct? Uh -huh. Do you agree? That the one who pay interest and the one who take interest, both of them, they are doing wrong. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. so you're a prophet is a bad person because he was paying interest. Uh, where, where? where he, did, didn't he borrow from where? the Jew? Didn't he borrow from the Jew? And uh, you are the yeah, one. Yes, but oh, okay, hold on. Uh, you, see, uh, you see, Abdul, listen, Abdul. A second ago, you said to me that if you are a Gomai, the Jews, they will charge you interest, and Muhammad is a Gomai for them. Uh, can can you uh, give me a uh, ayat in the Quran where the Nabi Muhammad? This is not in the Quran. Uh, this is your in, in your hadith stories and in, in, in the madness of Islam. You know, you, you must then fabricate tons with, of stories. With with, you know? with the interest to Jews, with the interest. Well, the Jew he will not give him money unless he pay him interest. The, 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 he, he's not doing a charity work. The Jewish guy he is not doing a charity work. This is his business. Uh, can, can, so can you show me money. the hadith? Can you show me? <laughs> Okay, let me let me look for the hadith. <laughs> All right, let us go to Sahih al Bukhari, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. So you cannot say, you cannot say this is not a true. Mm -hmm. All right. And I believe this is always a fabrication, but you know, you Muslims, you come to us with a story and we love them. Here we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. It says, when the Messenger of Allah, P-B-U-H, this is like kind of a chemical, you know, you put together, you get Muhammad, died, he, his armor was mortgage with the Jew for thirsty measure of whatever, like, you know, a container of whatever money do you see it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah there's no uh interest it's it's yeah well no he, he, the, this, uh, is, this is the guarantee this is the guarantee for the loan if you don't pay the loan with the interest the man he will sell uh -huh. this armor No, no, it no, says no, 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 it says that he took his armor and he gave them the money this is until now there is many people practice it you go to the store uh, you, you know the, the, those people who do this business you give them something valuable they will not sell it they will give you time okay how long you want the money you say six months but then if you don't give yeah. them the money back with the interest after six months you lose the you lose the armor and you have to pay the interest uh, it's a it's a, just a guarantee not a interest but, but hold on, you are the one who told me, you forgot what you said to me? If a Jew, he want to give his money to a Gomai, he will charge him interest. It's you who said that to me. You were lying to me a second ago? Did you lie to me? You were lying, don't you? Breathe, breathe, it's okay. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I I will open the YouTube for to to read. Wait. Uh. Uh, no, I can give you the link if you want. No problem. Uh, oh, okay, give okay. Uh, okay. Give me a link, please. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is a new Skype. Here we go. Open the link and uh, you can open YouTube if you want, but you have to mute YouTube so we don't have the two sounds coming back. Here we go. This is the link. Everybody heard you saying that a Jew, if he is lending money to a Gomai, he will charge him interest. People heard you. Even, even me, by the way, because you're in his, he, you know, he pee in my ears when I'm sleeping, as the prophet said. So I heard you. I heard you saying, a Jew, he give, he charge interest to a Gomai. And Muhammad is a Gomai. And the one who practice interest paying and interest taking, both of them, they will go to hell. The prophet died while his armor was mortal to a Jew. Yes, but this is, uh, there's no say interest or riba my friend uh, we are connecting the dot aren't you the one who said to me the jews they charge interest especially if you are not a jew like them did you say that or no uh, sorry did you say to me that the jews they yes. charge interest if someone is not a jew like them he is a gomai did you say that yes okay yes muhammad yes. is not a jew uh, like them correct yeah, yeah. So when the Jews, when this Jewish guy, he gave him the money, that's me, Muhammad, he agreed to pay him. Okay. Uh, okay. That's me, Muhammad is a bad person. Uh, uh, so what, what about the, the teaching of the riba in the Quran? Well, the Quran says that's... that Muhammad, based on what you told me now, Muhammad will go to hellfire. If we go to the Quran, we will find the following verse. It says, those who practice those things, which Muhammad, he just practiced, and you prove it to me by yourself, those who practice those things, they will end in hellfire. Alhamdulillah. What do you, what do you say? Like it says it says in the Quran, Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu, la ta'kulu zina, sorry, riba, ad'afan mudha'afa, wa attaqullaha, la hallakum tuflihun, wa attaqun nara lati u'iddat lil kafirin. So those who do that, they will go to hellfire. Uh, yes, uh, I, I know it, but uh, in the Quran, uh, what, what? Oh, hold on, hold on, Sahih. hold on. What do you mean you know it? When you say to me, you know it. So you agreed now that your prophet is going to go to hellfire. Uh, uh, can you give me what the interpretation? What interpretation? Of, even of, this one, of the hadith, even, of the hadith, even this of the hadith, one, okay, uh, Sahib even this Bukhari, one, even uh, this one need interpretation. Uh, can you open the interpretation? Okay, the, even this one uh, need interpretation. I, I, will hear, uh, I thought it can open any interpretation you want. Taking interest despite it's forbidden, and cons uh, and consuming people worth unjustly. We have prepared for the disbelievers among them painful punishment. Only disbelievers they do that. Muhammad he practiced that. We forbid the Jews okay. certain foods. We forbid the Jews from certain things. And then Muhammad he practiced as the Jews they do. What do you say? Uh, okay, I, I will uh, ask my, hmm. why, my you, why, sheikh. why you don't call your sheikh to speak to me right now? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I will uh, ask my sheikh. No, no, no. Why you don't call or... Muhammad? Muhammad, why you don't call your sheikh okay. now? Let him join us right now. What do you think? Uh, uh, because uh, I have to check. He will, he will answer me. You do not need to check. You just sit and watch. He's a sheikh. Just watch how he will lose his beard, life on air. Mm -hmm. huh? If your sheikh cannot debate me, so who is the one can debate me? 
because now your excuse is you want to go and check with your shake but sh your shake is shaky this is why he will not dare to call me so call him right now say hey listen this guy he dies life with me don't tell him that yeah, my name is a christian prince tell him this guy is a christian and now he's arguing mm -hmm. with me huh and let him join us what do you think okay okay i uh, i will ask uh, to my you, you, you repeat the uh, same again no i say why you don't call him now call him call him now why you don't call your shake now put him live with me uh, give me a time uh, because i have to okay okay the, I, I will give you time i will uh, give you time uh, let's so muhammad so now you know you call me and you are the one who is trying to prove to me islam is from god which god is that who is your god Yes. Who is your God? What is? Yes. Who is Allah? Allah is my God. Okay. Who is this God? Allah. Okay. Where, where in the Quran it says that Allah is your God? Can you show me? Uh, uh about that uh, I have to study because uh, uh. Even this one you need to study. Uh, Listen. The Quran mentioned in the Quran, the first verse in the Quran says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, correct? Yes. Okay, who is saying that verse? What? What? Who is the one saying in the name what? of Allah? Uh, Nabi Muhammad. Muhammad saying that is not Allah? I thought the Quran is from Allah. I thought this is Allah is talking. The God of Muhammad is talking. Uh, uh, because that, that's a revelation from uh, Jibril. Okay, so Jibril, he revelation. So uh, the God of Muhammad is Jibril. Who's talking here? Those words, who is the one who is the one who made those words? The Quran is the uh, word no, of no. Allah or the word of Muhammad? The word of God or the word of Muhammad? Uh, Jibril... Uh, say to nabi muhammad to okay and who, pray, to, and who uh, told jibril to say those words who told jibril to say those words from yes that from allah okay so how allah he say in the name of allah if allah is your god and allah is talking how he say in the name of allah i go to your house i knock at your door and i say to you in the name of christian prince but i'm a christian prince Uh, okay, Christian Prince, uh, I think uh, I will call you later. No, no, why do you want to call me later? Like, we, we are in it. Okay, do you like Zach and Naik? Do you like Zach and Naik? Uh, no, I like uh, Nabi Muhammad. Why you like Nabi Muhammad? Why, why you like Nabi Muhammad? You don't like Zach and Naik? What happened? His beard is better. What's wrong? Why Why you like Nabi Muhammad? Why you call him Nabi anyway? Nabi means the prophet. Can you show me one prophecy in the Quran he said? Here we go. We have the whole book. Do you show me? Can you show me any prophecy? We call somebody prophet if he have a prophecy and the prophecy come true. As an example, I am, you know, I am, I have another account in YouTube. It's called Arabian Prophet. Why? Because I prophesy. As an example, I prophesy uh, six months after Trump he won the election that he will win. Amazing. How do I know? You know, I prophesy that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, indonesia uh, uh, is going to have a president his name is uh, you know the one you have now uh, two years after he became president amazing how i know so what make your prophet a prophet you muslim you call him prophet i don't see anything about him to be true can you show me one thing he said come to be true okay christian friends uh, give me time uh, i have to uh, study this uh, this topic hmm. you, so you, I will you need to, you need to you study later. how old are you now yes how old are you 27 okay so you spent 27 years to call me to tell me in Islam we don't have riba and then we find in two minutes uh, that your prophet was practicing riba 
Okay, give me give me time. Like how many times? You, you, you had already 27 years and you come with nothing. Oh. Uh, one day, one day, one day. Should, should one I give day, you 27 years more? Okay, can you give me one uh, more thing? Me okay, just give me one more thing. I, I will ask. Okay, Mohammed, before you go, before you go, you see, I'm trying to take advantage of having you because you're amazing. So, I, I not always I see smart Muslims around me. Honestly, you are the first. So, I'm asking you now, can you show me one thing about your prophet, making him prophet? Anything. What do you remember to make Muhammad the prophet? Why you call him prophet? Just remember anything. <clears throat> yes, because uh, uh, I'm teaching uh, from a uh, child uh, because the Islam is a good religion. So uh -huh. it's a good religion. This is why a woman she cannot walk around the street in your uh -huh. country. Otherwise, she will be kidnapped or she will be raped. Can a, can a woman she walk in Pakistan alone? Can a woman she walk alone in the street in Saudi Arabia? If Islam is good and Islam make people good, then a woman she will be protected because everybody is a believer and nobody will do anything to her. But well, this is the opposite what happened. Just a few days ago, you can watch it in YouTube. They kidnap a man to rape him in Saudi Arabia. He is he is an Asian like a guy like you in the gas station. They opened the back door of the car and they were asking him to fill up the gas. And when he finished, they pushed him inside the car, one from inside and one from behind him. And they take him to rape him. So how come Islam is a good religion, but Muslims who follow Islam mm -hmm. are not being good to their own women, to their own children? Was Muhammad good to children? I think I think so. Okay, do you, do you have a daughter? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, if your no, daughter, I... she is six years old, are you going to marry her to someone who is 54 years old? Uh, I I see in the YouTube uh, from Sek, well, uh, about that ayat, uh, maybe you can see the channel of YouTube uh, Imran Hussein. Uh -huh. uh, about this that hadith yeah what uh, tell, me, tell me what uh, what Imran Hussain he said tell me tell me his name is Imran uh, Hussain uh, <laughs> I yes uh, about that hadith that's not a sahih hadith oh it's not sahih but this is a Bukhari So Al Bukhari now, according to Imran Potato, is not Sahih. So what is Sahih in Islam? Then Sahih means it's not correct. That's mean you Muslim are a bunch of liars. So if the most authentic book in Islam is fake, that means all of Islam is fake. Islam is not in the Quran. Islam in Sahih Al Bukhari. All the Sunni religion is in Sahih Al Bukhari. Is not in the Quran. The Quran there is muta. In Sahih Al Bukhari there is no muta. Which one you follow? So if you are saying Sahih Bukhari is fake, that's meaning Muslims are a bunch of liars. Who can trust Islam and Muslim then? So the Muslim they spent 1400 years collecting the hate of the Prophet to the end. Today said to say to us at the end, all what we collected was fake. It was a lie. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, the ulama still have a different opinion about Ah, they have hadith. different opinion. Ah, no, no, nobody have different opinion. All the one who have different opinion, those are YouTubers. All of them, they are potatoes, liars. The ulama they don't have different. This is a lie. Who is the one? Uh, 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 the Imam Al Bukhari is a big Imam. He is a ulama. Who is the ulama who says this is not true? Okay, can you show me the ayat? This is a hadith. It says here. Uh, the, yes, Aisha, yes, she said. Yes. Can you, can, but you know, you know what? You... I suspect that Aisha, when she said that hadith, she was drinking too much vodka. You know, and she was like messed up. So she was. She want to say that the prophet he married me when I was sixty. You know, but because she is drunk, she said six years old. What do you think? Wait, wait. The prophet married her when she was six years old, and uh -huh. he consum consummated his marriage when 
she was nine years old, mm. and and then she remained with him for nine years. That means she, Muhammad he died. She wasn't even eighteen. Uh, Why a I man? I think nine, nine. I think nine years old. No, no. He married her at the age of six. He was molesting her from six to nine. At a nine, he had intercourse, but from six to nine, she's his wife. It says they are, she did not say he engaged to me, it says he married me. He married her, but because she is too small, you know, the Prophet, his private part is so big. According to Muslim hadith, it was so huge, man. You know, to the point he spent like 10 hours to find it when he opened his zipper. But regardless of this, the Prophet, according to Aisha, he was married to her at the age of six, but at nine, he put it in, excuse my language. I don't know what he put in, to be honest with you. It might be something else, I don't know. Okay. Okay, what? Uh, yes, uh, it says like that. Mm, like that. So what kind of a prophet? So you call me to talk about riba. You are not worried about the child molester? So the Prophet, he forbid the riba, and then he is, he is doing riba. The Prophet, he is against riba, but he is doing child molestation. Which one is more dangerous? And all of you Muslims, you practice riba today. Not a single one of you. And there's banks in Saudi Arabia, they just gave a different name for the riba. This is what the Muslims do. They change the name. They call it investment money. Eh? What investment money? This is interest. Uh, that's the, a the open, the bank. open Islamic bank. Sharia. This is all a, is a lie. You Muslims you are a bunch of liars. You you play around. You 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 trick even your God. So your God, he says you don't do riba, and then you open a bank and you say you call it Islamic bank, and we don't we don't pay interest, but we pay pay investment. It's the same. You have to change your name. We don't do muta, oh. but we do the was a friend. What is that the was a friend? Oh, we find the girl and we sleep with her in a hotel, <laughs> and we give her some some gifts, money. This is not muta. This is muta. Even muta is better. Or the was a yes, uh, or the uh, or or, or or student marriage. Student marriage. What is that laptop? You go to a different country, you marry a woman, you tell her I want to marry you for three months until I finish my English course. This is your religion. Easy come, easy go. Sex is open, theft is open, adultery is open, lying is open, taking oath in the name of your God is open. Allah, he said in the Quran, Allah will not take you unaccountable for any lies you say in his name. Muhammad himself, he made an oath to his wives. Allah, he sent him, don't worry, be happy. You don't have to keep your oath. <laughs> have you ever heard of God? He, he don't care for people huh? lying, using his name. Uh, what? Where? Where? What? what where? What do you mean the where? You do not know? Let me ask you, if you take an oath in the name of Allah, do you have to keep your oath? To keep what? To keep your oath. Oath. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I don't understand. Understand? Uh... <clears throat> if you take okay, if you say I swear by Allah, yes, to uh, make uh, it okay. okay, okay. So if you swear by Allah, you did not do that. Are you allowed to lie swearing by Allah? Uh, but that I I don't understand about that topic. Oh, you don't understand the topic. Okay, yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. Okay, thank you for calling me, my friend. I want you to call yeah. your sheikh, and uh, yeah. uh, you're a nice person. You know, I'm just trying to share yeah. with you that Islam is a stupid religion. And and by the way, you know, uh, just to let you yeah. know, I'm just warning you: when you go to heaven yeah. after you die, according to Muhammad, Allah will make your mm. penis endless. And then you need to ask yourself: how you can walk with this penis if the penis is endless? I mean, imagine you are living in Indonesia, and then your penis go yeah. all over the ocean, go down in the water, 
and then in the octopus the shark will bite in it you know you, you can imagine turtles even turtles of the sea they will eat it and then your penis keep going keep going keep going go up to china and past china then go to the philippines and they go to singapore and then from singapore take a u-turn and go to england from england go to usa from you in usa they will charge you tax you know for uh, for uh, transit you know for your penis they wouldn't let it go for free and all of this is uh, a promise of god English penis? Maybe that's want? just a metaphor. Oh, a metaphorical of what? Okay, uh, uh, Muhammad, you are smart. So, in this penis, it's a metaphorical of what? Yeah, but I, I don't know. Uh, but I think that's uh, not uh, just a metaphor. A metaphorical of what? You say metaphorical, it's metaphorical of something. It's He's speaking about penis. Even he describes him as a palm tree. He says endless palm tree, not only endless penis. He says like an endless palm tree, you know, like which means like you will have in the top of your penis, you will have a branches, <laughs> ponytail. <laughs> you know, he will look cute, by the way. And women, they will like it, by the way, this way. Like I mean, a penis have hair in the top, like a tree, a palm tree. Maybe people will sit underneath of it. What is a metaphorical of it? Why he is saying endless? Okay, okay. What okay, uh, okay? Yeah, uh, I, I know, but uh, hmm. I think uh, uh, give me time, so I will to... Okay, what do you, what do you, what do you so, think about the Quran? Before you go, just one more, one more thing. What do you think about the Quran promising us, promising us not us, me, you, because I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm a Christian, because, you know? Uh, why, in, why he promised in, me? In my country... Yeah, uh, what happened in your country? Tell me, don't it, tell me, please. If it's a secret, just keep it for yourself. What happened? Because uh, when I child, uh, uh, my, my father and my mother, uh, yeah, that's a good just a good religion uh, we are we we good to another christian in here so i don't see yeah yeah you just uh, i don't, I don't the, know this is, the, this, is yeah. this is muhammad muhammad the one in youtube the ex-muslim the muslim they just beat him in the jail they put feces in his face they force him to eat shit and you are telling me we treat christian nice there it's just last week and until now he's in jail what are you talking about, Muhammad? Are you are you drunk? No, 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 no. All right. So you don't watch the news. You don't see what happened. Your government they put him in jail with people who knew that he is was debating about Islam and he is an ex-Muslim. In order to kill him, they did it in purpose. The government they knew if they put him in jail with other Muslims, the Muslims are so angry from him, so they put him there to die. And all the night they are beating up and nobody heard him. The guard, he did not hear him. The police, nobody noticed. The security camera did not see it. Your government is disgusting, my friend, and we are going to expose them. And maybe soon we are going to have a new country for the Christians like the east of Timor. Just wait. The more you discriminate the Christians, the more those Christians and the, the Buddhas and the Hindus, they will ask for their own land. And there's some land, they are totally the majority are Christians or Hindus or Buddhas. So they will get rid of Islam and they will make their own country. And let us see who is going to visit Indonesia. Nobody. Everybody will visit the island where the Christians are. Everybody will visit the island where the, where the, where the Buddhas are. Nobody will visit terrorists. True or not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Do you like, uh, do you like big breast, Muhammad? Just to change the topic to make to make a to make you cool down because you know i've been maybe i made you angry. Uh, do you like women? yeah it's it's normal yeah it's normal you like women with bigger breasts right well, how big do you like them what how big you like women with, with the breast how big the women breast you like it uh just a normal woman well so why allah he promised me in the quran if i believe in him he will give me big boobs yeah yeah that's what i say maybe uh there is another interpretation from the ulama, so even I have the, to ask even, my even, even boobs have interpretation? Yeah, because 
So about penis, the topic I so had. So penis is a is a metaphorical. Boobs, it's metaphor metaphorical. Metaphorical. Okay, okay. What? Okay, okay. Yeah. It says there, Allah, He will give you big boobs. He did not even say the word women. It's metaphorical for what? But that's in the heaven, not in the in the in the earth. What, so, in, what in the no? Is this in the heaven? In the heaven, you go to heaven. You, so the there second is you another, listen, Abdul, another listen, listen. life. Uh, Allah he uh, will maybe, send you to heaven, and then you enter the heaven. The second you jump in the ground, you don't even touch the ground. You touch boobs. This is why you will be bouncing like bounce, bo boing, 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 big boobs. So what kind of God? He did not even in Arabic. It does not even say the word women. It says kawa ibn atraba, which mean big boobs. Where is the women? There's no women. So th those 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 are boobs without women. There's no women there. The whole verse doesn't say anything about women. Anyone who speak Arabic, I challenge him. Nowhere in the verse it says Allah will give you women with big boobs. It says boobs. So my friend, what kind of God? You enter the heaven, you know, and then you will find big, yeah. huge boobs. Boop. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, okay. But there's uh... no woman. Do you think those boobs are going to be like like a drone? They fly by themselves. You will be surrounded by boobs, like they will be flying around you. Boobs, you know, boobs, you know, and big nipples, you know. What yeah. do you think? Oh. Are they attached or they uh... are not attached? Those big boobs. If there's attachment, like you know, that would make them like a glasses, you know. Okay, uh, Christian Pins, uh This day, uh, I, I I will go to my sex uh, about all the topic. Mm. You say mm. uh, I will ask him, uh, and I hope uh, he want to call you. Okay, so I tell your shake. I cannot wait. I can't wait your Sheikh to call me because he is the one who will answer all the questions and he will show all the Indonesian. By the way, I want you to contact the biggest Ustad in Indonesia. There's tons of Ustad in the front of you, my friend Muhammad. I want you to be a witness. I invite all the Indonesian Ustad. I mm. accuse them actually to be a liars and I accuse them that they are taking advantage of the poor Indonesian. And I will tell you why. Yeah. If those Indonesian Ustad they are truthful. Okay, okay. They are truthful. Shouldn't they stood and debate me and show all Indonesian that this guy he is maybe a liar or he do not know what he's talking about? How come those Ustad they don't dare even to to say anything? There's one guy he know he died, you know, his name is Insane. He called himself Unsan, Insan actually. And uh, he challenged me and he, he offered me five or hamburger or uh, sorry, BMW and we got him busted. And then he died because of uh, what happened. Now, what about the rest of the Ustad? Where are they? Oh, okay. I, I will try. Uh, I, I will try to call a uh, Sheikh. The, oh, I, so... I want you to do this, uh, Muhammad. I want you to send yeah. an email or if you call them to mm. record the call. Can you promise me that? I will try, okay. Uh, Record I will it try, I will try. And, and make an email in the same time and give me the response. I will play it here. And we will come all the Ustad, the one with beard, without beard, doesn't matter, you know? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Like tell him, uh, Christian Prince, you have no conditions. If you have a beard or not, doesn't matter. You know, we, we, will, we will make your beard grow. We will work in that direction. Okay, hmm? okay. So tell them that this guy is challenging all of you together. They can even come all together to debate me in the same time. What do you think? That would be fine. It's not going to be like a football. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes. Okay, okay. I okay. will try it. Uh, give me a time. Uh, no problem. No problem, Muhammad. Thank you for calling me, my friend. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very take much. Care, take care. Friends. Take care. May Allah give you big boobs. <sighs> Another Muslim said, Call me.
Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. You sound so different. I'm sound different now? Really? Yeah, on Skype you sound very different. On YouTube you sound very different. Uh, you know, I think because of the we were talking about boobs, you know, the sec, like you know, we men when we talk about those things, our voice change. What do you think? <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> okay. So, what do you want to say to me, my friend? Uh, I wanted to ask you a few questions. You know, a few like, questions. I, I like hummus. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Christianity, so I wanted you to explain me, like, like, see, we Muslims, you know, we pray five times a day, yeah, and say Shahada and everything, believe okay, in our where, where your God, he says, pray five times a day? Yeah, obviously in Quran, it's not there. Okay, so why you do it then? Because uh, Allah said, take whatever your Prophet gives and... Okay, but uh, don't, so, uh, don't you know that your Prophet, he receives satanic verses? Uh, I think Farid Responds make a, made a video about satanic verses. Who? who? Farid. Who, what, what he said in the video? Tell me. What, uh, what I, our sister I, she said? I watched it like really long back, so I don't really oh, remember okay. it. But oh. he said uh, it's not authentic something. He, she? She said, not he. No, because those he. who don't, no, the one who don't dare to call me, they are she, my friend. You see, you are a okay. man. You are a man. Yeah, yeah, you are a man. You yeah. dare to call me. I respect that on you. Uh -huh. The rest are she. Okay. They are not. They are not he. Now, okay. You call me, and you said you have a question about Christianity. But do you have knowledge of your religion? I mean, little bit, not too much. That's why I didn't. So want how to come? How it. come you're jumping instead of learning about your religion? Now you want to learn about Christianity? Did you decide to leave Islam or something? No, because I wanted to see. Uh, what Christianity is? Because okay. It's let us see. Different. Let us see what the Christianity is. What Islam says about Christianity? Do you know? Uh, I I don't have much knowledge. We don't know what Quran says about Christianity. I mean, obviously, I know you guys do shirk and stuff. Like shirk? What shirk mean? Shirk means uh, associating partners with Allah. Okay, wonderful. But it, it is you Muslims who do shirk and associate partner with Allah. Isn't you Muslim you say shahada, you say that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his funny prophet? Uh, we say Muhammad is his slave and a messenger. Okay, but you are associating the name of God with the name of a man. You uh, cannot yes. convert to Islam unless yes. you associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad, correct? Correct. You are mushrikeen. No, that. Yeah, but you, you, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, what do you? Uh, you uh, so, if you are not a mushrik, why you have to put the name of Muhammad next to the name of Allah? Okay, can I explain? Go ahead. Uh, shirk means hmm. when you associate somebody hmm. with Allah, consider them Allah too. We don't consider Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as Allah. Okay, who is the one who taught Muhammad not to do shirk? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, I, I, it's Allah. No, it was a Jew. Really? Yeah. So your okay. prophet is a mushrik according to the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith. It's sahih. Muhammad, he was sitting with his friends. A Jewish guy, he walked by and he told the Muhammad, hey, you are a mushrik, you are a mushrik, ta 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 ta. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Look what he said, the hadith. You are setting up rivals to Allah and associating others with him. You say whatever Allah wills and, and you will, which means Muhammad. And you say, be uh, uh, by the Kaaba, you swear by the Kaaba. And so the Prophet command them, if they wanted to swear an oath, to say by the Lord of the Kaaba and to say whatever Allah wills, then what you will. So who is the one who fixed Islam monotheism? A Jew. How come Muhammad did not notice that this is wrong? Do you see Muhammad saying, no, you are wrong? No, he did not argue. He just said exactly as the Jews told him to do. 
So you Muslims are mushrikeen, and the one who fixed Muhammad's stupidity, it was a Jew. If this Jew did not walk by, until now you Muslim, you are saying what Muhammad was saying to you. But now you are saying what the Jewish says to you. And you are a prophet, obviously, is a false prophet, because if he was wrong, by doing that, the one should correct him is Allah, not a Jew. Mm. What? Um, is that a metaphor too? Um? Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, so, I, see what, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but... so, the, so the one who fixed the lies of Muhammad is a Jew. So you Muslim, you are following a false prophet. He never was monotheist. And if he is a prophet who knows what monotheism, well, the first one to correct him is Allah. And look what happened. It was a Jew. Supposedly the Jews are the enemy of Islam. How the Jews are the enemy of Islam and then they are correcting Islam. And how the Jews are the enemy of Allah and Muhammad is taking what the Jews says. About what? About the most important thing in the religion. Monotheism. I mean, if they teach something that is uh, monotheism, then we can take it, right? Yeah, but uh, you can take it from a Jew, but that doesn't mean Muhammad is not a prophet. Because Muhammad is the one who came to teach you that, not to teach you wrong. Muhammad was teaching them wrong, and the Jewish guy, he said to Muhammad, hey, potato, listen, you don't say that, okay? Muhammad, mm -hmm. okay, 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 I will, okay, from now on, do as he say. <laughs> okay, you see, I knew, like, when I would ask you to explain me a few things about Christianity, you would just come to Quran. No, my friend, because you don't accept the Christianity anyway. If I say to you now, from now until tomorrow, the Bible says this, the Bible says that, you will say to me, I don't accept the Bible, correct? Uh, no, I'm not going to say I don't ex okay, accept. Do you, I, do you accept the I, Bible? Do you accept the Bible? I mean, I'm going to read it, you know. I'm no, going to no, read this it. Is a, this is the question. Mind. You see, don't, don't, do, don't do to me what Muslims do to each other. I'm not a Muslim. Stupid answer doesn't work with me. You know, you're talking to Christian Prince. So you have to, you know, cheer up and, you know, like make your engine like work hard. I'm asking you, do you believe the Bible or you don't believe in the Bible? Yeah, I don't believe in it. Okay. So why you don't believe in the Bible? Because I, uh, you know, I, I read a little bit of John and I found <clears throat> some shirk, so that's why. No. Guys, he read John and he found some shirk. But we just showed you that we are the one who's correcting you. I mean, not you, Jew. Okay, let me ask you. Do you Muslim worship Allah or you worship stones? We worship Allah. Why you kiss the black stone? The black stone, yeah. we kiss it because it's a special stone from Jannah. It's a special stone. Brothers, sisters, like, the black like stone... Allah. The black stone you know, is a special stone. Okay, how it is a special? <laughs> in the Quran, Allah said, uh -huh. go and visit historical places and see what I have done to disbelievers. No, 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 no. Allah, he said what in the Quran? Go and, uh, you know, go, oh, what is it? My English is bad, so I'm trying to... Don't worry, my English is even better. You know, me and you and Zakir Naik, both of us, we speak, all of us, we speak bad English. Brother and sister, <laughs> Allah in the Quran, he said, chapter 13, verse of game, that the angel is a thunder. And the angel is a thunder. Continue, my, uh, my friend. Your name is what, by the way? Uh, Noor. Noor. Ah, you, ah, your name is light. <laughs> yeah. uh, why are you calling yourself Noor? Are you Allah? Uh, <laughs> no, no. no so are you not. hijacking the name of Allah? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Okay. Tell me what you want to tell me. You said so in in the book of John, it's a teach shirk like what to worship Jesus. You mean? Yeah, and okay. also some things. Jesus okay. What if I show you right now that the Quran says to you you should worship Jesus? Oh, are you going to go to that verse where Allah said, uh, "There is shirk uh, besides uh, there is no God besides Allah and the Messiah something." Yeah. Are you going to go to that one? Yeah, why not? Is it is it a verse in the Quran or I'm getting it from the, my yellow book? This is your yellow book. What's wrong with Muhammad it? Muhammad Hijab explained it, right? No, he did not. He could not. The coward. 
you know, the coward, he says, uh, he didn't know Arabic. In Arabic, we can put the verse here. And this is stupid. It says in Arabic clearly. And then now we yes. can open. Hold on, hold on. You see, this is your Muslim interpretation trying to fabricate. But the verse is so clear. You know, there's a, there's a Muslim website. Let me open it for you. Hold on. <clears throat> this Muslim website. Uh, you click on the word you click in the word and then the website will translate the exact word for you right away mm -hmm. you know what i mean <clears throat> yeah yeah all right so we will go there and we can do that and mm -hmm. we can see what the words are saying what do you say do you accept yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. And by the way, if you know somebody, or even uh, any sister from those Muslims who don't dare to call me, and they, you mm -hmm. know, they try to refute me, you can call them right now to join us. Choose someone he speak Arabic so we can love. Uh, what you, what you say? Okay. All right. Like let, let me find the website, or you know. But mm -hmm. yeah, why you don't know? I mean, you Muslims, you have you have many, you know. Uh, you have many, and now you don't know? Okay. And also, I had a little question, like, do you believe hell hellfire is forever? You believe in what? Uh, like, in Christianity, like, will will we Muslims will be punished, like, forever? No, you will not punish forever, you will go to hell. You will have hell forever, you know, you will give you know, God will give it to you for free. Okay, so yeah. we will be in hell forever. Yes, for, forever. Do you like to stay there part time? What do you think? No, I'm saying like that is something, you know, uh, people say to me, like, look at in the Quran, it, you go to hell forever. In in Christianity, you go to hell forever. Like then, where is God's mercy? You know, that's what some people agnostic they say. No mercy. You know, uh, you know whatever people say, they will call themselves agnostic. Those agnostic are a bunch of potatoes for me. They don't count, because if you believe in God, then you deserve what God will give you for your belief. If you, if you don't believe, then you will go to hell. So why those who don't believe in God anyway? <laughs> they are talking why he is not fair. <laughs> well, he is being fair. You, talk, you, you said you don't want to believe in him anyway. So they decide to be stupid and then and then they cry for being stupid. Well, that doesn't count for us. So mm -hmm. I, I think I found the, the, uh, the website. Give me a second. I will put it in the screen. No problem. You can take as much time as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that time. Thank you. I'm here. I'm happy to talk to you. You're welcome, my friend. You sound like a nice guy. All right. You say I watch your videos, Sam Shamoon videos. All right. Uh, and no matter how much you guys disrespect, you know, I understand why you guys do that. Ah, you understand. Mm. Yes, I understand okay. why. You guys do that. That's why I don't get angry. I don't get anything like other. So you know, the Islam is, a, is Islam is a very bad to Christians. This is why you understand, right? Hmm? You understand that Muhammad is a criminal, so you understand. Ah, I'm not gonna say that. Hmm. All right, here we go. I I, I want you to look, to look with me in YouTube, just to show you how they lie to you, in their own from their own mouth. You see here in the translation down, there's two translations, Dr. Mustafa and Sahih International. In Sahih International, they say the following, they have taken their scholars and monks as lords beside Allah. Mm -hmm. First, this is a false statement, no Christian worship their scholars and no Christian worship John, and no Christian worship Peter. Those are the highest for us as disciples of Jesus. But nobody worship them. That's a big fat lie. Then, here they said, and also, between two brackets, but this is not true. Let us go to the Arabic. Can you see the, the, the screen, the full screen with me? 
Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, I want you. Do you, do you have a pen and paper? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I will move my mouse in the top of the word. Do you see what it says there? In uh, let me zoom in. Hold on. Do you see now what it says? Uh, they have taken. Do. do you see it? They have taken. Do you see it or you don't see it? No, I don't see it yet. Like the oh yeah yeah they have taken. Now I see. It. Okay, so the first one they have taken. What mm -hmm. what we did? We just moved the mouse over the word. Correct. Their rabbis. So they have taken what? Their rabbis. Focus with me. And their monks. Are we fine until now? Mm -hmm. Type it in your Skype, please. Type it for me. Whatever I'm saying, reading for you. Type it in your Skype so we can in, we can read it at the end as one sentence or one one phrase. So okay, wait. they took. They have, they have they taken. Have taken they their, have, their rabbis and monks and monks. Now we move it here. Arbaban as lords. Mm -hmm. Beside Allah. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So now let's make one sentence. They took their rabbis and their monks as lords beside Allah. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. And then right away it says, and the Messiah, <laughs> the Son of Mary. <laughs> so they took their monks and their rabbi beside uh, as Lord. Instead of Allah and the Messiah, <laughs> it's in the front of you. <laughs> so those dummies, when they try to say Christian Prince, where it says that, where it says it's in the front of you, you idiot. And what does it say uh, after that? It says, and they they've been ordered to worship except one God. We Christian, we believe in one God. Vama Umiru something can you Vama show Umiru and, and, and not or, or where they were commanded except to worship Liabidu that they worship one God. Yeah, I think that makes it clear. No, because we Christian we believe in God. We Christian when we believe in Jesus, we don't believe in second God and third God and fourth God. We believe in one God. All everybody knows what the Trinity is. Trinity is we've been ordered to worship one God. All the Christians, they never been ordered to worship three gods or four gods or ten gods. We worship one God. This is what the Trinity is. I can prove that wrong from Quran. How is that? Okay, let's say. No, no, even... but before, before we go there. So, mm. does it say there? That they took their monks and their rabbis. No, yeah, man. Let us make it more clear. They took their rabbis and their monks as gods or lords instead of Allah and the Messiah. How the Muslim they say that the Quran is a clear Arabic when the Quran made a stupid mistake adding the Messiah after Allah. Because if they took their monks and their rabbi as gods, then he should say they took their monks and rabbis and the Messiah as God instead of Allah. What the Quran did, they took their monks and their rabbis as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. Now we go to the, you want to show me in the Quran that Trinity is wrong? What you said you want to uh, show me? No, no, like the Trinity, you guys consider three to be one right yeah <clears throat> so i wanted to say even though the trinity that is in the quran is not the trinity you guys follow okay so you agree but, that the quran is stupid because the quran did not notice that we do not have such whatever the quran is saying not even a single christian in the world believe in such a trinity in the quran right now uh, yeah right now like oh, what happened to them they, they immigrate to america you think how come what do you know right now can, can I say like... Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. What do you mean right now? Because when Muhammad, he came, this mm -hmm. is 600 years after Jesus. And yes. Christianity is the most popular belief in the world. So mm -hmm. what do you mean right now? That's it. Uh, this is the faith. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. One God. There's no other. 
at hmm. the time of the prophet i believe that christians used to believe mary as goddess too well why do you want to believe that mary is god why is that because hmm. if this mistake christians would have found out muslims saying oh christians believe allah mary and jesus they would have made fun of muslims at that time ha huh. so the so, so the christian they make fun of uh, the christian will make fun of muhammad if he said that well they did yeah but they didn't no they did they they the, made fun of uh, that verse where allah no, said no mary, no 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 mary. no No, no. They, they debated him about, they came to debate him, your prophet, he ran away like a puppy. And then he says, he said to them, okay, bring your, you know, your wife and my wife, your children and my children. Let us invoke the curse of Allah and the one is lying. He could not answer yes, them. They didn't come, right? But they no, they came, they came all the way from, from, from Najran. They spent the first day talking to him and he refused even to answer. Mm -hmm. And just to show you that Muslims are a bunch of cowards when they trans uh, transmit the news of Muhammad. If Muhammad, he touched his ass, we will find it in Sahih al-Bukhari. If Muhammad, he took a booger from the wall of the Kaaba, we will find it in Sahih al-Bukhari. If Muhammad, he shake his penis three times, we will find it in Sahih al-Bukhari. But the debate with the Christian, we don't find it anywhere. Why? Uh, can I say? I'm asking you wh why. Why we can find everything about him touching his penis, about how he shake it, about how he clean it, about how he clean his ass. But something so important, Christians are coming to Muhammad and Muhammad supposedly is going to refute them. And then we cannot find the debate. What happened? I don't know. You see, I, I wasn't there, so I, I can't tell. But no, I, I can't tell. tell. No, I can't tell because it was very embarrassing. You see, when I debate Muslims, they delete. They say any any embarrassment or bad things he said about the Prophet, we took it off. So what is left of the debate? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I want to say something. Like Rasulullah came out and said, Ya Allah, this is my Ahlul Bayt. What he said? This is my Ahlul Bayt. What Ahlul Bayt? My, my family. What about when, them? When, when my Prophet said, you come with your family, I come with my family, let's see who the curse of Allah is. No, you do not know, uh, you, you know, you, you are not using your brain when you talk about this. Because when Muhammad, he said, let me show you the verse. You see, I want to teach you how to focus when you read. Obviously, you are the same as the rest. Not only Muslims, they do that. Even Christians, they do not know how to focus. Chapter mm -hmm. 3, verse number uh, 61. It says, And then when it, whoever dispute with you concerning him, who? Jesus. After all the knowledge, what knowledge? He said nothing about him. Jesus, he is a prophet. He made the blind see. He raised people from death, and Allah took him to sky. That's it. He said nothing. Stupid. And then concerning Isa, okay, tell them. Tell them what? Come, come. Let us call our sons. You see how stupid the statement? Because those are monks. They don't have children. Those are bishops. They don't get married. So bring your sons and my sons. But he don't have sons. Uh, how do you know they don't have sons? Muhammad never have sons. Even the one you Muslim claim, they die when they are infant. So what the point of bringing a son? What son? Muhammad never have a children. Even the Quran says that Muhammad is an aptar. He cannot have children. A man, he made fun of him because his penis doesn't function. Even if you play the Indonesian anthem for him, the penis of Muhammad don't stand uh, up. Can I explain to you this verse? Which verse? this one that you are reading okay go ahead then whoever disputes uh, with you concerning isa ibn maryam after knowledge that has come hmm. so let's say what kind of knowledge allah is talking about yeah what kind of knowledge i, I think in the gospel that was there at that time yeah it was very clear to the people of knowledge who jesus was hmm. but they deliberately Uh, deceived Christians okay. into thinking whatever they wanted from their desires. Oh, believe mm. him as son of God. But 
in the book it's actually Allah uh, said the whatever the true Jesus was. Hmm. Okay, he let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Mm-hmm. You know, when the Christian they say they believe that Jesus is a son of God. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the problem with that for you? Because Allah said Allah has no sons and Allah is father to no one. Okay, hold on. Allah he said if Allah he wanted to have a son yes he will have, he will have a wife yes from us he would have chosen one of his creations to be his son where it says he's a creation are you are you are you creating are you fabricating Quran or are you like Mimi hijab oh no 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 I'm not like that so why are you uh, word does it say my, there my, does it no, say does it okay let me ask you does it say in the Quran I will take a wife from my creation does it say that uh, I will take what you said if Allah want to take a wife he will take it no no not creation. wife not wife son son hmm. son yeah yeah but here, no, Allah said, but no he, Quran, here he is talking about a wife because the word lahu lahu is an Arabic word for the women lahu means fun so if I want to take a fun which means a woman this is how the Arab they insult women and this is your Muslim translation had we intended to take a past time between two bracket ie a wife or a son which means he marry a wife then he got a son from her etc we could surely take it from us you remember you told me that we Muslims believe in oneness and you refuse that Jesus is son of God because that will associate you know uh, Jesus with God right Mm-hmm. Okay, so how Allah will take a partner as a wife from us? Who is us? Uh, which chapter is this? This is a chapter 21, verse number 17. Okay, what is the context behind like the previous verses? Oh, she read. There's no, there's no connection. You know, in the Quran, this is a stupid book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. Oh, read. Been, uh, we created not the heaven and the earth. That is between four to play. How do we intend to take a past? What what is the connection? There's no connection. <laughs> what is a past time? Past time is and a woman. A woman, a woman, a woman for fun. To sleep with her, to give you babies. Take it from us if we were going to do that. Mm. Okay, but he didn't, right? But the problem now, you see, this is at that time, we don't know now that he was single at that time. Maybe now he's married. That the problem is, he said we will take her or that partner from us. I thought Allah is one. Yes, Allah is one. Okay, but so Allah, Allah will marry who? Allah will marry Allah? Now, these are where I don't know, you know, I'm not that so, smart. So, one. Allah will marry Allah? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, what, is that an answer? Are you playing Mimi Hijab now? Oh my God, I'm not Muhammad So Hijab. Okay, so tell me, I mean, it says us, it's, the word is so clear. How come you play dumb right away? The second we put you here, secondly, suddenly you don't know. You know about the Bible, you know that this is not right. You know, suddenly now, I don't, I don't know. It's so clear, it says us. And now Just you can say the word example. us. You, you see, we ask Muslim, why Allah, he keeps saying we? We, okay, we send, yes. they say, because he is a majestic. He's speaking like a king, right? Yes, yes. Okay, which is very stupid because if Allah is saying the word me, we, that make him majestic, that means Allah as I is not majestic. So Allah, he need to borrow a word from the, <laughs> from the corrupt kings who keep saying we to make himself like them. How is stupid? Uh, so it is okay. not good for Allah. Listen, according to you Muslims, it is not right for Allah to say I. He like it more to say we because we is more fit to Allah. <laughs> so Allah himself uh, is not satisfied with him by one. Allah, he like to be we, at least by uh, words. Can I tell you a hadith? Tell me a hadith, tell me. Whoever even has an ounce of uh, pride in them, Allah will throw them in hellfire because hmm. pride is only for Allah. It's okay. Allah's uh, something, right? So is Muhammad going to go to hellfire? I mean, the pride meaning arrogant. Hey, Muhammad arrogant. is arrogant. Muhammad is arrogant of everything. Muhammad, he used to beat Muslims for no reason. They just agree with them. 
he is wrong, still he be the Mecca and show the hadith. And not only that, he says, I made conditions in Allah, with Allah, that any Muslim, I beat him or whip his back unjustly, Allah will make it a blessing for him. <laughs> Imagine, he is beating them unjustly. He is, he, you know, he is wiping the floor with them unjustly. And that will, will, will make them receive a blessing from Allah. I want to beat you, Muhammad, uh, my friend. <laughs> so you receive a blessing. What do you think? <laughs> Arrogant. So look what 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 you say. It's proven to me that the first one will go to hell is Muhammad. But now let's go back here. You Muslims are so proud about worshiping one God, but there is a religion worship Shaitan. Shaitan is one Shaitan. So who care about how many you worship? He's one. He's two. He's three. He's five. He's six. The the question is, is he exist or not? Obviously, your God is not one because the Quran is so clear. If we want to take, if we want to take a wife. We will take it from us. That's mean. You see, when I say us, that's mean there's many of me, like me, my people. Oh, Correct? My God. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, so what does mean us when you say us? What us mean? Allah is speaking like a king, like a master. But remember, uh, here he is going to take a partner. Allah is going to have sex with himself. But he didn't, right? He just. This is not the said, question. Allah is saying, if I want to take a wife, a wife, is Allah a female and male at the same time? You see, this is the problem. You guys keep. Uh, you see, attacking. this is the problem. You don't answer. Allah here talking about taking a partner and that partner from us. So it cannot be Allah saying us mean himself because that will make him go into F himself. Can't you read? He will yes, take I a partner, a partner. So mm -hmm. us here, it have to be about many, it can't even be two. You know, because even in English, but this is Arabic, here it says, Min ladunna, us as, as, okay. as many, not so, even as Allah. two. So, so there's Allah many Allah, saying... there's many Allah, and there's male and female. No, no, no. Well, okay, explain see, to me then, Allah will take a wife from us. Yeah, okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Do you do you accept the Islamic interpretation? I mean, I don't care about any interpretation, honestly. Uh, you don't care about interpretation. Why? Because the interpretation will make you no, get no. busted. <laughs> Whatever interpretation you want to choose, I'm fine with it. No, it's, you choose interpretation for me. Which interpretation you want? Whatever you want, Christian. Uh, because you know, because you will say to me, if I show it to you, you will say, uh, I don't accept this one. <laughs> no, I'm not like other Muslims. Ah, you are different. Oh, okay. Well, this is what I'm, I'm saying. If you if you want, if I can. Something, <laughs> I accept it. All right. So let us go. I will choose whatever translated. This is what is in this page. This is the official government website of this Kingdom of Jordan. We will show whatever translated in, you know, they have two trans uh, uh, interpretation in English. Here it says, Allah revealed the following when they said that the angels are Allah daughters. Allah daughters. Do you see it? Okay. No, if we had wished to find a pastime, if we wished to have a daughter, and it says, that is mean if we wish to have a wife, and also it said that's mean if we wish to have a children, we would have found it in our presence from us, from among the maidens of paradise. Your prophet, your God, he is going to have sex with the virgins, with the human women. Allah is a human. And it also says we will never do this, right? Well, no, he did not say we'll never do that. He says, if we will do that. You see here, false translation. You can go, we can go to the same website, the one we showed you, Quran.com, and you can move your, 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 your mouse in the top. It says, if we are going to do that. Okay, I got it. Yeah, doesn't say we will never do that. That's a false translation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have a problem. Allah is saying if you want to have, it's possible if you want to do that. It's up to him. Anyway, we understand. It's up to me, to me. You know, it's up to you to get married or not. That's, you know. 
So this is something personal. So what Allah now is talking saying, if we want to take a partner as a wife, so we can have babies, I am going to choose from us, that this is the Muslim interpretation saying, us here mean the virgin women in heaven. Okay. How God is God, and he is marrying a human, unless he is a human. You see, Allah therein himself said, he just said from us. Now people are saying from maidens and stuff. Huh? Allah just said from us, but uh, uh, the interpretation says No, 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 you see, us. you don't understand. He says, min ladunna, the word ladunna here, from our mm -hmm. kind. Ladunna mean our kind. Our, our, mm -hmm. our, like, our ethnic, our, this is what ladunna mean, our blood. Like, okay. ladunni is my child, my children. Mm -hmm. You know, like you are from the ladun of Adam. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they are the word mm -hmm. ladunna there. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to take Lahu, and this is the Islamic interpretation too, says it clearly, that in the language of the Arab, Lahu mean a woman. So Allah is okay. saying, if we want to take a woman, which is weird, because if Allah is not a man, then how God who is not a man having sex with the women? And then if you have a, you know, if a, 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 if a, if a dog have sex with a horse, they cannot have babies, they have to be from the same kind, correct? Yes. Okay, so now let us say Allah is the dog, and the wife is the horse, and now they want to have sex together, how they can have babies? I don't know that. Well, you need to find out, obviously this is stupid. So, all okay. the monotheism, all the monotheism of Islam is a joke, is a lie. We showed you how a Jew, he is getting Muhammad busted, fixing his monotheism because obviously Muhammad he never was monotheist he was trying to copy the Christian and the Jews so when he sat with the Christians he took as a Christian when he sat with the Jews he talked like a Jew I, I, I disagree can I say why why tell me why because there is nowhere in the Bible where it's there that Jesus used to speak when he was little like infant but in the Quran Allah revealed this truth that Jesus used to do no, that. No, my friend, you, you, you are an ignorant like your prophet. We have we have uh, Bibles which is rejected. It's called the Infinity when, when Jesus was a child. Those all are rejected by us Christians and they are the story mentioned there. So your stupid prophet, he is copying those false books and ask yourself, why a Christian will reject something will make even Jesus look more powerful? Correct? There's no point. If the Christian they want to convince everybody, if they are deceivers, if they are liars, then they should use those stories because that will make Jesus even way more powerful in the eyes of everybody. Jesus, when he was a child, he is a creator. Mm -hmm. And hold on now, you just you just brought a disaster to your God. As long uh, the Quran, as long the Quran mentioned that Jesus can create a bird from the mud. Mm -hmm. Can I say I, I who, is, who, who is the God here? Well, when Jesus was creating from the mud, the bird, who was God? Allah. So what Jesus was doing? But you will find be isn't Allah. Doesn't matter. You see, by my permission or without my permission. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. You see. Okay. But Jesus now Jesus is the one. Jesus is the one who is creating. Correct? Is it Allah yeah. who is creating or Jesus? Jesus. Okay, so Jesus, he have the power of a creation by permission of Allah. This is your claim, prove it. The Quran says, Bring your evidence if you are truthful. If there is a proof that this permission from Allah, I can say now I am the one who gave Jesus permission. You can say that too. That is stupid to say. But there is no proof. Muhammad, he could not do any miracles. The whole Quran I, is empty. I no. understand. Okay. I understand. So, uh, uh, when the Quran says, if you have if you have a proof, provide it. How come mm -hmm. the Quran does not practice what he asking for? Uh, what is the proof that Allah he gave a permission to Jesus? I mean, proof. I, huh? I don't really know. It, it might be in the Gospels. You know, never know. Uh, he is the one he have to provide it to the Christians. 
I'm asking Maybe. you, what is the proof that Muhammad, uh, that Jesus, he received permission from Allah? So now I can say I'm the one who gave Jesus all this power. He can walk in water. He can make people see. I give him permission. I can show you the email. <laughs> you know, we, we don't need uh, an evidence for this because How come? every prophet of God, you know, whoever it might be, if he's a prophet of God, mm -hmm. obviously it's sensible for every human that he's doing this because he's prophet of God. What is was... Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, in front of everybody, can you show me the prophecy of the prophet of God in your Quran? What prophecy? Because you just said he's a prophet of God. Who? Muhammad. Yes, he's a prophet. Okay, well, he's a prophet of God. The Quran says it clearly that mm -hmm. uh, Allah, he told the Jews mm -hmm. not to believe in any prophet of God. This is a chapter 3, verse 183. Unless he give a sacrifice. And then God, which is supposed to Allah, he will send a fire from heaven to consume the sacrifice. Why Muhammad did not do what Allah he asked for? Uh, I lack knowledge for this. I, I can't answer. So now every Muslim he called me, he ended with, I cannot answer and I cannot answer. Yes, because... We okay, come where here. are you from, my friend? Which country? Indonesia? Uh, I'm from India, but I'm, I live in New York right now. Okay. Do you know, uh, do you know Zakir Naik? Of course, I do know do you, him. Can, you, can you promise me? Can you promise me to send him an email? Oh, he won't even reply. Why he will not reply? He don't like he don't deserve like a human. He, he think he's he, God. He, he's he's too famous. No, he he, he reply. People they ask him about debating David Wood. Here he reply. Trust me, he will say just say Christian Prince. Okay, you know hmm. because you said it, I will email him. Okay. What do you? What about email? you call him Life? I heard that he have a program Life. You go to his chat and say to him, Christian uh, Prince. Christian Prince, he asked me a question, I could not answer it. Would you like to answer his question either by answering now or calling him or he will call you? Okay, I will see. Hmm. And uh, what do you think, uh, like Sam Shamoon, you know, I had a very good discussion, respectful discussion with him too. Yeah, like he, for... he lost his hair, by the way, Sam Shamoon, because he is not drinking camera urine. What? Sam Shamoon, he lost his hair because he did not take the advice of the doctor Muhammad. Your prophet, he asked Muslim to drink camel urine. I told Sam Shamoon, drink camel urine, you will have your hair grow like crazy. You know, you know why you have such a big audience? Yeah. Because the way you make fun of my religion is too funny. It's too funny, isn't it? Yes. You know, you know, funny. you know what? It's funny that there is a prophet. He is shaking his penis at three time. And then there's oh somebody writing in the paper, the prophet right now, he shake his penis three times. What kind of religion this religion is? You tell me. Yo, that... Can hmm? you give me that too? Which uh, which hadith number is? Just tell me the hadith number and I will Okay, hold on. Let me find it. I will put it on the screen. Hold on. I don't want like to change topic. Just give me the hadith number. I want to talk to you, you know, about some other things too. No problem. But think about it. What kind of religion is religion? They write down that the Prophet, he do that. Or he is teaching uh, that. <clears throat> I understand what you're saying. No, 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 this is not the question. I, you know, I like it when a Muslim, he tried to avoid the question by saying, I understand your question, but he will not talk about the question. Like I understand. Listen, my friend, imagine you go to the university and the teacher, he give you a bunch of questions for the exam. And what you say to him, I understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I understand your question. But what is the question? What is the answer? <laughs> I understand your question. Uh, I mean, what, do you, what do you think about when Allah said, <laughs> Yeah, Christian Prince, Magarraka Birabikal Karim. 
What the fuck, Karim? This is not Karim. This is a stupid God. We are laughing at him 24 hours. Look at this. You know, the Quran says, Inna kafay, like that's Allah. He stopped the one, anyone from laughing at Muhammad. Correct? Did he? This is alone to prove that Allah is a false God because if he did really, really that, then nobody can laugh at Muhammad. No, because Allah also said every prophet they made fun of them. Yeah, but then he, he that's it, he promised him nobody can laugh at you no more. Chapter 15, verse number 95. Mm -hmm. hmm? For sufficient, we not the against those who scoff. I mean, look at this stupid translation. Let us change translation. This guy, where did he get? I think he's using Google translation. Uh, can you tell me? I want to look at that too. What verse and chapter? Chapter 15, verse number 95. Do you like talking to Muslims? Sure, I like because I am, I am here on the purpose. No, uh, even though I know. Like, did, did you notice I don't take a I don't take call from Christians? Did you hear me how many times I say this? If you are a Christian, don't even text me. Correct? Uh, I, you know, I honestly don't watch your videos yeah, I a for, lot. I forbid a Christian from contacting me. Don't contact me. Don't text okay. me. Don't, you know. I take only okay. call from Muslims. But Why? Because, I, I because, it. because I want to, because we love Muslims. We don't hate them. Maybe I sound uh, sometimes very tough on the Muslim. Sometimes I'm very aggressive because our topic is disgusting. This but, is why when I came here, I asked you directly <clears throat> about Christianity, but you went into Quran. No, because for me, I want to finish Islam first. I want to erase. I know uh, what, you what, know, what, uh, you know uh, do, you, do you install a new, let us say you have a computer and your computer have a virus. If you install a new window without erasing the, vi the, the virus, Still, the virus is there, correct? Mm -hmm. If you change, if you say to me, okay, this person, he have a virus in his blood. So let's give him more blood. That will make him more healthy. No, still the virus is there. So we have to kill the virus first before we give you the new blood. That's what I'm but doing. Islam is a virus, my friend. Islam is a stupid. Islam made by a dummy for the dummies. And I now, understand. And now, let us yeah. go. Let us go to the prophet who is... Uh, you know, the wise prophet, you know, like, where is the, where is the hadith? Hold on. The prophet, he took a stand, brother. He says, if any of you, brother, he decide uh, to uh, do uh, pissing, shake his penis three times. Different one. Also, God, uh, uh, messenger saying, when one of you awake from his sleep, perform a pollution, he must clear his nose three times. <laughs> For the devil, he spent the night in the interior of his nose. <laughs> you know what happened to me once? Mm -hmm. This is a true story, you know? I was sleeping in my uncle's house. And then my uncle's wife, she came and she saw two shoes coming from my nose. Two what? There's two shoes, two feet, coming from my nose. Oh, oh was that a shaitan? It was a shaitan, brother. At that oh. time, they could not understand what's happening. So, they, they, uh, you know, at that time, there's no x-ray. I'm like 200 years old. You know, so there's no x-ray, there's nothing. I mean, like they saw that two feet, they, like, they got scared. She went to call my mom, the guy, he put his feet inside my nose, you know, because I have a big nose, brother, like Muhammad. So Then why didn't you say, La hola wa la huwata illa billah? It doesn't work. Here we go. You're a prophet. He have a shaitan in his nose. You're a prophet. He have shaitan in his ears. Even your prophet, he have a shaitan who command him to do good. <laughs> and obviously, all the words of Allah is not working. Is it? You Muslim says that your prophet he was under black magic. Uh, yes, I saw that you you talked so, about. So 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 uh, Muhammad read Quran every day. How come the Quran is not functioning? <clears throat> I don't know about that and I I obviously uh, heard you say, saying to that Muslim even though you don't believe that he was possessed or something no, you I, don't said, he was, I don't believe I don't yeah. believe no I don't believe he's under black magic this is not such a thing black magic you see in the Old Testament speak about that the the magic of Moses uh, uh, overcome the magic of the, the, the Pharaoh magician 
But this is not about magic because God did not do magic. God did, did miracle. So, but this is how they see it. They saw it as a magic. It's a trick. Yeah. You know, they could not believe that uh, this is real. It must be a trick, you know, illusion. And so, mm -hmm. but Moses did not do illusion. Moses, he did a real miracle. Yeah, so, he did reality. Yeah. So, but you Muslims, because you could not explain why your prophet is so stupid. So you come with your own illusion saying that he is suffering from black magic. And can I tell you something? Tell me something. Uh, whatever things, you know, uh, that does not make sense to me. I feel like those are fabrication, like like really bad stuff, like him getting devil possessed and other things. Mm -hmm. Because my my prophet said, whoever says a lie about me is in hellfire. Oh, so, so you so can you can lie about everybody, but you cannot lie about Muhammad, brother. Look because how... he's a prophet. Because he's a prophet. His ah, words. But change. but can he lie? Can he lie, Muhammad himself? No. Okay, let me ask you. You said if something doesn't make sense, you don't believe in it, correct? I mean, it depends what is what, you know. If something is disgusting, then obviously I'm not going to no. believe in that. What about a person, he died and he was dead for more than a year, and nobody mm -hmm. noticed that he was dead because he was holding a stick in his hand. Oh, Suleiman alayhi salam. Ah, you say if a story does not make sense, you don't believe in it. Oh, so, that, about prophets is different. Ah, so guys, about the prophet is different. But your prophet, he died after three, after three days, he stink. And this is mentioned in your books. Ah, uh, I was watching your uh, discussion. You, David Wood, and Sam Shamus, and you were discussing this too. Hmm. I just watched that video yesterday. Hmm, no problem. So. Your prophet, he died three time, three days after his stink, and it says in the hadith, which means his belly full of fart, mashallah. He looked like a bread net woman full of fart. So here we go. Now we have Suleiman. Suleiman is a prophet too, but Muhammad is a greater prophet. Suleiman, he is dead for a year and he did not stink. Muhammad, after three days, he stink. <laughs> Suleiman is dead for a year and he is a king and he have a kingdom and his kingdom goes all the way from Israel all the way to Assyria supposedly and he have endless number of soldiers according to the hadith and now his ministers even the birds he have general he have general chicken can you believe it the Quran says so I loved I watch cartoon always but the cartoon in the Quran is the best general chicken Allah, okay. he made he made Suleiman in charge of the birds. He have an he have a brigade, an army of birds, army of a chicken, army of all kind of animals, an army of genies. Okay, now all of those they have leaders. He have ministers, and now this guy is dead. He died holding a stick, his staff. A year mm -hmm. passed by, and nobody noticed that the guy is dead. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I like it when you say, mm -hmm. what is that? I mean, mean? that's an, obviously that increases my faith. That increases your faith? Faith? Yes. Why? <laughs> because that's a big miracle that Jin. No, no, hold on, hold on. What? This is stupid. This is stupid. Because his wives, his wives, who they are married to him, those wives, they did not notice that the husband is dead. The ministers, the servants, the soldiers, the guards, they did not notice that the king is not even blinking. And that is increase your faith and the guy is dead for a year? No, what increases my faith is that jinns didn't notice it. No, I don't no, 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 no. It's not only the jinn, everybody. At the same time, the jinns are smarter than the rest. That's why Allah said, if they had the knowledge of unseen, they would have. But not this is the scene. Hold on. What the unseen? Why? Well, is Suleiman was visible or invisible? Same no. time, you will see here. You look, hold on. You will see here that the 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 the, the, the worms they were eating his stick. Just yeah. focus with me with this one, just to show you how stupid is the one who wrote the Quran. As long the worms are eating the steak, how come nobody noticed the worms all over the steak? <laughs> the worms are unseen. <laughs> you, you, you like you like reading, don't you? You have a lot of fun. 
I love st stupidity, okay. man. I okay. love the stupidity. I am the only one who said, first one ever maybe said, stupidity is amazing. And all the Christians, they caught me. Listen, Abdul, uh, Abdul, listen. No, no, don't, don't change topic. How they did not notice the worms eating the steak for a year? People come, people go. Wives come, wives go. Servants come, servants go. Servant, they put the food in front of the king. Nobody, he did not eat, he did not touch it. And now the worms are eating the stick. And nobody noticed Prophet is dead. Alhamdulillah. What do Muslims uh, answer you about this? Okay, let us go and read the Muslim answering about that. That's a good thing. Let us go to Ibn Kathir, shall we? Mm. 34, 14, let me open Ibn Kathir. Give me a second and he will die laughing. Uh, you were talking to a girl and you know <laughs> she she made some noise and you thought she was yawning and you started oh do you know uh, you just yawned and you started making fun do you know what your prophet said when you yawn <laughs> yeah you pick every single moment to make fun oh my god no, my yeah. friend, be friend, because i am a person who have a very i don't want to speak too like highly about myself but i have a very fast processor so if you mm -hmm. breathe i have an answer for your breathe it doesn't matter what you do this is why the muslims they avoid me those who speak they claim they have a career of refuting the Christians, they don't dare you to know, call me. I I was a bit upset with you because Muhammad Hijab, you know, gave you a chance, and you kept on saying, "Why did you say Inshallah, Inshallah?" Because inshallah. the one who don't say Inshallah, just to show the Muslims that this guy is a liar, he's a fraud, a true Muslim, he will not start, he will not mention, he will do anything without I, saying I, Inshallah. I, listen, listen, no, because you're ignorant. Because you're ignorant, you do not know how important this point is. A true Muslim who is speaking that he is the one who knows Islam. He will not say anything without saying inshallah because everything is done by the will of Allah. He never mm. mentioned it. He never says ah, inshallah will debate Christian Prince. He started the yeah. debate. He never said inshallah. He never said inshallah will debate David Wood. But, he don't but, even yeah. use that term. So I am grabbing him from his tail and he don't want to talk about it. You, you know what they both said though in the video? Who? They said uh, Ali Dawa and Muhammad Hijab. They said. Yeah. How do you know they didn't say inshallah? Yes, they did not say inshallah publicly. But he's making a video. Everything he say, mm -hmm. everything he say is there. What be publicly? He started the you know whatever. Okay, here when I start here, it says a peace of a Christ with everybody. Mm. I don't say it in my heart because now I'm talking to people. If I'm talking okay. to myself, if I'm talking to myself, I understand, you know, okay, and, and my, you know, I would say, uh, God is willing, I will do this. To, because I'm talking to myself in my, in, my, in my head, in my heart. But I am talking to people. And when I talk to people, people need to hear what I said. So a Muslim who don't say, inshallah, go and see the fatwas. A Muslim who don't say, inshallah, he's not a Muslim. Yes, I do know that. Okay, and, uh, so as long as you know, you know that, so you should be the first one to ask him the question at me. What kind of but, a Muslim you are, you don't say, Inshallah, I'm going to debate him, because supposedly if you don't say, Inshallah, I will win the debate. Uh, you know... Listen, listen, when, according to your Prophet, if you don't say, Inshallah, what you plan to do will not work, correct? Yes. Okay, so he want to debate me to win the debate, correct, or to lose it? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so he did not say inshallah, that means he will lose it. Mm. Uh, yes, I understand why you said it. You understand? And no, you don't understand. This is that that's a proof that he don't you know he don't care. He is not going to debate me anyway. He start playing yeah, videos. Did you say said... that? Hang up on him. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Did you say that? Hang up on him. He's a coward. He was too much yeah. in the, he was too much intimidated. He don't dare to Talk to me. This is the this is the truth. Now let us go. Uh, let but us go. after you you told him to say inshallah, they both said okay, inshallah, inshallah. No, no, this is too late. I'm asking him why you did not say inshallah. <laughs> but now you see. Uh, so now you see what happened to him. The same as the Jew when he he got Muhammad busted and he taught him monotheism. So he starts saying that after that. So after a Christian prince, he schooled a guy who claimed to be 
uh, uh, like he claimed to be a philosopher too, which is philosophy is against Islam. So he claimed to be a philosopher, apologetic, who will debate on Christians, and he is the one who will be taught by a Christian to say inshallah, and from now on I will say, and by the way, he don't say inshallah, go and check his videos. Nothing mm. changed. Still he don't say inshallah. Right? Okay, let us go to the to the, uh, the interpretation. Hold on. Uh, <coughs> and and the guy he you know he promised to debate me. What is the debate? You play a video, and did you say that? Hang up on him. You see how coward he is. He is so much intimidated. Coward. And then not only that, he played videos, cutting the video and do editing. A Muslim woman, she said, the Christian women, they have AIDS. This is why a Christian prince, he did not marry. He don't want to, you know, he, uh, uh, he, he cannot find someone like me. And then he says, Christian prince, he says, Muslim women have AIDS. Do you see how filthy, how coward they are? They have no dignity. It was the Muslim video woman, the Muslim woman, she was saying that Jesus was playing with the breast of his mother. He cut that part. I was saying to her, you are a filthy. You are insulting Jesus for no reason. And you Muslim, you claim that you Muslim, you, you love Jesus, you defend Jesus. So if Muhammad Hijab is a true Muslim, he should be against that Muslim woman, not against me. Because she is the one she said filthy words. She said, ah, but Jesus, oh, he was a plain. So then, okay, so that girl said, uh, started it. Uh, go watch the video. The video is, all of it is there. He's a coward. He's a filthy. He's a trash. Okay. This is uh, where I am with the truth, you know. Yeah. If Muslims start something, then that is wrong. Yeah, Nobody. But, but if, how? If but speak, how? But how? Your brothers, if they are not filthy, they cut the audio and the text because I'm refuting either by somebody talking to me or people they make in text. So they cut to make me look bad. They could not debate me. They knew they are no match. So let us make Christian prince. Let us smear him. Let us make him look Christian. Is, and they make a video sexual predator. I, was, I said to him, you filthy. I was copying. I was quoting your filthy prophet. And then he did hung you up on say, me. Did you say that all Muslim women have it? She said that to me, not, not me. I was saying I will not do that to you because you have AIDS for you, your husband. They go all, the, all over to Thailand and to Philippines and they come back with AIDS. So oh. she said that, that I am single because I cannot have find a wife because all the Christian women, they have AIDS. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was answering oh. her stupid text and stupid comment and stupid talk. You see, that is very bad now. Yeah, but you know, but you Muslims are not decent too, because all the Muslims they knew the video. The video is there. All the Muslims they can go watch it. And the guy, he don't want to debate me because he don't dare. Because a debate is not playing a video. Did you say that? I'm not going to see the FBI to do interview for me. In the debate, you ask me, I answer you. I ask you, you answer me too. He did not even let me talk because he is so much intimidated. He is a stupid, he is a coward, and he is a Abdul at the end. And by the way, that actually, I had victory. Because simply, if he is a truly a person who can debate the Christian prince, so where you did not debate him? You have 30 seconds to answer. Did, did the Quran say that uh, uh, Paul is the third messenger? You have 30 seconds, 30 seconds. <laughs> and I get him busted and then I showed him the book and he started reading a different book they are so confused I said you idiot I'm, I'm quoting to you now a different book not that reference because they heard me before saying that reference so now they are prepared for that reference they are a bunch of kids potatoes you know you, uh, the thing <laughs> that I think uh, is a good thing about you guys are that you Sam Shamoon you know you both are like very easy approachable like I can just text you on Skype and you call me. Well, my friend, the Lord, our Lord himself, he washed the feet of his disciples. And he told them, if you don't let me do it, you don't, you don't know me, I don't know you. So I'm here to serve the Muslims. I'm not here to fight them, not, not to kill them. I don't hate them. But you Muslims, you try always to provoke me. So I will say something and then you will say, oh, look what he said. But you take it out of context of what I was doing and what was talking about. And that is a very shameful behavior of the filthy religion of Islam. 
The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Look at you. You are speaking differently. So I can imagine that you have a better family and you have a better mother and father who taught you to be, you know, to be decent. But those people, they have no decencies. Why a person will cut the eye of you? Of a woman, she is saying that Jesus was playing in a sexual way with his mother breast. And she is a Muslim. And then he, called, he, he, he used the second part where I said, suckle me. I said to her, your prophet is the one who did that. Your prophet who ordered me to suckle you, suckle me. He cut that part because they are filthy. That woman, you know, that Muslim woman needs to learn manners. And no, no, my friend, it's not her who needs to learn manner. It's you Muslims who have no manner. Sorry, I'm not trying to offend you. Because mm -hmm. if you follow someone like Muhammad, how you will have a manner? I is it, mean, a, my is it a good manner? Hold on. Is it a good manner to go to the house of your son when the wife is not there and you flirt with the wife when the husband is not there? So if your best man is Muhammad, if the man he is the best example for you, he has zero minus one manner. How you will have a manner? Now let us, uh, go, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hold on. Forget about this Mimi. He will, not, he will never even dare. All of them, those potatoes. All Muslims be my witness. If there really are people who can debate me, they will be lined up to debate me. They will be lined up to talk to me. All of them, they make the same excuse. We will debate you face to face. But everybody knows I am a person who don't open my camera. I don't like it. I'm not looking to be famous by face. I'm not looking to be famous by name. I don't, look, I don't care for those things. The Lord, he says, you give with your right hand. Don't take the left hand, no. So I am not receiving a blessing from the people to reward me. I'm receiving blessing from my Lord. I'm serving the Muslims, serving the Christians. I don't care for a glory. Christian prince will die, and Christian prince is nobody. But people will remember the work. The Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. And the Muslims, the Muslims, because they are so much intimidated, they want to debate everybody, not face to face. But when it's come to Christian prince, face to face. Because yes, they knew. Yes, because they, you know, they want to see you and... <laughs> If they, you know, some people, some Muslims say that because to make fun of you, because obviously they know you are not going to show you your face. No, and because they, they are cowards, because they are the cowards. For me, I don't mm. show myself because I don't like it. And I don't care for showing myself. People don't need, you see, if I'm an actor, you need to see me. I'm not. Mm. I'm a person, people want to see his words. If the Muslim, they cannot believe in Muhammad unless they hear, see Muhammad and hear Muhammad, then you cannot hear him now and you cannot see Muhammad. So you cannot believe in mm. Muhammad. So imagine if I say to you, I'm not going to debate Allah unless Allah, he come to me. Mm. Right? Yes. What does this have to yeah, do with it? You know, I'm, I'm, I can debate Allah if he is he's dead, he's true I, or not. I can debate you. I don't see you. I don't want to see you. Who cares? People, they want your answer. People, they laugh at my answer or your answer, regardless what you are saying. Mm. But did, because, you try to, did you try to reach out to Uthman ibn Farooq? He's like, this guy is the guy is a potato, you know, he's a bully. You see, this is what the Muslims they do. They try to bully you. We I am the one who says if you are a person who have knowledge, just let me call you. I will call you. Don't call me. And they say to you, he will hang up on us. I will call you in your life. Don't call me in my life. I will call you in your life. Okay, okay, wait. Don't delete this video. I will, you know. I will take this part out and I will tweet at Uthman and I will tell him to talk to you live. And say to him the following, the one who hang up first is a coward and he is son of Muta. Is yes. that fair? Okay. Yes. So he will let me call him if he is a man, but he is not. Tell him that. Record this part. I will yes. call him. He do not need to mm -hmm. call me, huh? even though he is too little for me. But I will call him. I'm a very humble person. I will call him and the one who hang up first before we finish you know we will make it like three hours when the three yeah. hours is over you know mm -hmm. it's over whoever it yeah. doesn't matter who hang up then three hours mm -hmm. from the time we call yeah. to the time we finish three hours the one who hang up on the others mm. he's a coward and mm. you know we will not use any personal insult you know, and he, he is not important for me as a person. I'm not important for him as a person, but you know, they are bully. So they will try to insult me. If he start insulting me as a person, I will return that insulting to his prophet. 
and also you know you both should not speak over each other you know there should no, no, be no 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 we can speak over each other no problem because the best the best of of of, of this debate is to have a real argument you know he can speak over me no problem if he have an idea he can prove it you see people are listening don't worry about it the, the mm. crowd is watching correct so the crowd yes. either will be laughing at me at or at him doesn't matter what we are saying so mm. let people see a real a real argument not a fake one there's no five minute for me five this does those are those are for kids those are mm. not a debate they go and they print you know uh, uh, five pages from the internet and then they start reading them in the computer and you can tell even in the, those debate they are reading papers in the front of them so this is not a debate and there's no topic no topic any question from him any question from me if he is a sheikh, yeah. he is ready if I'm a person who knows what I am you know what I'm claiming to know I will be ready correct I do not need yeah. to know I mean imagine you go to an exam and then you tell me before I go give me the questions <laughs> yeah this is what they do because they are cowards they want a topic in the beginning and mm -hmm. because simply they are not scholars they are potatoes they are scared they are terrified anything from him anything from me free mm -hmm. fight I let people what, laugh. What, what do you think about him you know forget about him my friend don't switch those are potatoes for me don't even mention you're wasting my time those are potatoes they are coward they don't even worse to talk about them read with me in the screen please this is a make <clears throat> Nothing informed them of his death except a little warm of the earth, which kept slowly gnawing away at his stick. So when he fell down, the chin saw clearly that if he had known the hmm. ones, they would have not. No, this is this is the verse, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us see here a little bit. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, read, died, and how Allah concealed his dead death from the jinn. Who were subjugated to him to do hard labor he remained leaning on his stick which was his staff as ibn abbas may allah pleased with him said and mujahid and al hassan and qutada blah 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 and others they said he stayed like that for a long time nearly a year when the creature of the earth which was kind of worms ate through the stick it became weak and he fell in the ground and then it became apparent that he is dead a long time before what is that mm -hmm. yeah he's, uh, he said he stayed like that nearly a year when a creature of the earth should aid the staff became weak and fell to the ground then it became very tired I won't. Oh, okay uh, what I can understand is that obviously you know for the jinns they were just doing their work and they did not recognize it but I do see your point that how did his wives and others did not recognize it not only that, my friend, what are you, listen, listen, I want you to think with me. The guy is dead for a year. Mm. He is a king. He's not like, okay, I'm a guy, let us say, my neighbor will miss me, my, my 90, uh, 100 cousins, they will miss me. They can come to my door, they will think I am traveling. But this guy is a king. Mm. A king, if he don't appear for a day or two, the whole kingdom will be worried. Correct? Yes. This king is not even blinking. He have, according to Muhammad, he have 99 goat, which means wives. And when he start having sex with them, he forgot to say, inshallah. Remember the hadith? And, oh, be, and because he said, he did not say, inshallah. <laughs> because he did not what? say, inshallah, Allah gave him half, half a child. What? Because he forgot to say, inshallah. Hmm. 
Allah gave him half a child. You see, you see why inshallah is so important for the naive ones. They say they, they, they think, so what is this inshallah? But for the one who knows Islam very well, they knew that this is absolutely number one thing for a Muslim to do. Uh, what do you think about prophecies? No, no, hold on. Do you remember the hadith or not? Uh, I, I have not read it honestly. Let me find the hadith, hold on. <clears throat> so you can laugh a little bit and see the lies of Muhammad. Read it. You see uh, on the screen? No, I don't. It takes little time. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Solomon once said, Tonight I will sleep with 99 women, each of whom will bring forth a cavalier. Cavalier means? What? Uh, it, it says. Uh, uh, he, like, he, he will be like a, 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 like a knight, a, a fighter. He will be mujahid, a mujahid. What? Like it? So Suleiman, he will have sex with 90 Achan. women. Oh. 90 women. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he will, after he do boom, boom with all of them. In different hadith says 99, different hadith says 70, depending in the, in the reporter. And after he have sex with all of them, the morning will come and each one will boing, like a, a, a boing, like a baby will come. Because Suleiman, he have a, a very powerful penis like your prophet too. So, uh, he will do boom, 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 and by the morning, brother, we will have 90 uh, fighter, and he will do jihad for Allah. But look what happened. He forgot to say, inshallah. It says here, but he did not say, inshallah. Suleiman has slept with all the women, but none of them became a bread net, but one of them later delivered half a human, half man. <laughs> if he had said and gave her for ah, what does the hadith say down by him in who uh, 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 whose hand Muhammad is soul Muhammad speaking if Suleiman had said Allah will in all his wives would have brought forth boys mm -hmm. so do you see Allah not only he did not do what he wanted he punished him he gave him a half child half a child mean this is how filthy the language of muhammad a person who is in this ability oh. so allah he cursed him according to muhammad it was a curse why because he forgot to say inshallah so do you see how important this inshallah in islam is uh, this is a like really authentic sahih hadith yeah this is sahih bukhari no, I mean anything in Sahih Bukhari. Everything in not... Sahih Bukhari is authentic, yes. This is why it's called, uh, this is number one Sahih book. The Sahih R6. The writer no, that... is R6. This is number one. You know, yes, I understand this is the most authentic book of uh, collection of hadith, but okay. not everything is Sahih. Well, show me one, one hadith in Al-Bukhari is Da'if. Go ahead. Like, there are some hadith that... Uh, uh, I was listening to a speaker and he is very educated and he said not everything is accepted by us. You see, this is how stupid those speakers are. So if not everything is accepted, why you call it authentic? Because Sahih means authentic. So the book name is the authentic Bukhari, but the, Bukha the authentic is not authentic. This is what he is saying. Mm. That is stupid. Secondly, uh, if Al-Bukhari contains false stories, then you should reject the whole book. Because who is the one who decides what is false and what is true then? Al-Bukhari, he decides it's true. The guy who you are told, listen to, he said no. So Islam is a, is a, is a stupid cult. Everybody decides as he wish. Is it true or not? So either the Muslims, isn't it, the, isn't it Muhammad, he says, my nation will not agree in, in something wrong. All the Muslims agree in Al-Bukhari to be uh, perfect. So now yes. why they are, so Muhammad he lied then. 
because no, the Muslims, no. the, my friend, when he says my nation agree, which means the majority. Yeah. Okay. Ijma. Okay. No, tashtamiu, not ijma. Ijma is impossible. Ijma is impossible. Ijma is mean everybody agree. That is impossible. You know. Mm. Uh, so the majority. Mm. If they agree on something, there is no way the majority. They mm. agree upon it, and it's wrong. This is the rule of Allah. And I can mm. show you the hadith. Yes, I know that hadith. Obviously, you are telling the truth, but I want to say what it means. Okay, go ahead. Uh, <coughs> we, you can ask this to every uh, uh, minimum knowledgeable Muslim who knows what Sahih Bukhari is. Mm. You know, everybody will say to you, yes, it's the most authentic. There okay. is a consensus in it. But we do not believe every single hadith. We reject few hadiths too. In mm. Sahih Bukhari. Okay, that is, I will go with you. Based on what you are saying now, Islam is not valid. Because the Quran says, take what Allah he said and what the Prophet said, correct? Yes. Okay. If what the Prophet said, some will believe is true, some they believe is not true, because what you say, it is Sahih. Somebody else says it is Daif, correct? That's what you are saying. No, but it, it depends upon the chains of trans. No, no, no. Uh, Al Bukhari is an Imam. He is not a kid in YouTube, correct? Yes. Okay. When Al Bukhari he put the Hadith as Sahih, he mm -hmm. was an Imam, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and he is a very important one, not a, not a, not a joke. Yeah. So how a person like this he agree it's authentic if it is not? Then a little oh. bit a little bit later he come long after him from you two, and he say this is not authentic. Uh, I can answer that. Go ahead. Like in Sahih Muslim, like there are a few hadiths that, and even in Abu Dawood, that's. Mm. Uh, Imam Bukhari knew they were saying then why didn't he add it in his book which book in his Sahih al-Bukhari when this Musahi, this Imam Muslim he asked him if this hadith is Sahih he said yes this hadith is Sahih hmm. then why didn't he put that hadith in his Bukhari but it's only found in Muslim okay well, maybe the guy, he don't remember all of them. Is it possible that everybody, I mean, is it possible that me, I know all the hadith in the, in, exist in the world? It's impossible. There's thousands what? and thousands and thousands. So, and not only that, me, myself, I made books. And now I say, I wish I put that there. I forgot to mention it. But, but. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Is it possible that a person, he wrote a book, he mm. forgot to mention something? Yes, okay. that's 100% okay. possible. So, he did not mention it, other, other was Sahih, and the other book is Sahih. Sahih Muslim is the same. Mm. All right? But but when he's <coughs> reminded of a Sahih Hadith, why didn't he take it? Oh, oh, does and it say he did not take it? No. He, he said to Imam Muslim, yes, this is Sahih. Then why didn't he add it in his book? Oh, no it? problem. He, he said this is Sahih. That's when he agreed with it. So, so, so okay. What's the problem? He, he need to write his book again. He, the book is already out. And by the way, Muslim don't have Al-Bukhari. Not mm. a single Muslim have the book of Al-Bukhari. Sahih Muslim and Sahih Al-Bukhari, none of you have it. This is what you uh, have today. What you have today is, is a mm. supposed to student of Al-Bukhari claiming mm. that this is what Al-Bukhari is saying. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But you don't have, have Al-Bukhari, you don't have Sahih Muslim. But now I will go with you. As long as like, Muslims agree that there's tons of stories in the in the hadith are fabricated, correct? Uh, I mean fabricated. Yeah. If there is anything fabricated, this imam imams have pointed it out. Okay. So if something is not pointed out, it is not fabricated, mm -hmm. correct? Uh, yeah, so I think. There's a guy. Their... There's a guy. His name is Alabani. He used to go to Paltok. And he refused to debate me and he died. 90% of those hadith here, you will see, it says Sahih by this guy, Alabani, but he's just a new guy. So yeah, now yeah. you Muslim, you take a guy who used to come to Paltok and you made him your God. 
uh, again I said like <laughs> I, I lack says, Al-Alabani Da'if, Sahih yeah. Al-Alabani I know, So now I know. this hadith was always Sahih until Al-Alabani he came and he said this is Da'if <laughs> The guy just died not long time ago So 1400 years this hadith is Sahih and now it is Da'if So my friend it is a shame that you claim that you have God and this God he preserved Islam and there's no Islam in the Quran all Islam okay. is in the hadith let me ask you the Quran says you do muta the hadith says you don't do muta which one you follow we follow the hadith okay but how we know that this hadith about muta is not fabricated because we have to trust it no, uh, because I just say, people have. Hold on, hold on. We did muta. Mm. Muhammad did muta. Mm. Allah ordered muta. Allah never forbid muta. Mm. Then there is a hadith says that the prophet he forbid muta. Then he yeah. allow muta. Then he forbid muta. Then he allow muta. And there is another hadith. You know, since I've heard this uh, from a lot of non-believers, they say, hmm. oh, Muslims used to, you know, rape slaves. So, there is a hadith from, I don't know, Imam Malik or I don't know who it is. Hmm. He said, Rasulullah said to us, don't ever rape a slave. There was the Prophet, he, never, he said never rape a slave? Yeah. But isn't it the Quran says you can rape a slave? No, it does not. Rape a slave. Do you want to challenge me? Did, did Allah said forcefully do it with them? Yes. Are you going to bring up those verses of prostitution? No. Or you are gonna show me 424? Why not? Okay. Uh, it's let's forbidden talk. for you. It's forbidden for you, married women, except your slaves who they are married. Mm. They are married. So how how women they are married? Do you mm. think women she is a married? She will sleep with you willingly unless she is a whore. You just took her from her family. You kidnapped her, mm. and now she will sleep with you willingly. She will be happy to do that. What do you think? Be honest. Yeah, obviously she's not gonna like it. What well, this is rape. So, not only she is a slave, she is married. The verse saying, it's forbidden for you women, they are already married, except married women who they are your slaves. Is there context in Hadith about it? Like Sahaba? Like well, yeah, like Safiya, Safiya, uh, Dahil Kalbi, he took her. And then Muhammad, he exchanged her with seven, seven sex slaves. They uh, told him yeah. that Safiya, they told him Safiya, she is very beautiful. You know, there's a woman, Muhammad, he used to have a, a woman, she's a pimp. His pimp, or Musaleem. So Musaleem, she always, she is beside him. She says to him, why you give this woman she, to him? She is so pretty. Take her for yourself, she'd be yours. So he called mm -hmm. Dahil Kalbi, who was his boyfriend, and he said to him, okay, go and take seven or eight slaves. You know, it says even he ishtaraha, he bought her. Mm -hmm. He bought her for exchange of the following numbers of his slaves. And all those and slaves, he married her. This is marriage. I mean, come on. The guy, you killed his father. You killed her husband. You killed her her, 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 her family and then she married him. You know, she had no choice. Whatever he wants, he's already raping her. He raped her before he do anything. Mm. Mm. He married her. I, obviously, right. you know, I do see everything you guys say. This is why, you know, I, I, I wanted to understand Christianity. Hmm. I obviously understand w what Islam is, you know, I know. Obviously. Not only that, let me ask you, let me ask you. Hmm. What do you think of a man, he killed a woman and she was just a bride. It was the night of her wedding. She just get married. And then he raped her in the same day. What do you say about a man like this? Like what happened? He killed her husband. She is just a bride. Hmm. Read the hadith. This is Sahih. 
Anas ibn Malik, we came to Khaybar, we bestowed the conquest of fortress, fortress mm. on us, and the beauty of Safiya, daughter of Huyay, was mentioned to him. You see her beauty, the guy is perverted. Her husband was killed in the battle, and she was a bride. This is Safiya, right? Yes. Salaamu Alaikum 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 they raped the women and now they are praising her <laughs> not only he killed her husband he killed her father he killed her brothers he killed her cousins he raped the whole the whole town and then they say to you he made her a wife <laughs> now we are laughing but you know and then the hadith says that Dahya he took her because obviously he is the first maybe to arrive to her house and rape her. And then when they mentioned to him how beautiful she is, Muhammad, he exchanged her with seven heads. You see, they talk about human as if they are goats. Read carefully. Anas reported a beautiful slave girl fell to Dahya. The apostle of Allah purchased her for seven heads, not slaves, says heads. And he gave her to Umm Salim. You see the mention to you, the Umm Salim, the pimp? This is the pimp of Muhammad. This is the woman, she came to Muhammad, she said to him, should I wash my vagina after I have sex a dream? The same woman. And she is the same woman who offered herself to sleep with Muhammad. Mm. So, uh, a purchased, he purchased her for seven heads uh, and he gave her to Musalim what to do with her Musalim to wash her to get her ready for for the rape or decorating her you see you see you see hey Musalim mm. get her ready for me huh? I'm going to rape her hmm? and preparing her for marriage <laughs> where, where is the word marriage <laughs> here we go this is the Arabic what is the word marriage somebody show me the word marriage Prepare her to be raped. It says, Not to marry her. Prepare her. They add the word marriage. Mm. Uh, you know why I have a strong faith in Islam is because of prophecies. That's why I wanted to talk to you about it. Yeah, you have a strong faith of Muhammad because he's a rapist? No. Because of his prophecies, how can he know? Like what? In... Like what? Like he said about uh, Mawla Ali alayhi salam, like he told him. He, he about... told what? He told what? He told to Mawla Ali alayhi salam. To, to who? To who? Hold on. No, Prophet alayhi salam said to Mawla Ali alayhi salam about... He said to who? He said to Mula. Who's Mula? Mawla Ali. Ah, Ali. Yeah. Are you Shia or Sunni? I'm Sunni. I'm, I'm Sunni. Where you get this uh, Mullah? Mullah, because my Prophet said, whoever I am his Mullah, I'll use his Mullah. What, I, I think you are using the word wrong. What Mullah mean? Mullah means uh, maybe friend or master, I don't know. Mullah, Mullah you mean, Mullah. But, yeah. but you see, your, your Prophet is a committing shirk, because al Mullah is Allah. How Ali and Muhammad is your Mawla? I mean, Mawla meaning, I don't know, like I can't, like maybe it means, it means, what does it exactly mean? Like people tell me different meanings. What does is it Is the one in charge of you? In charge. Okay, maybe they're in charge, you know? Yeah, but Allah is in charge. Is it Muhammad in charge because, or Allah? Because we have to learn religion from them, right? Yeah, but he is not in charge. He is not the one in charge of your life. Uh, look, again, we don't believe them as God. Like, Mawla doesn't Yeah, but you just that. said, but you just mm. said that he is the Mawla. Isn't it the Quran it says, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ مَوْلَاهُ وَجِبْرِيلُ وَصَالِحُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ The yes, one who is the Mawla. Huh? Allah himself is saying, I am Mawla, Jibril is Mawla, other believers No, 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 no. You see, you are mixing things up. 
Here you see yeah. the shirk. Let me show you the shirk. Let me show you how stupid the Quran. Mawla is the one who is in charge of everything in the world. This is why, because if, if I am in charge, and Allah in charge, that means there is, I am God and he is God. Is that correct? When, when Allah speaks it, huh? when Allah says, I am Mawla, then Allah being Mawla is different to humans being Mawla. But you cannot make Allah equal to the human, can you? Never. Okay, so how he is Mawla and uh, I am Mawla? Uh, I don't, uh, I can't explain to you. No, no I can, you cannot, I can. Hmm. Hmm. Chapter 66, verse number 4, it says, Allah and Jibreel is his Mawla. Read hmm. carefully what Mawla means. Can you see the screen? Yes, I can, but I cannot Lord, see the track. Lord or Master? Or protector, etc. Okay, who is the protector of of Muhammad? Mm. Allah, Allah. Mm. and Jibril. Mm. But that means Allah is not the protector, because if Allah is the protector, that means whatever Allah He control, He will use to protect you. Correct. But here it doesn't say that, it says Allah and Jibreel. And righteous Muslim. And righteous Muslim. Okay, so is the righteous Muslim are the Lord of Muhammad? No, okay. you are, that's why I think you are understanding it to be a shirk, but it's not. What it means but friend, is. It is your God who is committing shirk now, because he is associating himself with normal people, even with the angels. Now no, all he... of you, all of hold on, all of you, you can do the same. Allah can do the same as Jibril. Jibril can do the same as the righteous, and righteous can do the same as Allah. Protectors means if any harm happens to prophet like that. But no, prophet. but this is false because nothing can happen except by the will of Allah. Correct. Mm. So you do not need Jibril, and you do not need me, and you do not need you. Because nothing will happen unless Allah approve it. So the rest, there is no need for them. It's stupid. Because the whole on is so clear. I think Allah is just saying this to show everybody that we are his protector. No, no, he's not. Because he is showing to you, he is not the protector, actually. Hmm. Okay, you know, uh, I now I want to talk about Trinity. Like, we moved on from that topic, and I didn't really finish what I was saying. Okay, what can you I say? Go say ahead. That? Go ahead, because you know, as soon we will, you know, we will let you go. We have, you have you are been here for long. Oh, I have a lot of time. I can talk to you. <coughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, like, let's say, just for argument's sake, those Christians believe Trinity to be married too. Okay. Hmm. So you guys, you guys said three persons but one God. Mm -hmm. But Allah said you consider them as two gods beside Allah. That's that false. Means, Where Allah He said that? What didn't Allah said to Jesus? Oh Jesus. Did you say to mankind to take you and your mother as deities besides Allah? Hmm. That's because you all Allah is stupid. Because in different verse in the Quran, Allah He says that the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah. Correct? Yeah, I mean there were all sorts of Christians. Some Christians. No, no, say no, no, some... no, no, no. He, he didn't say some Christian. Don't add words. Hmm. Don't add words. Don't don't fabricate. You know, I'm taking to you as a person I respect. So don't add things is not there. Not in Tafsir, okay. not anywhere. It says some Christian, they say some Christian, some... It, it says Nasara, they say. The Christian, they say. By the way, the word mm. Nasara even wrong. We are not Nasara. So, surely disbelieve are those who say Allah is the Messiah. Okay. Mm. So, now, if Allah is beside two, as you said a second ago, correct? Mm. And... Who is the two? Because as you see, the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. 
Mm. So who is the two? Who is the rest? Let us add Mary. Who is rest the, is who, pro, pro God and Mary. Who is the who is the three? If the Messiah uh -huh. is, is the same as Allah, you see, you are the one who said to me that there is a mm. verse says that did you say to the people to take you and your mother mm. beside Allah? Correct? Yes. Okay. So now the Messiah and his mother, we count them one plus one, two, correct? Yes. Okay. And then the verse says that the Messiah, the Christian, they think that he is Allah. Yes, Allah refuted Christians from every single point. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not listening. My friend, you're not listening. Listen, listen carefully. Maybe I should draw it for you on the screen. If the verse saying that Allah said to Isa, by the way, your God never said the correct name of Jesus, which is Yeshua. Mm. Okay. So did you say, did you say to them to worship me and my mother as two beside Allah? So now it's confirmed that those are two and the third is Allah, correct? Yes. All right. So it's going to be stupid to say in different verse that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Because as you see, the Christian here believe that Messiah and Mary beside Allah. So how he is beside Allah in the same time he is Allah? Because two deities meaning mary is also allah jesus also you're allah not listening. no 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 you see that tr the trinity is not that and the quran is making it so clear it says beside allah the second you say beside allah it's mean they are not allah mm. otherwise the arabic of your god is a stupid worship me and my mother as two gods beside allah not worship me as Allah, correct? Beside. So mm. they are in the side of Allah, worshipped as God. Then the other verse says, the Christian, they believe that Allah is the same as the Messiah. So now we have two missing. Allah is the same as the Messiah. Who is the number two and who is number three? Stupid Quran. Like, I don't know, but... Uh... You see what you do always? I know this about you. I, I don't mean to offend you, but this is what I know this. The second you find something very embarrassing and so stupid, you say to me, I don't know. No, this is not embarrassing. This is very clear to me. Oh, how it's clear? Okay, I'm asking because... you another question. Okay, then don't say to me, I, I don't know. You are saying, I, did, you, I just heard you saying, I do not know. There is two beside Allah. Should I write it for you? Here we go. I will make a, a, a paint. Here we have the guy, his name is Isa. Mm. This is Isa. All right. And then we have Mary. Correct? Yeah. Beside Allah. All right. The verse is so clear. Isa is not Allah. Mary is not Allah. They are two beside Allah. Correct? Okay, so how the other verse says that the Christian they say Isa is Allah? Bis Allah, but you, you are missing this point. Allah also said you take Isa and marry as Allah beside no, Allah. No, 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 it doesn't say that. Why are you writing things? Why you are making things up? Read with me carefully. Why it says that? Does not God mean Allah? It says beside Allah. No, God does not mean Allah. Allah is a name. al la la is the name. And the word Al means God. In Arabic, the word Al means the. But in the Old Aramaic, is the word meaning God. And the New Aramaic, or the New Hebrew, became E-L. That's why we say Emmanuel. E-L. God. Jibreel. Gibreel. This angel belonged to El. So your God, even the name of your God, is a stupid you know, it's, it's nothing true about it. Most of them do not know the name of their God, for it is two words, not one word. But we don't want to go there now. Let's finish this one. 
So mm. it says, worship me and my mother as two. I mean, even the word there is coming as two. Two gods, correct? Yes. So the Trinity does not say we have two gods or three gods. Then Here, why didn't Christians say to Muslims at that time, look at your Quran, it's saying we worship three gods. We don't. Why didn't anybody My say friend, that? this is why the Christian refused Islam. They said to him, you are stupid. Uh, can you give me some reference? Okay, we just showed you the one where it says Nabtahil and Muhammad accused them that they are lying because they said to him, you are a liar. When Muhammad, he said, bring your children and I bring my children, bring your wives, I bring my wives and let us invoke the curse of Allah and the one is lying, correct? Yeah. Lying. That's mean they said to him, you are a liar. Hmm. Correct? Otherwise, yeah. They, he, there is no point of saying lying because if a person he is a Hindu and he believe in a God which for me is a false God but yet he is not lying he believe in him this has nothing to do with lying maybe he mm. believe in a lie correct but the person yeah. is not lying a Muslim he said to me I believe in Muhammad is a prophet he's not lying yes but he believe in a lie for me correct so the mm. argument here is so stupid because if the Christian believe that Jesus is the Messiah and he is God or God's son, they are not lying. This is their belief. Mm. The lie is going to be the belief itself if it's not true. So the argument here is stupid. Muhammad, he cannot answer them. And look at this. You, Allah will not curse us unless we ask him to curse us. <laughs> this is the reputation now. So imagine me and you now. You let us debate. Okay, your turn. May Allah cut my nose if I'm lying. Okay, your turn. May Allah close the door of the van over my penis if I'm lying. Okay, your turn now. What is that? This is the most stupid argument. This is a straight boys, savage people who do not know what they are talking about. Because a person, he believes in something, he is not lying. Mm. He believes in it. If he believes in a lie, still he is not lying. You see, if somebody worship Satan, I mean, how far we can go Satan? And he believes Satan is a true God. You ask mm. him, do you believe Satan is God? He will say, yes, he's not lying. That's what he believes. Correct? Mm. But he believes in a lie. This is different. So yeah. the argument here is so clear that he could not answer them about the Messiah. And you will notice here that he is saying to them, the Messiah is a slave of Allah. Which means the Christian, they are saying, no, he's not. Correct? Okay, so then uh, is there uh, a context no, no, about no. this? Hold on, she, uh, listen with me. Re read with me carefully, my friend. The problem is all of us, all of us, you know, I mm -hmm. go to school, I notice even the teacher who was teaching me is an idiot. You don't know how to read. I'm not talking about English or Arabic. I'm talking about mm -hmm. you do not know how to, to, to understand the words. So what is the argument is? The argument is Isa is the slave of Allah. Mm. And he is a divine, obvious, correct? Mm. Okay, this mm. is the belief of the Christians. So, Muhammad saying he is just a slave of Allah, and he is not divine, correct? Yeah. So where is the lie? This is stupid. Their belief versus your belief. There's no lie here. When Muhammad he said that. The black stone is a special stone, according to you. Actually, Muhammad did not say that. Muhammad, he said, it's, it is the right hand of Allah. And then you believe in what Muhammad said. And you say to me, I believe in that. You are not lying. You just told me the truth. You told me you believe in that, correct? Yes. Okay. But I believe my son, from my side that Muhammad is the liar, not you. So you mm. believing in a lie does not make you a liar. It makes you a follower of a liar without knowing. Mm. Right? So, yeah. uh, so here the verse actually clear that the Christians, they rejected that Jesus is a slave of anyone. And mm -hmm. it is clear that the Christian believe he is divine. So the Trinity does not make sense. The name of Asa does not make sense. Mary, the sister of Aaron, does not make sense. The stupid Muhammad, he thought that, that uh... Mar Maryam, the sister of Moses, and if you go in the, in the Old Testament, you will see. That is Aaron and Moses, they have a sister, her name is Maryam. Exactly the same name. 
Exactly. And not only that, the Muslim they tried to defend when Kabul Ahbar he came to Aisha and he said to her, but he cannot be Mary, she can't be the sister of Aaron, for there's hundreds of years between them. And then Aisha she told him, and Muhammad needed to have a solution. He told them at that time they used to call them by their great prophets. But Mary, I... but Mary, she is not from the tribe of Musa's. This is number one. Number two, the idiot Muhammad. He claimed that the father of Moses is the father of Mary. This is why the chapter name is Alu Imran. Okay, let, <laughs> you are saying all of this, right? Okay. Now, hear my perspective too. Mm. You say Jesus is God. Yeah. So, he has all the knowledge of future, right? Okay. Then, why is he letting all the Muslims go to hell without telling us in the Bible that there will be a man in Arab who will be a false prophet and he will spread lies about me? Don't you believe in him? Why didn't he say that being who God? Said, who said he didn't he say that? He speak actually Muhammad, he, uh, so Muhammad was exposed totally in the Bible. And you will see Jesus said, be aware of false prophets. Who will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. You do not need to give names because there will be millions. Muhammad is one of millions who came after Jesus. He Claim... should have said in the Arab. Hold on. No, no, there's no need to say he's an Arab, but let me show you. Jesus he speaks about those who pray in the corners, those who fast and they show they are fasting. Those who they, you Muslims, you go in the middle of the corner in the street, you go, you put your your carpet in the top of the car. You will see a taxi driver. He put the carpet on the car, so everybody will see him like a goat. Jesus speak about the hypocrite Muslims. So Jesus do not need to mention the name of a person. However, you did that. He found the name of Muhammad. Didn't what? he find the name of Muhammad in the Old Testament? Did that? He said Muhammadan. <laughs> Ah, no, that is stupid. <laughs> Whoever believes in that, he is stupid. Yeah, ignorant. my friend, if Jesus want to give us the name of every false person, well, there, this is, will be a million no, book to, to, to count the But there is a name. big difference. You see, Christian friends, mm. there is a big difference because no. the life of hereafter is at stake of over almost two billion Muslims. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, my friend. The Bible so is so clear. No, 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 no. You see, first of all, you are not two billion. You are not even one billion. You Muslim, you exaggerate in the numbers, or the numbers is not true. That you count all of Indonesia Muslims, you count all of Egypt Muslims, you count all of Middle East Muslims, you count all of Iraq Muslims, you count all every every country. You count as we as much you wish, but in reality, this is not true. There is tons of millions in Indonesia, tons of sorry in, uh, of Christians in Indonesia, same as in India. So you count as as much you want. And here you see the stupidity again. Muslims, they think that they are big in number. When their prophet, he says, Islam start as a big religion and will end as a small religion. So even your prophet, he prophesy, and we don't know if this is true or not, that Islam will go so small. So Muslim, they speak about millions and millions of Muslims will go to hell. But the Bible says that the gate is wide. This is the gate of hell, not only for the Muslims. There's many people, they claim to be Christian, they will go to hell too. For not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. So Jesus, he came to tell us what will make you go to heaven. You do not need to count the name of every one of us. And Jesus, he told us about Muhammad and people like Muhammad, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Muhammad is a child molester. Muhammad you is a sex offender. Muhammad is I a criminal. Muhammad I is a fraud. Muhammad, he gave false prophecies. So I do not need his name. You see, the Bible oh. gave me the tools to examine every false prophet. What about his uh, correct prophecies? Like what? Give me one. Like I was saying, and you changed the topic when I said Mawla Ali, because I say Mawla Ali because I love him. What, this is a prophecy about Ali? What Ali? What happened to Ali? My Prophet, salam, you know, once his shoes or his sandals, something, you know, mm. uh, was broken or something so Mawla Ali was fixing it hmm. so the, so he went ahead with Sahaba he was walking and then he stopped and said to the Sahaba do you know uh, we fighted against uh, uh, disbelievers hmm. uh, for Allah but there will be amongst you a person who will fight 
Muslims for Allah. Uh, so they said, "Who, who?" And he he pointed to Mawlana Ali. Hmm. This is and they went to him, and, and they said to him this, and he said, "I," and he smiled. Okay. So they knew. Why he did not? Why he did not protect? You see, just to show you that those all are fabrication. This is not true. Did you see? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me ask you. Did Muhammad predict that uh, the people of Quraysh they will not believe, or he did not predict? I'm talking about this prophecy. I'm, ask, I'm asking you which one is more important. One person, his name is Ali, because this prophecy is not in the Quran. It's a fabrication. Okay, show me it's a fabrication. Um, uh, and because simply Ali, he was killed. He was tortured. His children been no. killed. His family been even, killed. Even about Zubair, there is a prophecy. Listen, listen. All this is fabrication. All of those are added later. Okay, can you call me, show me the prophecy? Go ahead. I want to read it. So Prophet, people will laugh with me. Prophet said. No, no, no. Zubair give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Don't tell me he said. Give me the reference. A reference, I can't find it right now. Oh, don't mention something to me unless you can find it. Okay, but no, I will not find it. No, take your time. Take your time. Go ahead. Not find now. It. No, no, we need to laugh. I need to. I insist. No, I insist. I need to laugh because this is comedy. Just to show you how stupid this prophecy. I mean, because you are desperate, we have Jesus who made people come from the grave. We have Jesus. Who uh, uh, who made the the, the 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 one who's blind see the one who cannot walk walk the one who don't eat eat and the, the one who oh. the, he told you even the unseen which nobody knows except God as, according to the Quran and then you say to me that Muhammad he prophesied that uh, Ali will fight the Muslims <laughs> didn't my prophet heal the person who had a broken foot foot or a bone something my friend he, this is a lie because this is against the Quran the Quran says hold on the Quran says that the, the the people they keep saying to him why you cannot show us one one the miracle Ayatum can't but those you? Are kafirs. hold on hold on chapter 6 verse number 37 they say if one just one sign one miracle sent down from his God we will believe you don't just one no there's none then but there is a reason Allah didn't just say Allah said you won't believe Allah knew the future you won't you. believe yes you should you just said that you should say what is the proof that Muhammad is a fraud because those people later they believe <laughs> how do you know how do you know they because believe? he was speaking to the people of Quraysh all of them later they became the believers no, you don't know that. What do you mean? You, you just said he did not, he did that because they will not believe anyway, correct? Okay, so let let's say they believe later. Okay, I I can refute this too. What do you mean you can refute? Let's say. Listen, listen. Allah, when mm. when Muhammad he speak about Khalid bin Walid, about uh, Bani Umayya, they are the enemies. He speak, they will not believe. You warn them, you don't warn them, they will not believe. And later they believe. Read carefully. Chapter 2, verse number 6. Chapter 36, verse number 10. You know, if you warn them, or you don't warn them, it doesn't matter. You, they will not believe. Later they did believe. Uh, what about Kisra? You know, listen, listen, said, don't change, don't change. That's the Quran. Don't make it, don't give me, don't give me, you know, shish kebab talk of the of the coffee shop of the Muslims. This is Quran. If the Quran is giving us false information, that means everything is false too. Because if he say, you warn them or you don't warn them, it doesn't matter, they will not believe. And then later, all of them, they believe. It means this, this is a fraud. I don't know who this is about. So no, we not... can go. Hold on. We can go. There's, you know, you Muslims, you have books. You have interpretation. You have the book of Asbab al Nuzul, the reason for the verse to come. This is about the people who Muhammad, who is Muhammad struggling with? Quraysh. Okay, show me clearly. Show me clearly where it says who, who, this verse is about them and they believe later. Okay, on. let us go. Chapter 36, verse number 10. All because right. if Muslims said that, then they wouldn't be Muslims at all. Well, my friend, 
Muhammad is making it clear. His God, he told him, you warned them. You don't warn them. It doesn't matter. They will not believe. You know, the Muslim, they say that Muhammad, he made a verse about his uncle, correct? Abu Lahab. And they say, if you mm. believe, that will be a problem. Okay. But here we go. He made verses about tons of people who did not, he said they will not believe. And later they believe. Okay, show me. Okay, this is your interpretation in front of you. <coughs> but you know, Abu Lahab didn't believe, you know that, right? Huh? Abu Lahab and his wife didn't believe, you know that, you, right? said, you, you see, you Muslim, you are trying to pick up now one, two person. But if we go and you will see, we will see this is about all the people of Quraysh. This is not about one or two. Because it is very important. Because Allah didn't say Quraysh will not believe in the verse. My friend, it says to their home, it's a group, it's not one. He did not say him, he did not say her. And this is not only one place. This is in many places in the Quran. So if you warn them or you don't warn them, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They will not believe. That is a stupid statement. Because if they will not believe, why Allah is sending him to talk to them? But Muhammad, because he could not explain why they will not believe, how come they are not going to believe? After he gave up, and now he is exposed, suddenly he came with a you know a different story. He says Allah told me, don't you warn them or not? They will not believe. But later, all those people they believe. Okay, show me. Let us see. Hold on. Let us see. Show you some some reference. Uh, where is Ibn Kathir? All right, this is Ibn Kathir. Read carefully with me. Truly those against whom the word worth of your Lord has been justified will not believe. Correct? Mm -hmm. And then he's quoting different verse, chapter 2, 145, the same chapter. And even you will bring that to the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, all the ayat, they will not believe. Correct? Does it say that? Truly those... Are... Wait, wait, I don't see the screen yet. Hmm. Which one are you talking about? This is Ibn Kathir, explain, he's quoting for you uh, the same verse and the other verses. And even if you bring to the people of the book, all ayah, they won't follow your Qibla. Hmm. But you Muslims, you have tons of videos about Christian who became believers, correct? I don't know about that. But no, the Quran says they will not follow you. Nobody. It says, if you bring to them even miracles, that's mean he did not give any miracles. You bring them all ayat, ayat mean a miracle. Or you don't, still they won't believe. Right? And then he said mm -hmm. to him, for you, that your duty is just to, to warn, to tell them, give the message. But they will yes. not believe. Right? Okay. And then here he continues saying, verily those who disbelieve, it is the same to them whether you, Muhammad, warn them or not. Correct? The yes. Messenger of Allah was eager for all the people to believe and for the guidance. And he was sent with Allah informed him that none would believe. Look, what he, what he, what he, he had to, to fix it. He said, except those whom he decreed happiness to for them. <laughs> but doesn't say that. It says you warn them, they will not believe. <laughs> he had his own. And the verse doesn't say that. It says they will not believe. You warn them, you don't warn them. They will not believe. This is a false prophecy. And actually, you know, maybe in some other time, we can make just a special time for this because there's tons of names and we can quote for you the stories about each one of them, individual, how Muhammad protected, predicted they will not believe and later they became believers. 
and vice versa yeah i will appreciate that because uh, when you will show i will write down all of the references <coughs> and i will go to a knowledgeable person and show him why you don't uh, do me a favor and call a knowledgeable person to join us i don't have any contacts that's well, why don't you have a shake you go to the mosque i don't have anybody okay i i do my own research hmm. i i i okay, listen, li to... listen listen i will make it simple about your prophet prophecy hmm. When, when we say to the Muslims that the sun set in murky water, they say this is from the perspective of Zul Khurnain, correct? Yes. Where it says that? Because Allah, didn't Allah say he found. Okay, well, if I say, if I, okay, I say now, I'm speaking to Muhammad, I forgot your name, uh, uh, Noor. 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 Uh, Noor. So Noor, he went home and he found his dog eating his food. Hmm. Is that from perspective or you found? The word found, we don't use it if it's not true. I mean, uh, yes, obviously, he, he's seeing what is happening. No, 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 no. You see, it's not him saying. It was Allah. Allah said he found correct i'm typing in arabic okay if if allah is talking allah is reporting false story false find huh? no allah obviously whatever he's saying he's saying the truth okay so he's saying he found he is not saying he thought so yeah. why muslims try to fix it by lying same time isn't it muhammad he said the same that the sun set in a muddy hot water yeah i saw that hadith okay so why the muslim they don't want to show what their prophet said and suddenly they are the one who knows what the verse meant not muhammad how no muslims how come all those muslims who make videos to refute me they did not want to mention this hadith why what happened what is the problem and if this hadith is fabricated, why is there? And why and, is, not, and why it is good all those years? You know, not only they they change some words of Quran, they, they do it with Bible too. What do you mean? Like Zach and Nag, you know? Oh, okay, no problem. You see, this it's okay, I understand. But now here, you focus with me. I don't care what they say about the Bible because the Quran says Allah, he confirmed the Bible. That's stupid. The Quran from the first chapter, cha sorry, chapter three, it says, confirming what is with them. Mm. So, whatever the Muslim they say about the Bible fabricated is stupid because that will make Allah stupid too. And the Quran is stupid, and Muhammad is a fraud. No, here, what do you mean? No, because I have, I, I have an answer to that. Too. Okay, give me the answer. Go ahead. Okay, you see, now who believe they are monotheist, Jews and Muslims? That's false. We both we both worship Allah and we That's don't false. First of all, you are not monotheist. You know, I, I just showed you that even a Jew he was giving Muhammad a, a big a big a big nail, and Muhammad did not know what monotheism okay. means. Secondly, let, let, secondly, hold on. Your Quran says, chapter nine, verse number thirty, that the Jews believe that Hosea is a son of Allah. Allah is not saying all Jews believe. No, it says all Jews. Don't lie. Do you show me? Did you see it says one Jew? Do you see two Jews? It says the At Jews. That, okay, then show me any any historical evidence where Jews laugh at Muslims. <laughs> Your Quran is saying we believe in Israel. Who is Israel? Well, this is why they refuse him. Who is Israel? I ask you now. Show me. Where is Israel? Show me Israel from the Bible. Oh, go ahead. You see, we Christian, we, we came after the Jews, correct? Yes. And we accepted the book of the Jews as it is. We did not do the playing the game like Muhammadan. We accept this, we reject that. Whatever the Torah is, we accept the Torah. Okay. Show me mm -hmm. from the Torah, this guy, Israel, which the Jews they worship. Go ahead. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, remember, we are, we are accepting this book for 600 years before Islam. So there is no way that the Christians and the Jews, they agree to change a word. 
Nobody want to do that. I mean, even a Muslim, if I ask him, can you take a word from the Quran, he want to do that, right? Mm. A believer, he want to do that. This is a stupid uh, argument. That's, you know, they change the word. That's stupid. Because but, even, even if I change the word from the Bible, let us say, I did that, you know? What about the rest of the Christians? They want to agree with me. The Jews will kill you if you do that, actually. <laughs> so, and not only that, the Bible is spread all over the world. It's, it's not like now, like in the internet, you post, you know, it's one copy, everybody will take it. There's millions of copies, may, actually, and many churches, different names, and even different sect, different languages. Yeah, no. So yeah, no, listen, listen, no focus with me, focus with me. So when the Quran says the Jews they say, the Jews where they say, can you isn't it the Quran says give me your proof if you are truthful? Mm. Look what you did. You are asking me to prove. It is you who mentioned this. Prove it. The stupid Mimi Hijab he said to David Wood in his debate, if we can call it a debate, mm. a mockery debate. Not a single Jew, not a single Jew, except he believe in monotheism, correct? Mm. Not a single Jew believe that God have a son. Yeah. But David Wood, he is not a good in debate as usual. If I am there, I will say to him, you stupid, you just got your prophet busted. Not a single Jew. So what we would do with the Quran? Whoa. What then? What is wrong with these people? You know, why do they not present evidence? You see, Jews believed used to believe uh, Ezra was the son of Allah. Certain Jews believe. There's not a single line in the Bible. Take your time. It says then, that then, there is a person. His name is Ezra, and the Jews they believe he is the son of God. That is who, a stupid. Can you tell me who was Ezra? There's no, no such a word. It doesn't say, you see, it, it says in, in the translation, it says Ezra. But in Arabic, it says Uzair. We never heard even with, with such a name. Okay. Muhammad, I, Muhammad is a crazy, sick person. He brings names we never heard of them. Uzair. Is this, is this oh. the same person that uh, in the Quran, Allah says, we lifted him up? What? Uh, in the Quran, Allah says, we lifted uh, Ezra up something, right? This is different. No, this is this is Uzair. He is a son of Allah, and Allah is against this person. This this word is mentioned only once in the Quran. Hmm. Honestly, see? like again, I can't say anything when I have no historical proof. You know. Okay, well, I, I like that. So, how you accept the stupid Muhammad when he never have any historic of anything he's saying? I mean, I, I believe in them because... No, 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 I hold have... on, hold on. No, no, you see, you just say it's something against what you are saying. If you don't have historic proof, mm -hmm. you will not believe. Well, can we establish no, this rule or we not, cannot? No, I didn't say that. Hmm. I didn't say... So can we accept I... Muhammad as a historic reference? I said... Can, when we I accept, have... can we accept Muhammad as a historic reference? I mean, people who do not believe, they cannot. No, no, you, you. Can you accept Muhammad as a historic reference? Uh, I believe in him because he's a prophet, whatever he said. I believe it happened, but I cannot find proof for it. No, I'm asking you, can you, do you accept him as historical reference? Yes. Okay. Have you, did you study some, as long as you talk about historic reference? Hmm? Hmm? I want you to read this word with me. A Samiri. Mu says he met the Samiri. You know what does a Samiri mean? Uh, wait, wait, my screen, I cannot see anything. <laughs> the people of Mu says, in the time of Mu says, there's a, there's a Samiri. A Samiri, is this like a cow they used to worship? No, no, you know, the, those, the, there's a certain group of people, they are called Samiri, or let's see what the word in English, let me see, uh, I'm trying to find what is the word. Oh. In, uh, These on. are people who used to do magic or something? No, 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 hold on. Okay, I don't know about them much. I'm, I'm trying to to find the equal word in the Bible. Hold on, in English. <clears throat> <coughs> 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 
just to show you how dummy this man is. Okay. In English, they call them the Samartians, I guess. Samartians. So, according to your prophet, the Samartians were exist in the time of Moses. How that happened? What? How that happened? According to Moses, what did he say? No, I'm saying, uh, your God in the Quran. This is Allah talking. Yeah. Okay. Saying that the some the 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 Samaris, a person from the Samari people, he did deceive the Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay. How that happened? You can go right now and check and see the date of those people when they are exist, what time they came to existence, and see if they mm -hmm. are exist in the time of Moses. If all historians oh. they say this is a joke, then you are a prophet, Samart Samartian, Samartian, sorry, Samartian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are a prophet is quoting something stupid, people will laugh at him. So you are telling me Samaritans, uh, whatever it is, they didn't exist at the time of Moses? I, I want you to do the, the work yourself and search it. Okay, uh, right now, obviously. So, it, so, it, so, uh, so if they are, if they are exist in the time of Moses, then mm -hmm. this story is true. Okay. You know, and mm -hmm. Muhammad is quoting the Bible or quoting history. What do you think? Okay, if it if it is not in the history, then obviously there. Uh, I have to ask other people. What then? Why is it mentioned? Where can we find them in history? No, you can go to Google right now, and you can search what year they were exist. Very easy. Okay, wait. Remember, the one is talking here is Allah, right? So historical mm -hmm. mistake is not accepted. <coughs> because according to this, those people, they are exist in the time of Moses and the Exodus. On Wikipedia, it says Samaritanism is internally described as the religion that began with Moses. Hmm. It began with Moses. Who said that? <coughs> On Wikipedia, it says. <coughs> no, no, give me a history. You know what uh, Moses? What began with Moses? Here, which they Maybe I'll read about different group. Uh, it, it's summary. Wait, mm. I I search summary tense. Mm. Yeah, but can you can the Muslim show us where those people there exist in the time of Moses? Here we go. We have the Torah. There's no need for the Jews to fabricate history and change history just to prove Muhammad to be a fraud. How do people they were exist in the time of Moses? Moses, he go vacation to the beach, hmm? to Hawaii. He come back, his people, they are deceived by the Samari. How that happened? How that happened? Didn't Allah said how it happened? How, how it happened? I mean, how they, how they meet in the same time? This is the question. I, I don't really know about the story, you know, I haven't read it, so I, 
I, I don't know. Well, how I will give you time to search that, and then, and when you find the answer, you will you, you will die laughing, because the Samari in this, this, the Samari or the area, which whoever live in there, they call them the Samari people. This is when mm -hmm. the Assyrian conquest, uh, 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 like uh, the occupation of, of the Assyrian between the 722 and 721, you know, mm -hmm. uh, BCE. This is BCE. So, uh, based on this, ba based on this, Moses was exist in that time. Mm. So your prophet obviously is messed up. He came so back. Moses, he came back. He found a guy from the the, the Samaria. He mislead the Jews, and he made them worship um, a male a male cow. Mm. So you are telling me, let's say even if this uh, this group existed at the time of Moses, they no. First, you have to prove first that they are existent at the time of Moses. It's like saying that the the prime minister of Israel, he came to meet, and I'm talking about the prime minister now. He came to meet, uh, let us say. Alexander the Great. Mm. But they are not living in the same time. How they met together? If especially if the if the person still doesn't even exist. Do we do we have like any historical you like? You can go and search. I will give you time to search about this. This is no. a lot of. Uh, you can read no. there's ton of articles about this issue. And you will find this is historic. Yeah, this is historic. Yes, this is not about Christians or Jews. This is the history of nations. The Assyrian they have their history books. This is not have to do nothing to do with the Christians and Jews. And you know, this is about the Assyrian, you know, conquering, taking over, enslaving the Jews, etc. So this is not something secret. It's not about something you will find only in the book of the Jews. This is history. You know what I mean? So you can go and search all kind of history books. And you will find that this is very, very weird of Muhammad to say that his God told him that. What about, what about that? Uh, the Pharaoh is the one who built the Babylon Tower. What Pharaoh did what? The Pharaoh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He is the one who built the Babylon Tower. Uh, I I can't understand you. Your voice is not okay. clear. Okay, where is the Babylon Tower located? Babylon, 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 sorry. Oh, Babylon. Babylon, sorry. Okay. I don't know where it's located. Okay. It is in Iraq. Okay. All right. And what uh, what time this uh, Babylon Tower was built? What does this have to do with the Pharaoh? So, what, what like, what, what is your point like? Hmm. All, all of us we knew about the ancient story of the uh, the people of Iraq who they want to build or the king at that time who want to build a king who sorry who want to build, build a, like a, a tower so he can go to God according to your prophet the one who built that tower is the Pharaoh of Egypt and the one who made it is Haman, but Haman is a minister of the king of Iraq. He is from different nation, from different ethnic. So how Haman became the minister of the Pharaoh, and how Pharaoh became the one who built that tower? Mm -hmm. hmm. I will ask this. And not only that, all of this is in the time of Moses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it... <laughs> the tower of the Babylon and Haman and uh, everything is you know I mean look at this this is the, the I mean this is the most stupid mix the story up Haman is a minister in Iraq he became a minister of the Pharaoh Pharaoh is the name of a person according to the Quran this is why the Quran keeps saying Ali Pharaoh mm. Ali Pharaoh you see in Arabic when you say Al mm. You put Al in front of a name of a person, not a title. 
So you say Ali Ibrahim, correct? Mm. Okay. Ali Musa, Ali Pharaoh. Why he keeps saying Ali Pharaoh? Because he thinks Pharaoh is the name of the person. Mm. Ali Pharaoh. If you take this word Al and you search it in the same website, search for this word Al, you will see it's appeared before Moses, sorry, before Abraham, etc. All the names. As an example here, Al Moses. You see it? Al Moses. Chapter 2, verse number 248. What the translation of uh, the, ver the word Al? They will say it's a family of Moses. Hmm? Alu Moses, Alu Harun, Alu Pharaoh. So this God who read uh, the history, he thinks mm. Pharaoh is a person. His name is Pharaoh. When Pharaoh is a title, because you don't so, add the word Al unless it is a singular name of a person. Uh, can you tell me about this? You know, uh, Muslims. Uh, I've heard a lot of them say, you know, when Allah says in the Quran, today we will preserve your body so that people who come after you may witness, you know, as you sign. Well, you know, um, okay, first of all, the Muslim, they say that uh, the body of the Pharaoh is, uh, is found, right, is found. But what, mm -hmm. what the historian they are saying, what they have is a mummy. A mummy, you know, it's not it's not a body, it's found in the water. It is a body, it is a body of a pharaoh, which is in a grave, which they did the surgery, it's not Allah who did the surgery for him. He's still preserved, right? His body. No, no, but he's not preserved by Allah. All the pharaohs, they are preserved by Allah. The Egyptian, they have to make a surgery, take off all his... Uh, stomach and whatever is inside so the worms will not eat the body and they put chemical to keep the flesh you know from being you know decay by time but it's not allah who preserved him this is another lie the muslim they come with because who is the one who preserved who is the egyptian the kuffar or allah it is the egyptian who made surgery for every pharaoh but look again Whatever Allah says, I will do. He he does it. He uses. Where where how uh, you know you see, uh, I will go with you as an example. Allah He said in the Quran that Zulkarnain He built a dam between the people of Gog and Magog and the human being. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is this dam? Uh, this will Allah also said it will uh, be shown at the. Uh, end of judgment is something where it says like that where it says it, that where, yeah, where, where, like where, no 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 this is not this no, don't you see i i speak to you as a man don't talk to me as a kid <clears throat> can you show me the reference that gog and magog the dam is hidden is it hidden or something it's a mountain uh allah said he he will uh, reveal them something right no 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 Allah one day will let them open. You see, we go back to Insha'Allah. According to the to your, your prophet, those people they keep digging in the wall which built by Zulkarnain mm -hmm. every day, and then when night come, they go to sleep. Second day they come, but because they are not saying Insha'Allah, all the digging they do in the wall is going to be fixed by the morning because they forgot to say Insha'Allah. So one day. Mm -hmm. The leader of them, he will say, Inshallah, tomorrow will continue. Hmm. And because of that, they will be able to open the hole and go through the wall. What a nice story. Do you see how important Inshallah is? Yes, I do see that. Okay, so now, so the ignorant will say, why you are concentrating Inshallah? Because this is a proof that this guy is not a Muslim. He's a fraud. Hmm. So, so those people, they keep doing, and I can show you even the reference from your prophet. So those people are exist, supposedly. And they are not even human. They have a weird description. Their ears is weird. They're, you know, and each one of them, he will have 1,000 baby compared to human being. So before he die, each one of them, he will have a 100 child, male child. 
So you can mm -hmm. one thousand, sorry. So one thousand child, and now they are behind a dam, mm -hmm. which is between two mountains. If this story is true, that means Islam is true because this is something nobody knows, correct? Yes, exactly. So, as long as the the, the 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 ratio of those people is one thousand to one, so if we are seven billions, they have to be seven trillions right now. Where are they? Where we can find this dam? This is a fiction story. Stupid story. Maybe Allah is very good, you know, he, to hide them. No, he did not hide them. It is Zulqarnain who put them between behind the wall. He did not hide them. He just built a dam so they cannot go through it. They are not under so the they, they are not under the ground. They are behind a, a wall he built. Can you read the verse where Allah talks about Gog and Magog? Well, yeah, this is a chapter eighteen, verse number. You can, you can, you can. Uh, uh, you know, you can read it from verse number 91, 92, 93, 94. Uh, <clears throat> dude, you used to be a Muslim or you were born Christian? There's nobody is born a Christian. According to your prophet, I was born as a Muslim. And then, and actually this is true. I was born as a Muslim because my mom, she told me when I used to be a Muslim, I used to do a lot of poo, -poo in my diaper, which is the only proof that I was a Muslim at that time, you know? But your prophet, according to your prophet, everyone is born as a Muslim. And then his family, they make him a Jew or a Christian, which is proven again that this is stupid. Why? Do you know why? Mm. Mm. Okay. If everyone is born as a Muslim, and then there is his family, they make him a Jew or a Christian. Then a person who is born as a Muslim, why he leave Islam? His parents are Muslims. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. So, focus with me, my friend. Mm. According to your prophet, those people they are digging in the wall every day, and mm. your prophet he claimed that in his time the people of Gog is coming. You see the first prophet. This is Sahih Muslim. Read carefully. Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, he said. Today, the wall, the barrier of Gog and Magog has been opened so much. This is in the time of Muhammad. Mm. Then later he says, Wailun lil Arab. Oh, Arab, horrible things is going to happen to you. Gog and Magog, they open a hole. You see it? Uh, no, I don't see it yet. Okay, okay, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. You see how we can, we, we get uh, the false prophet? The prophet came to visit me one day. He was frightened. You see the word frightened? Mm -hmm. Okay, why is he frightened? Why is he frightened? No, I don't see anything yet. Wait. Okay, what's going to come to your face? No problem. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Came to visit. Uh, wait, wait. I don't see the top. Okay, now I see it. Sallallahu alayhi wa came to visit me one day. Right this is Zainab day. talking, Zainab, the wife of Muhammad. Okay. So he came to Last me and he was what? He was frightened, correct? Does it say that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He said, La ilaha illallah. The guy is going crazy. Oh, not only Allah is God. Okay. And then he says, We to the Arab. To who? To the Arab. Because mm. the evil which has been drawn near. Mm. Muhammad, he claimed. He's prophesying that Gog and Magog are coming so near, soon. And he's frightened. And he said, today, an open of this size has made in the barrier, mm. restraining Gog and Magog. And then he made a circle with his thumb, his mm. index finger. And then I asked, he, you know, she asked the messenger of Allah, said to him, shall we perish? While still there will be righteous people among us, he said, Yes, when wickedness prevails. Wait, wait, let, uh, so he's talking about this is what happened, happening now, not will happen tomorrow. This is happening now. I receive news, I'm frightened. He's scared, he's terrified. Does that make him false prophet for you or not? 
and this is exists in Sahih Muslim and Sahih Al Bukhari, and then it says here in Arabic, agreed upon, yeah. which means which means not a single Muslim don't agree. So he he says yes when wickedness prevails. Yeah, the wickedness. They are the wickedness. They are prevailing. They are coming. That's why he's frightened. Why is he frightened? You see, he did not predict the Muslims will be under 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 the attack of those Gog and Magog. He said the Arab, and he is the Arab too, speaking to the Arab. Wailunil Arab. A we to the Arab, today, not next year. Not something he saw in the future. This is happening today. Mm. And what happened? A space is open. And remember, Muhammad he said it clearly that that space will not open until they say inshallah, which means after that point there's no return. That's it, the space is open. It's like, you know, you make a hole in the dam and then the whole dam will collapse. You know what I mean? Mm. If you make a point and the water starts coming through, the water will push, 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 and that will make it bigger and bigger and bigger. That's it, you cannot fix it. The dam is going to collapse. And Muhammad, he made it clear. But it was just a little hole, right? It doesn't matter. You remember, so, remember the hadith says that this hole will not be open until they say, inshallah. Yeah. Okay. So then, since then, we have 1400 years ago. And they are opening still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where opening are they? It's, it's getting closed by Allah. No, it was a close then. It, the guy, he was frightened. If if they will come 1400 years after, Muhammad should not be frightened. <laughs> he was frightened because I think it was shown to him for the first time. Our friend, he said, Arab. At that time, the only Muslim was those Arab around him. So Muhammad was predicting carefully, saying that those Arab are going to face the people of Gog and Magog. Mm. Otherwise, there is no need to be frightened. So, what do you think about Gog and Magog? It's a joke. Like, it's a lie. Obviously, you you guys have Gog and Magog in Bible too. Well, this is an area. This, those are not really people. Area, so it's, an it's area, not. an area where you know. So, Muhammad, look what what Muhammad do. Muhammad, he take a story from here. A story from there. He add his own spice. Where in the Bible it says that there is people who they are called the people of Gog and Magog and they are not a human like us and somebody will build a dam and then they cannot come to us. That is a lie. A lie. And it's just stupid because if you build a That's dam, if you build a dam, my friend, between two mountains, people, they can go around the mountain. Let us say the mountain is so high. Let us say I, you are behind the Himalaya. How high the Himalaya is? High, very high, correct? Yes. Okay, still you can go around it. You do not need but 1400 years. The earth is but, not a flat, the earth is not a flat, and there's no mountain can separate two nations. That is a false statement. Okay. This, so, oh, this mountain, this mountain can be separating if it is extremely high and the earth is so flat and the mountain go all the way to the two sides of the earth. You know what I mean? Mm. Let's say the earth is like a table and then the mountain even have to extend out of the table. So they cannot like jump from the round, you know? So mm. this mountain has to be extremely high. And as you see, what uh, Zulkarnain he did, even the name of Zulkarnain is coming from a fiction story about a guy who, you know, he is, he, he you know, uh, he wear a hat, he have two horns, and he is Alexander the Great. This is a fiction story written about a, re a true person Mm. But now, you know, they make a story about war in Iraq, but it's a fiction story, correct? The war in Iraq is true. The war in Afghanistan is true. But the stories in the movies are fictions. So, Muhammad, he took a story, fiction story about Alexander the Great, that he went, and this is what happened in his way. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in his Quran as a true story. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, but you know, as a human, what I can believe about this story is that God is so powerful that 
no matter how the how lo- how large the amount of people might be hmm. he has power to hide them okay, okay hold on hold on hold on you see if you have the power to hide them then who who need you see the one who did put them behind the branch is not allah it's just people people the azul qarnain to build a dam and he built the dam as simple as that it's not allah who did that yes okay so is it allah who hide them or it is zulqarnain who put them behind the dam zulqarnain okay so why you put allah in the middle because hmm. uh, prophet alayhi said this is one hmm. of the major signs of day of judgment ah okay that but, 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 okay, so why muhammad is terrified and why how it's open even jesus christ will go away with muslims on top of mountain ah he will and go with muslim top of say, mountain allah will say oh hmm. jesus today uh, uh, uh does allah call them <coughs> servants <Or> or <coughs> hmm? like like you know you know this uh hadith right when hmm. my prophet said jesus will take muslims to the mountain hmm. when yajuj majuj will come can you bring that hadith up please which one say again uh, the one about jesus when he will uh, make dua to allah oh allah take them away uh, and jesus will send one muslim to go down and check so he will hmm. go and he will find all of them dead that's it So nobody can kill them except Jesus. Why? Even Jesus couldn't kill him. Jesus killed Antichrist, but Allah told him to this these are my creation nobody can face. Hmm. Go away to that mountain. Hmm. So go 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 they come and then Jesus ask Allah and then Allah he kill them all. Uh, yeah, Jesus and Muslims they pray together. Ah, they pray together. Uh huh. So the stories about the Gog and Magog and their arrows is a lie. Then, if you're a prophet, <coughs> did you bring up that hadith? Yeah, hold on. uh what do you believe happened to my prophet like in your opinion like obviously he wasn't <coughs> fooling around you know yeah he wasn't fooling around <laughs> he was serious whatever whatever he was yeah funny your prophet was fooling around all the time he was a joker your prophet he came in a perfect time where nobody to stop him the the roman they were fighting the persian for 300 years and they were exhausted and the and the persian they were they are they are dead they lost the war so he came in a perfect time like now let's say russia and usa they go in war for 300 years at the end of the 300 years your filthy prophet came he wasn't fooling around he was just a gang and it worked you know like if hitler he came in a time yeah. of muhammad he would be the victorious but hitler he started the war in the wrong time because those people they are not too much exhausted they were able to and gather their forces uh, and to take him down the, the description of jesus christ is upon him let us, uh, let us not to change uh, the topic let's change the topic hold on yeah let's change. Oh, okay let, let's go to this uh, <coughs> hadith first yeah hold on uh, let us see Let us see if we can find it in English first. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we cannot find it in English then. Hmm. I have it in Arabic in front of me, but uh, 
you know, for us, we need it in English. You don't know Arabic, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know Arabic. <clears throat> okay. You see, we are lucky now because we have some website, they have translations. Many years ago, I used to have, you know, I used to translate everything by myself, put it in the screen in Arabic. <clears throat> Let us see. Radita Billahi Rabbi Billahi Flami Dino Abi Muhammad and Nabiya. What is that? What are you saying? Oh, this is. Uh, I know what you are something. saying. I know what. But, but why you say it in Arabic when you do not know Arabic? I know the meaning of this. Hmm. My Prophet said whoever says this three times, if he dies, he will go to Jannah. Uh, see how easy to go to Jannah and Islam, you say it three times. So now I say it three times, that's it. No, and if I don't why, pray, why three times? Why, why three times? Why not four? I don't know, I will ask. No, I know, because your prophet is stupid. Because this doesn't make sense. If you don't believe in the Trinity, like if I, if I am a Christian, I say, okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, makes sense. But if you say it three times, you go to heaven. If you say it two, no, why? I don't know. See, okay, there are there are some other things which we say hundred times. What about that? If I what? Like we say, Subhanallah, wa bihamdi, uh, hundred another, times. Another, another stupid statement. Why? What will make a difference if it's ninety-nine or one hundred? And why repeating a sentence will make any difference anyway? <coughs> because Allah likes a certain amount. Ah, Allah, He likes certain amount. Oh, okay. You see, I, I have tons of reference here, but I cannot find in English. Uh, uh, in, in most of Islamic reference, actually, they claim that Gog and Magog are the Turkish, or Dugan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you cannot find translation, then it's okay. Yeah, hold on, let us see. You, you translate it yourself. Well, let us see this one here. You are Asian, right? Yes. Uh, look at your prophet, he speak about the Asian. Look how filthy he is. You know, the Turkish, the Turkish are Asian, not, not, not the Turkish now, the real Turkish are not a blonde. You know that, right? <clears throat> uh, uh, Turkish are what? The Turkish are not a blonde. The Turkish, the real Turkish are the Mongolian, the Asian people. Oh, okay. Yeah. After they invade and they occupy the Constantinia and they rape the Roman women, now they have a children who they are very white, blue eyes, green eyes. Right? But look what your mm -hmm. prophet, he said. Your prophet, he predicted that the Turkish are the enemy of Islam. And this is what happened, fighting them will happen before the judgment day. And he warned the Muslim not to fight them unless they fought you. Read carefully. Allah Apostle said, the hour will not be established until you fight with the Turks. People with small mm. eyes, red faces and flat noses. Their faces will be like a shield coated with leather. And the hour will not be established until you fight with those people. So this is a sign of the judgment day. But the Turkish already long time ago, they are already Muslims. If we go here, Muhammad, he go more rude, speaking about the Asian people. He say, the hour will not be established until you fight the Kurds. Sorry, the, uh, 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 the, the who is a Kurman. And those are Asian too. And among none of the Arab, <clears throat> there will be red faces, flat, and, and they, they describing them. 
They have red faces, flat noses, and small eyes, and their faces will look like a flat shield. And their shoes will be here. You see mm. it? Hmm. This is how your prophet described the Asian people. And he claimed that they are evil. That's why you will fight them. <clears throat> Here, he described the Asian as people who have eyes of insect. The hour will not begin. Enter the fight with the people with the small eyes, wide faces, as if their eyes were the pupils, I'm not if saying, I'm saying the word correctly, of the loctos, lox, loxos, loxos, lox, loctos, loxos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, the, the, you know the insect, yeah, right? I, I can't even say that. Yeah. And as their faces were hammered shield. So your prophet describe you and describe the Asian eyes as eyes of an insect. Can you believe it? How filthy he is. Wait, let me read it. The hour will not begin until you fight people with small eyes and white faces as if their eyes are the people's uh, pupils of locusts and as if their faces are hammered shields hmm. they will be wearing shoes of hair using leather shields and tying their horses to date palm trees hmm. this is how your prophet he see you and this is how your eyes look like, according to Muhammad. I mean, he's not making fun of them. Oh, he's not? He's just describing what he's shown. So, you're, is the Asian people, they have eyes of this insect? Oh. Is that true? Oh, oh I didn't uh, read that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my god, that was funny. What's funny? This is funny or disgusting? Or stupid? It is funny to me. This is how Asian people's eyes look like? This is the oh. prophet who prophesy? Your, eye, your Asian people, their eyes look like this. Oh my god. <laughs> What? That means your eyes, that means the Asian people, their eyes come out of their head. <laughs> the way you brought up their picture was so funny. I, I, I mean, it's your prophet who brought the picture, not me. Oh my God. And not only the size, by the way, and how they are located. This is how the eyes of those, this insect, look at them. How? I mean, maybe... We, we will see some Asian people near the Day of Judgment, their eyes will be like that. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Some Asian like this. Well, uh, Asian is Asian. And there is Asian people, their eyes like this. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I, if I live, un live until the Day of Judgment, maybe we'll what see. What Judgment Day? I mean, my friend, listen. He is saying you will the judgment they will not come until you find you fight people like this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and those people they tie up their horses with the palm tree. Asian mm. people now they are taking missiles. They have the fastest speed trains. So if this is, should happen, it should happen long time ago when people are using horses. Do you read what it says here? They are using leather shield and they are tying their horses to date palm tree. Are they the Japanese? Mm. I saw the, the, the Japanese doing that. Did you go to Japan? I saw every Japanese. He have a donkey and he is tying it to the palm tree. This is a prophet of God. I will ask this hadith with somebody. With somebody, what? Like who? Like, uh, okay. I will and by the way, contact. this is Sahih. You see, this is Sahih. Okay. Hmm. Can you can, can you put yourself in the camera, please? Because I'm suspecting you that you have eyes like this now. 
I don't have like that. How, prove my, it. Are you saying your prophet my, is a liar? No. I, okay, I want to see. Is, I want to see your you you know your shield is made from leather. I want to see your horse, which is tied to the palm tree in your house, and I want to see your eyes, who look like this insect. Uh. So you, we cannot see that this will happen later in the future. As you see, their horses, their hammer, leather shield. I mean, we are talking now about radar. You know, uh, uh, even Star War already started. You know, they are building station to launch missiles from the space. So what this guy is talking about? So the judgment day will not happen, and this happen. Where are those people? Uh, when do you, when you talk to knowledgeable Muslims, what do they say to you about this hadith? They say the same as you. You are knowledgeable too. You say I don't know. Mm. Mm. In the best scenario, they say, mm, you know, or if you speak to someone super knowledgeable, he will say, but that's it. Print. And he said, why Ethan people describe it way, I will explain to you. My grandfather, he would look like this effect. And actually, I have a mixture of him. His eyes is coming with red. Actually, he has to hold him too. And I can prove it. Hmm. When you can gather 10,000 people in one gathering, I will debate you. No, no, actually, he did not say 10,000. He said 2,000. He said, oh. I, if, you, if you can bring 2,000 people with you, I don't know which country, he said, uh, in Bangladesh, in the, I forgot which country, you bring 2,000 people with you, I will debate you. So I will buy 2,000 people a ticket, I will take them with me. And I, I will take only Asian with me, so, 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 he, so, so he will go crazy. I will take the beautiful Asian people. You know, Asian people are beautiful people, what's wrong with them? Look how he mm -hmm. described them. Their eyes suddenly became eyes of an insect. And from all the insects, he could not choose except this insect. I mean, what's wrong with this stupid guy? I mean, he's describing what he was shown. What the, okay, uh, so thank you very much. So Allah, he showed him this, right? Yes. Okay, so you are saying to me that Asian people, they have those eyes? Not all Asian. This is some specific. No, he's talking that... about, he's speaking about Asian people, specifically the Turk. The Mongolian, mm. the Korean, so, mm -hmm. uh -huh. those are the heart of Asia. So don't tell me he's not talking about you know the Asian. He's talking about the Asian. The first two pictures were great. Yeah, I will. I will send it to you. Just you know, so you can have fun. <laughs> so this is the prophet of God who we are defending. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, did you did you read this like uh, after my prophet peace be upon him passed away I ibn abbas you know saw in, saw him in a dream where he was collecting the blood of hussein uh, and, oh, the, oh, oh, don't, don't mention don't mention those stupid things for me this is isn't it obvious that those all fabricated stories but we're not in the blood this is this is really stupid this is so really stupid those are fabricated? For sure they are fabricated. Well, so a dream and where, 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 at first there's no book, it's called the book of Ibn Abbas. Where is the book of Ibn Abbas? You, you must have funny books by the way. Ibn Kathir, he mentioned Sahih al-Bukhari, but where is the book of al-Bukhari? There's no book of al-Bukhari. Ibn Abbas, where is the book of Ibn Abbas? They say a Quran according to the recitation of Hafs. Well, where is the book of Hafs? There's no such a thing. Okay. So all okay. your religion, all your religion is based in books, does not exist. According to the book of Uthman, where is the book of Uthman? There's no book of Uthman. Uh, when my prophet, salam, went <clears throat> with his companions on a mountain, I don't know if it's Ohod or uh, uh, some other, it started shaking. So my prophet said, Oh, Ohod, do not shake. <laughs> Indeed, My prophet. friend, I think and I think the mountain was shaking because he saw the penis of your prophet. What are you talking about? Isn't it the Quran says we refrain from sending miracles? How come those miracles are not in the Quran? So the Quran mentioned the miracle of Jesus. The Quran mentioned the miracle of, of Moses. The miracle of everybody. When it comes to Muhammad, we find no miracle in the Quran. We find them in the Hadith. Isn't it obvious that this is a fabrication? Uh, no, 
uh, Allah says in the Quran, the the moon has been split something, right? No, this is a this is a stupid statement because it doesn't say even who is the one who split the the moon, and the moon is not a split. Is it split? Look at it. Because if the moon is split, Allah should say we split the moon and we put it together again. He just said we split. Uh, uh, he said the moon is split. He did not even say who split the moon. Okay, but we find the details. What happened to that? What details? Where is no details? In hadith we do, right? But in the Quran there's no details. No, but we can okay. go to hadith. How come in the Quran we have details about who you eat in his house, which house you can eat in, but there's no details about such a miracle? That's why Allah said to uh, take whatever your prophet uh, says. No problem, but the Quran mentioned, I mean, the Quran keep talking about people asking Muhammad to do miracles, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Allah in the Quran says, we refrain from sending miracle, correct? Yeah. So if Allah said we refrain from sending miracle, that's mean he will not send miracle. Did he said he will never ever send miracle? Yeah, he said we refrain. We refrain. Like at that moment, the, those people who are asking okay, my for friend, them. My friend, hold on. If I say we, ref, we refrain from sending miracles, mm -hmm. that's mean nothing changed. We refrain because people will not believe in them, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is Allah predicting something false? No. Okay. Allah know the future or not? Yes, of course. Okay, so here we go. You just to prove your God is a stupid. The hadith stories you are mentioning to me about Muhammad. Do you believe mm -hmm. in them or not? Which stories? The one you told me the mountain was shaken when he saw the penis of the Prophet. No, it doesn't say that. I added, you know, the penis thing because there's no way the mountain shake except for the penis of Muhammad because Muhammad he says he have the power of four thousand men. So why the mountain will shake? Oh, listen, listen. Chapter 17, verse number 59 says, And nothing stop us from sending ayat, miracles, proof, evidence, signs, but the people of old denied them. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. So why Allah will not send miracles? Because already He sent miracles and people did deny them, correct? Yes. But this is a lie. The Christian, they believe in all the miracles of Jesus and Moses and all exactly. the prophets before. That's why you don't understand this. Allah is not not talking to the people who will accept. Allah will talking to the people who reject. No, no, no Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen, listen. It doesn't matter. Allah is saying, I am not sending miracles for everybody. You don't make miracle for individual and other. Miracle is a miracle. If it happened, it's mean everybody get the miracle. If Allah has split the moon, then the miracle happen. Same time, the miracle of the moon, the one you are talking about, is a verse mentioned way before chapter 17 if you go to the according to revelation check what is the number of 17 and what is the number of the moon chapter you will see that this verse was given long after the moon so if the moon revelation was a miracle about the moon split that means this verse is a lie because Allah already did, did the miracle Uh, so you are telling me the moon verse was revealed before this? <clears throat> okay, let's go together. Hold on. You know that the Quran, today the Muslims, they don't have it according to Revelation, supposedly, correct? The Muslims, they play with the Quran, they change it, correct? Uh, like change it like what? Well, according to Revelation, when you Muslim, you say it's Quran according to Revelation. It's mean the Quran you have today is not according to Revelation, correct? <clears throat> uh, yeah yeah mm. that's wonderful so let us look me and you together here we go it's on the screen is the screen coming to you uh, not yet okay so in the in the left side it says what is the first verse or chapter Muhammad received correct wait I don't see it yet hmm Mm, okay. Now okay. I see. Before we do that, let us go here first. Let us go to the chapter of Al Qamar. What does Al Qamar mean? Qamar means moon. Okay. Actually, the Qamar means a month. Sorry. 
Terinne meaning is a mouth. Uh, <coughs> so the chapter of the Qamar, Inshaq al Qamar, let's go right away, hold on. This is just to show you how easy it is for anyone who has little brain. According to the Quran today, the chapter of the moon is the chapter 54, verse number one. Do you see it? 54, verse number one. Do we agree? Uh, I don't see it yet. Wait. Hmm. You can check it out in your own. So it is a chapter 54, and this is verse number one in chapter 54. Okay. okay. Now we go to the ch chapter where it says, we refrain from sending miracle. This is chapter 17. Correct? Okay. Okay, so now let us see if a chapter 17 came before the moon or the moon after. Why okay, this is important? Because if this chapter came after the moon chapter, that's mean the moon chapter is a lie. Because Allah is saying he will refrain from sending miracles. If he did already a miracle of splitting the moon, then he did not refrain. Correct? Uh, so you are telling me either way it's false. No, no, I'm saying... If Allah he split the moon and already is done, and then after that he said, We refrain from some sending uh, 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 miracles. Allah, Allah didn't split the moon, Prophet peace be upon him split the moon. So, your Prophet is Allah? No, okay, where, it's, Allah where it says Allah. that, why you are fabricating, why, why you are lying now? Where it says that even Allah split the moon, the Quran doesn't say Allah split the moon or Muhammad split the moon. But it just says moon has been split, right? No, my friend. The Quran says the moon is split, ascender, and judgment day is near. That's it. Who split it? Who made it? It doesn't say. Then the Muslim, they add between bracket, uh, Muhammad, he asked Allah. So who is the one who split the moon, Muhammad or Allah? You see, in the bracket, they, they, they are giving you the context. Okay, but this is in the Quran, not in the Quran, correct? This is not in the Quran, but they are giving the context okay, besides friend, that. Uh, why you are talking like a child? Let us go with you. Muhammad, he split the moon. Are you saying that Muhammad is God now? No, like, like for example, when don't Jesus... Tell me, don't tell me it, like example. When the moon is split, who is the one who split the moon? Allah or Muhammad? That was a miracle of Prophet Muhammad. So who is the one who did split the moon? Uh, it's Allah, obviously. Okay, but... so, so stop now. Allah, he split the moon. This is chapter 54, verse number 1, correct? So now if we go and check the other chapter, where it says, chapter 17, verse number 59, Allah, he refrained totally from sending miracles. If this chapter came after chapter 17, sorry, after chapter of the moon, 54. And, oh, okay, you see? Right after that verse, Allah also said, and if they see a sign, they turn away and say it is magic. It doesn't matter. Allah, he refrained from the miracle, but this is a lie. Even, you see, even, my friend, my friend, why you are being stupid now? I'm, I don't want to insult you. Did Allah refrain from sending the miracle or he did not refrain? He refrained for some people. That's who... it. No, he did not say some people don't lie. Because miracle is not done for some and some don't. This is God. When the moon is split, it's for everybody. It's a moon, it's in the sky. It's not only two people will see it. Stop giving me foolish answers. So, when God he did miracles, he don't do it for a man only. He did it for everybody so they can see. Why God he do miracles? Because he wanna show you a proof that he's God, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't go to my closet and I make a miracle that doesn't make sense because what the point of this miracle nobody saw it nobody will believe in anything so Allah he refrained from sending miracles so until that verse was given Allah did not give Muhammad any miracle correct uh, no I cannot say that why it doesn't say nothing stop us except Allah he stopped he don't give miracles if you change the translation this translation says stop us you know but the fact this translation is not correct. It says manana. For you know, you know more than stop us. Actually, we should say. Actually, this this verse shown how stupid the one who made the Quran, because 
Ma manahana, the mana is, is an objection. There's something stopped us, but it's above our power. Not only it is, it's not me who stopped it, it is somebody, somebody he stopped me from being able to do it. So Allah again in the Quran, using a stupid funny English, not hindereth us from sending port, portents save that the folk of old deny them. But this is stupid because folk of the old, they did not deny them and this is not an excuse. Otherwise, Jesus can't say the same. Moses uh, can't say the same. Hold on. Now the, the question is, did Allah here mention that he refrained from sending a miracle or not? Yes, he did. Okay. Refrain until that moment at least, correct? Uh, okay, yes. Okay, finally. So, we refrain from sending signs. Wonderful. So, until this point, Allah is saying, I am not going to do signs because people don't believe in them anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us go to the book according to the revelation. Remember, we have a chapter 54. <clears throat> Let us search for 54. What is the number of it? 54, 1, right? Yeah, 54 now in the old Quran is what? 37, do you see it? Al-Qamar. Wait, I don't see it yet. Mm. Okay, it's 37. Okay, so the original number is 37. Now we need to search for chapter 17 mm -hmm. and now you will laugh with me at the stupidity of the one who made the Quran <clears throat> what is the number of chapter 17 wait uh, I cannot see it yet Mm, Al Isra. Mm. Okay, what was the What was the other one? Thirty seven. So, chapter fifty is a chapter keen. Long after the moon chapter, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So fifty minus thirty seven. That means there's thirteen chapter came after the moon chapter before this one to arrive. Do I agree? Yeah. Okay. So if the moon happened to be a miracle, mm. and Allah did a miracle, so how mm. in chapter 50 he says we refrain from making miracle when he already did? <sighs> mm. This is why the only way you know i don't know uh and I you, like you, you know you know you know what i'm going i advise you to make a book it's called i don't know like name it this way when i talk to christian prince the most the most repeated word i said to him i do not know each time i say something to you is embarrassment you say i do not know why you do not know we just explain it to you it's in front of your eyes think about no, it either I'm, allah he made a miracle or this is a fabrication because this is a contradiction Allah refrain or he did not refrain? You said refrain. I said no. to you, did Allah refrain until that point at least? You said yes, at least until this point. Maybe after that he made miracles, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. The excuse is people will not believe in them. That's a lie. Because if Allah he knew the future, he should know that you all, you, you know, those, those uh, Asian in, in Indonesia and those Arab in Arabia and those Muslim in Turkey, they believe in them. So this is a false excuse. Okay. So here you see how many contradictions in a very stupid statement. Secondly, when somebody did the miracle, shouldn't he say who did miracle? Okay, the moon is split. Who split the moon? Secondly, the moon is split. Why it's back together? Because when you say split, it's not a crack. Crack is not a split in shaka. So did we split the moon or not? Secondly, how come nobody saw it? You see, it's a moon. History should talk about it. It's such an event. 
aren't there different uh, witnesses in hadith what witnesses the people only in that city will see it and the witnesses only muslims <laughs> and the one who did not witness what they said we killed him <laughs> Oh, Abdul. Okay. You know, I, I, I definitely understand your point. I will ask uh, people of knowledge to explain me that hmm. uh, this is something Christian Prince brought up. Hmm. And I want to reply to him, whoa, oh, whoa, can you explain me uh, why Allah said, you know, I, I didn't say But hold on, hold on. I want to show you something more stupid as long as I mention this verse. Uh, and hold, like on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They are Zach and Naik about the Quran. He says, Good visitor, the Quran said, Can you produce a verse like this? It's a miracle. The Quran is a miracle. Okay, how stupid this religion is. If this verse itself is a miracle, how the stupid verse says we're refraining from something miracle, but you just forgot by just saying this verse, it's a miracle by itself. Don't you, Muslim, you say the Quran is a miracle? Yes, because our prophet said it. Okay, now the Quran said it, not on your prophet only. So, if the Quran is a miracle, and then the Quran says we're refraining from sending miracle, that means the Quran is not a miracle because Allah is refraining from sending any. No, that means you are understanding miracle to be something else. My friend, miracle is a miracle. If the Quran is a miracle, miracle is anything nobody can do save God, correct? Okay, wait. Okay. Can I? Can I explain to you? You can explain. One? Just answer yes or no. Later you can explain. Okay. No problem. Hold on. Is the miracle is something nobody can do save God? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can somebody make Quran like the Quran of Allah? Yes or no? Uh, can somebody make a Quran like Allah? Yeah. Uh, nobody can make okay. a Quran. Okay. So that the Quran itself is a miracle. So when Allah, yes. he said this verse, he is making a miracle already and he sent it to us. So how he say we're refraining from sending signs if the sign is already, this, the, the same sentence is a miracle. Because uh -huh. those people who are asking for signs, they obviously heard Quran, but they are saying do something other than this. No, 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 hold on. We don't care what they say. We don't care what you explain. The Quran saying we refrain from sending miracles. He did not say some miracles. He said no miracle. That's it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving miracles. I will not give miracles. I refrain. So imagine a guy is making hummus. And when he is making hummus, he say we refrain from making hummus. That's what the stupid verse is saying. Because if the Quran is a miracle, that's me, Muhammad, he is receiving miracle from the first day. He spoke Quran, correct? Oh, okay, Let, let's say you ask me to, you know, spl split the ocean. This is not the question now. Don't talk about split the ocean. You can't even split a your booker. The question is, if the Quran is a miracle, and Allah, he said, we refrain from sending miracle, that means the Quran is not a miracle, even according to Allah. Oh, uh, that that does not mean that, but you are understanding that to mean that. This is not my understanding. The verse is so clear. We refrain from sending any signs because we do not believe in it. Okay, hold on. Isn't you Muslim, you call the Quran ayat? Mm -hmm. Okay, read with me carefully. This is the Arabic. I know you do not know Arabic, but I will help you. وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِالْآيَاتِ we refrain from sending ayat. But the Quran is ayat. Uh, okay, I, I, you know what? I will ask. I will ask. Here we about. go again. I will ask somebody. You have a, you have a dictionary to ask now. So Allah no. is, ref, is saying we refrain from sending ayat, and you just gave one. I mean, who was the stupid here? This guy, your, your God, is he drank too much vodka, man. And uh, in in the same uh, ayat, it says they rejected uh, the she camel miracle, but right? She camel. Nobody knows this story. This is a stupid story. She camel. You know. I mean, look it at the, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. People, they said to a prophet. Nobody knows about who is this prophet. Can you make this rock a camel? What the heck? I mean, this is even silly. I mean, what about make it uh, make it gold, make it silver, make it. Uh, 
make it a camel, and then this camel she give milk to everybody. And then they create, have you ever heard of somebody? He have a camel, can feed thousands of people, and they create, doesn't make sense, it's stupid. And not only that, the she, she camel, she have a baby, is 10 months old already in her belly. This is no witness, nobody knows what this happened, where, where which country, which okay, land. But about one prophet, you, you can still go and see his place. This is your fiction. Well, show me where the Quran says the place. Where it says where it says where in the Quran it says this place is where the Prophet he lived. This Prophet. Prophet Saleh Salam. Where where in the Quran? Don't give me garbage. Where in the Quran it says this person his name is Saleh he lived in certain area. No, you're correct. Allah does not need to say that because people Why? of at the time of my Prophet already know who he is. Really. We are the one who don't know who he is. Ah, they, they know who he is. They exactly know where he lives. Ah, they know everything about him. Uh -huh. So about Ali my pro, uh, my Allah said that uh -huh. uh, his people they they make. Okay, hold him. on. Is Saleh is an Arab man? I don't know. What do you mean? He lives in Arabia, right? Hmm. Hmm. You said you know where he live. Where he live? No, I said we don't know. We might not know, but those people uh, at the time. Of, so until they, now, you do not know. But now, today, yes, there are videos of uh, of Saleh alayhi salam's people who created houses in mountains. Ah, uh, there's right? videos, guys. There's videos. Uh, but those are in Saudi Arabia. That mean they are Arab, correct? Uh, those people they visit those places <laughs> where which Allah described in the Quran. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I want to go with you with the story of Saleh. How people, the what what is the people of Saleh? They are called. Uh, is it uh, Ad? What what does that mean? Come Ad something like people of Ad. Ah, people of Ad. Okay, okay. So now we we know the name of the city, correct? I I don't know the name of city. What do you mean? You say the city of Urm. <laughs> what do you mean city? I said people of Ad. Do you mean the city is Ad? No, no, no. Hold on. It says there in the Quran, chapter of Al Fajr, chapter 89. The city of Urm, the one with columns. What is that? Is that Rome? Is that uh, Assyria? Is that Egypt? What, what is that? There's millions of cities, they have this description. Where is the city Urm? Where we can find it in history books? As long as everybody knows about it, then everybody knows about it. It says that there's nobody ever have such a city. So everybody should know about it. The so like I, uh, which, read carefully, the like which not, we are not produced at all, the land, all the earth, there's no city like it. Mm -hmm. okay. But before that, what did Allah say? Hold on, see, what he said, okay, go ahead. See, don't know, not how Allah dealt with us, that means Allah destroyed them. Okay, no problem, how he destroyed them? He, he destroyed, I don't know, uh, read more, maybe we find out. Ah, oh, okay. But shouldn't he say to us, who are the those people? Hmm? Shouldn't he say to us first, who are the those people? Uh, people of, uh, at the time of my prophet obviously knew who these people were. That's why Allah didn't explain them. You keep saying to me they know. Where? As long as they know, it should be there. Where? Okay, I will find it and I will send you <coughs> later. Okay. According to Muslim stories, that this city was destroyed by a sandstorm, correct? Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. How a city is built in rocks can be destroyed by a sandstorm? Sandstone or a uh, storm or there was a, a wind or a really uh, strong noise hmm. of thunderstorm or something I don't remember whistles right whistles so mm -hmm. is it a sandstorm or it's a whistles uh, 
I think since the place is in sand, I think it, mm. it could be sandstorm. Okay, sandstorm. But the place is not built from sand. The build, as you see, it have columns. The columns is not made from sand. Columns are made from rocks. So as long as you have house it's made from rocks, how sand can destroy it? It doesn't make sense. I can accept if it's a flood. Flood can kill you even if you are on a high floor, if the flood is so high. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how sand storm can destroy them? I mean, I've never witnessed how sand storm destroys, but if okay. Allah wants... You know, know okay, we, we will go with this. If Allah wants, He can do that. No problem. We, we will see if this is true or not. But those stories, Muhammad is mentioning them as long as people, they don't, they don't know them. They do not see them. They don't know even where they are located. Why is mentioning something? He don't tell where it is. So people can go and see what happened to those people. <laughs> oh my God. You know, you guys, when we mention something from the Bible, you guys say copy and paste. When we mention something... No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see. If you say to me, where is the heaven of Adam? We know where it is. It says in the north of Iraq, which is supposed to be now part of Turkey. According to your religion, heaven was in the sky of Adam. Allah sent him down. So it's your book who don't give details. If I ask you right now, okay, the Quran says Ibrahim. Who is the father of Ibrahim? Uh, uh, is it mentioned in uh, in Bible? I'm asking you. Yeah, it's mentioned. Okay, if I, I say think to you, other if I say to you, Musa, who is Musa? Son of who? If I say to you, uh, um, Israel, the Quran keeps saying, children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel. Shouldn't you say to us, who's Israel? Who is Israel? Oh, so you are telling me, people. Okay, so you you know, like you know, America. So uh, let's uh, say uh, listen, 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 answer, answer. When the Quran says, all oh, children of Israel, obviously Israel is a man, correct? Mm. Okay. First time this is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 40. Shouldn't the stupid author of the Quran tell us first who is Israel? He doesn't need to because obviously he knows people know who Israel is. No, they do not know because those are disbelievers. The one who knows Israel is the Jews. Yeah, so they know. Okay, who. so uh, hold on. So the Jews they knew. So Allah depend in the Jews to tell you. I thought the Quran is a book of guidance. I do not need to go and ask a Jew who is Israel, right? Okay. Now, if anybody does not know, he will ask my prophet. Ah, uh, so uh, okay. Where, where Allah He said to your prophet that this is the Israel. This is uh, his uh, his name is etc. He live etc. Where it says that, isn't it Muhammad he received Quran only? He, he no. Apart from Quran, he he received some other stuff too. Okay, hold on, guys. Did you hear this? Muhammad. I mean, he hold on, hold on. Muhammad he received a part from the Quran, other revelation. Did you just say that correct? I mean, I, my English is bad, so I'm trying to say something and uh -huh. you might... Have You're trying something. to say something, like what? Like, like you know, Hadith -e Qudsi. Okay, but none of them talk about Jacob. So, isn't Hadith -e Qudsi, is it Wahi or not well, Wahi? This is a very stupid story, actually, because if the Hadith is called Qudsi, which means it's from Allah, well, it should be in the Quran then, because the Quran is a Hadith too. So, why is it in the Quran? So you, what you, what you Muslim claiming, you Muslim Sunni, that the Quran is not all of it there. There is 40 or something hadith, which is Quran, is not in the Quran. We call them Qudsi. No problem. Still, where is the story of Jacob? Who is Jacob? Who is Israel? How Israel became Israel? Do you remember the video where the dad, he speak, he make fun of the Bible, says, <laughs> in, the, in your book, Israel, he struggled with God. He wrestled with God. <laughs> Stupid. The second you say that his name is Israel, that is a name was given to him, which is mean that the one who struggled with God. This is the name meaning. The one who wrestled with God. Okay. So the, the Muslim, when they make fun of the story of, in the Bible, they do not know that their prophet is a stupid idiot. 
he accepted the story by quoting the name Israel because the name of the guy is not Israel his name is Jacob his name became Israel because God he called, he gave him such a name so when the that he was making fun of the story of Jacob wrestling with God as he laughed in the video he was laughing at Muhammad because the second you use the word Israel you accept the story because this is what Israel mean here you see how stupid those who the Muslim they think that they are scholars they are dummies you see this is what happened you, you know, I mentioned to you that Muhammad he came in a perfect time where the Roman were exhausted and the Persian they were exhausted they that he came and he debated only people who do not know Islam same as the rest of those potatoes they debate only those who they have blue eyes or they are Hindus or people they have no idea what Christianity is what Islam is but nobody there to call me and debate me if did that was in the stage and he made fun of this verse I will make everybody laugh at him and laugh at the Quran because he just got his prophet busted did that he made a fun there's the video is still there error in the Bible go watch it and die laughing in your book in your book it says God he created the Sun in Wednesday <laughs> Wednesday four days there's no Sun that's what he said mm -hmm. and the Muslim they were so excited this is an error in the Bible but this is exactly what Muhammad said so mm -hmm. if the that was debating me I will uh, this is will be the end of Islam what he will say if I show him that you're a prophet in the authentic hadith not corrupt hadith said that Allah created the light in Wednesday okay, in the Bible so in the Bible hold on in the Bible God did not create the light in Wednesday God created light first he said let be light and light was then he created the Sun in Wednesday here Muhammad saying which the that was laughing at four days with no light at all in the Bible there's no that's not true he was a liar there's light for God he created light first and he said let me so, light by God you mean three three persons together created light when we say God we mean God there's no other definition for God three person one person this is you, you are you are just trying to confuse yourself for the purpose of mockery or do you mean one person two person three person it doesn't matter what person because at the end of the day it is one God so when Jesus he gave eyes to the blind it is God who gave eyes this is uh -huh. when, when we say when we say you see the Bible says everything created for him and by him speaking about Jesus but doesn't mean that God the Father is not for him and by him too doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit is not there so it is one God so when one of the person of God he do it is still God doing the act so when God the Messiah he forgive me one so, God is the one who forgive me one God not three gods so it is an act of Godness act and the three person present and the will and the word of God which is one God at the end so when Jesus says the one who saw me he saw my father but he is not the father he is other person still if you see him you saw the father why because at the end it is one God not two and if you say to me how that is possible well is there something impossible for God if there is something God cannot do if there is something can you question God Muslim they say no the second we speak about our God they can question our God can God have a son they say impossible why not yes because you know we don't really find Jesus clearly explaining people how three persons work together in being one no Jesus he did actually because Jesus okay. you know okay Jesus he said my father he sent me correct okay yeah okay so my father he sent me and he gave me the power over the flesh so 
the flesh, all the flesh of this earth, all the world, is under the power of Jesus. So obviously what the Bible is saying, that God, he sent his son to do a job. God the Father. But his son, he is God, who is the son of God, who can do what the Father can do. He said, Jesus, he says, I do what my Father do. He did not say, I cannot do what my Father do. He said, I do what my Father do. And he said, my Father, he glorify me, and I glorify the Father. So here you see that when Christ, he speak about him, he is trying to explain to those people who they are seeing in front of them a human being. Okay, when, when he said to the Jews, before Abraham I am, what the Jews, they said, what are you talking about? You are not even 50 years old, and you are saying before Abraham? Okay. So what did he reply? Well, he says, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham I am, and Abraham, he saw my day, and he rejoiced for it. That's why they want to Abraham kill him. Saw what? He saw my day, and he rejoiced for it. He saw my day, which means he saw me. So Abraham, in the Old Testament, we see that God, he came to Abraham, and he spoke to Abraham, and he came to him as a man. You see, when the Muslims, they say, there's nowhere in the Old Testament it says that God, he came as a man. They are a bunch of liars. There's tons of verses. Same time, when Jesus, he said, before Abraham, I am, how anyone can explain it? If Jesus is just born, let us say he was 30 years old when he said that statement, by birth. How he is before Abraham, who can explain that? It's impossible. So what Jesus says before Abraham exists, your, your father, the grandfather of all the Jews, he worshiped me, he rejoiced for seeing me. And Jesus he, said he worshiped me? Well, this is how what rejoice, because you rejoice only for seeing God. You don't rejoice for seeing a man. You don't rejoice for seeing a normal person. For God, no, he came. No, hold on, you see? Because Jesus is quoting an Old Testament about Abraham seeing God, and, and, and he is bowing to him. So he worshiped, he, he called him my Lord. And he told him that, you know, you, you are your, your wife, she will, have a, she will have a son. So, uh, uh, and this is what Muhammad actually, he copied and he put in his Quran, that Allah, he spoke to Abraham. How God, he came to Abraham, he came to him as a man. So when the Messiah says, before Abraham I am, he is speaking about God who came to Abraham, and I am the God of Abraham, who Abraham rejoiced. He is reminding them of the old story of Abraham rejoicing for seeing God and worshiping God, and God gave him a gift, his son, even though his wife, she's very old, to produce children. Mm -hmm. So, in the same time, you know, the Muslim, when they say, there is nowhere in the Bible it says in the Old Testament it says Father the Son. If you open the first page, you will see that it says God and His Spirit. Right away from the beginning, mm -hmm. God and His Spirit. So in the Old Testament, right away, you will see that God, He has Spirit, and it says God and His Spirit. Not God is just you know that's not just a spirit. So, this spirit belong to God. The Muslims, their God is not a spirit, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. And this is a proof that the God of the Christians is not the same of the God of the Muslims, and Muhammad is a liar. Uh, uh, oh, you know, Zakir Naik says this a lot. Jesus said, my father is greater than I. Can you explain what This is very Jesus simple, meant? because the Bible says, for God, he humbled himself. He came to us in the flesh of a human being. He took the, he took, he, he humbled himself. He took the form of a human. So the father is a greater because he is in his, in, in his glory, glory. When the Messiah, he come to us, he humbled himself. He left the glory of God, of the way he is. And he come as a man, normal man. He ride a donkey. He go with them, he walk with them, people insult him. This is why the Father is a greater. But when the Messiah, he come, the Bible says, and even your Quran and even your Hadith, speaking about the coming of the Messiah, he will rule the whole world. Correct? Mm -hmm. So he will come yes. with all the glory. 
in the book of Revelation, speaking about the Messiah, he will come above the cloud, and the angels, his angels with him, his angels, not just a company with angels. Yes, my prophet saw him, right? Well, your prophet is a crazy man. We cannot count him. Your prophet, he don't even know if he's having sex or not. So how we can trust for what he said, what he, what he, you know? Mm. Yeah. And uh, what about Holy Spirit? Well, we just say to you that from the beginning, God's Spirit was above the water. God, He created the whole, the earth and the heaven. He created the earth, and the, the earth was covered by the water, and His Spirit was above the water. So, from the beginning, God is a, have a spirit, and anyone who deny it, he do not know how to read. Muhammad, Muhammad, you see, when the Muslim, they say to you that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, correct? Yeah, that is big fat lie. Well, there is not there is not a single verse in the Quran saying so. No hadith, no no verse in Quran says that. Okay. That is so here here the Muhammad or the Muhammadan in general, they are desperate to explain how this is the Holy Spirit and how it is Jibril. So they they mix okay. things up and they say, well, the one who sent down the Quran is the angel Jibril. Because you see, in Surah Qadr, Allah says, all angels come down. And Holy Spirit come down. Exactly. And not only that, it says that the Al Malaika War Ruh they will they will line up. Al Malaika War Ruh. So mm. when the when the angels and the spirit they will line up. The spirit, not spirits, not all spirit, one spirit, there's one spirit. Yeah, you there is mean? only one. Okay. Spirit. So if Jibreel is an angel and he is at the same time the spirit then this verse the statement is wrong in Arabic. You see here, look, look what they do. They lie in the translation. They say, the day that a ruh, a ruh means the spirit. Between okay. two brackets, they say Jibreel, but doesn't say that. Or another angel, look at them, look at stupidity. And the angels, if, if Jibreel is an angel, how stupid it is to say a ruh and the angels. You know, if, this word would have made sense if Allah said Jibril is a ruh. Yeah, but nowhere it says that, correct? Yes, that's why it has to be only a ruh. Yeah, you see what I believe that Muhammad was a crazy man. He was trying to make the Christian happy. He was trying to make the Jews happy. He was trying to make the Sabi unhappy. He was trying to make the Arab who worship the three daughters of Allah happy. So when he recited the satanic verses, he said their intercession is a must. He was just a, a stupid man. He thought, I will say it, they will like it, and nobody will know about it. They will they will accept me. The news is I, spread. Hold on. Know, I... hold on. Hold on. Then the same with the, with the Christians. The Christians, he said to them that Jesus was sponsored by the Holy Spirit, but Muhammad never sponsored by the Holy Spirit. Where in the Quran it says that we sponsor Muhammad with the Holy Spirit? Yes. It does not say about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but it says about Jesus, right? Correct. But this is mean. This means... There is a relationship only, uh, mm -hmm. only between the Messiah and the Holy Spirit. The rest, they have no relationship. Uh, and for others, uh, Allah sent Gabriel, but we do not find Gabriel going to Jesus, right? Yeah, but I mean, I want you to focus with me, with the Holy Spirit. If you go and search, if you go and search about the Holy Spirit, we will see it's mentioned in the Quran three times, literally by saying Holy Spirit, literally. Yeah. Okay, chapter one. two, verse number eighty-seven, chapter two, verse number fifty-three, and chapter five, verse one ten, and all of them is about Jesus. Mm. People also ask, what is Holy Spirit? To but, here, but here you seem to ask yourself, why only Jesus, he was supported by the Holy Spirit in the funny Quran of Muhammad? Because he was a virgin born. No, no, no. So what? Virgin born, no, that's not Because not. he doesn't have a physical father. Doesn't matter. Allah. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, no, no. What, what he like? What, he, he needed an, uh, what? Uh, the Holy Spirit was a daddy. He was a nanny. What are you talking about? So the Holy Spirit here 
is supporting Jesus with him all the time all the time now there's tons of prophets according to Muhammad there's 100,000 124,000 prophet correct mm -hmm. okay why only Jesus was supported by the Holy Spirit the answer is very simple Muhammad is just a scam when he speaks to the Christians he agree with them with the Holy Spirit yeah Holy Spirit is with Jesus when Jesus was baptized the Spirit of God spoke and said this is my only begotten son so Muhammad is a hypocrite man with the Christian he believe I believe the Holy Spirit is came with Jesus yes and nowhere in the Quran is mentioned that Holy Spirit supported Muhammad or Moses or Abraham or anyone only and only with Jesus are there any hadith about Holy Spirit? My friend, I mean, why you want to go even with the hadith? Yeah, there is tons. You can go, you can search. But Next, the, the Quran, the Quran is the major book. This is the supposedly God talking, correct? Yeah. Okay. No one supported by the Holy Spirit except Jesus in the Quran. That's mean yes. there is a special relationship between a person, his name is the Messiah, and other person, his name is the Holy Spirit. Because if Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, then Allah should not say the Holy Spirit when he speak about Jesus. He should say, we support Jesus by Jibreel. Mm. But he never mentioned the Holy Spirit next to the name of Muhammad. Yeah. So my friend, you just said, yeah, are you going to leave Islam or what? Oh my God, no, no. What do you mean? Don't say, oh my God, say, oh my Allah. No, I'm saying leaving Islam. I came here to just ask. If about you just it. left Islam, you agreed with me that this is that Muhammad is a fraud. You just no, agreed with me. You just agreed with me. You just agreed <laughs> with me that Muslims first they lie when they say that Muhammad, when they say that the Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. So it's Muslims' fault. They did not understand Quran right. But isn't it the Quran says this is a book we explain in details? Yeah, so Holy Spirit, what, hold on. what is... No, hold on. You just you just brought a point. If the Quran says that this is a book, we explain in details. And now you are saying that Muslim, they cannot understand the Quran. That means Allah, again, got busted. Because simply, Allah, he explained it, but his explanation is not good. That means he is not God. If God can't explain to me his words, who can explain it? Sahih al-Bukhari? You see, you just killed your God, which does not exist. Don't worry, you killed nobody. Yeah, if he yeah, okay. explained the Quran in details, and then the Muslims, they can't even understand who is the Holy Spirit. So what kind of God, his explanation is a lost, is a stupid. To the point, the Muslims, they are deceived with the wrong understanding, as you said. Uh, the You know, when people ask about what is uh, spirit, uh, what Muslims consider this is soul. Soul is nafs, right? A soul is nafs. This is a different thing. See, and see, see. Hold on, hold on. You see, do you know what Qudus mean? Qudus. No, I don't. Okay, know. this is a word coming from the Aramaic. So, Qudus is something which no sin can penetrate into, which means it's a pure, the the most holy. So, when you say the Ruh al Qudus, that means this is spirit is not only spirit it is the holy spirit for there's only one you know what i mean mm. when i say the holy spirit that's mean there's no other one there's no, there's no two holy spirit there's no three holy spirit correct yeah okay so there's only one holy spirit but if god is holy
and the Holy Spirit is holy. That's mean we have to divine now, according to Islam. Uh, no, Allah never said Holy Spirit is Allah. No, no, no. He just said he, it is holy. Correct? Yes, did, your Allah. did your prophet call Muhammad holy prophet? No. Did he call Moses holy, holy Moses? No. Did he even call Isa holy Isa? Yes, he did. Where? Yeah, here we go. Chapter 19, verse 19. It says he is the holy son. Okay, let me see. No problem. He is the holy son. So we have nobody is holy except the Messiah. You see it? Uh, yeah. He said, Nay, I'm only a messenger from thy Lord to thee, the gift of a holy son. Hmm. Muhammad is not a holy son. Wait, wait, wait. Which chapter, Surah Maryam? Chapter 19, verse 19. So look what happened now. We have holy, pro holy, holy spirit. It says pure boy, right? Okay, I will go with the word the pure. No problem. Pure mean holy still. <laughs> yeah, pure boy. Okay. So this was about uh, somebody saying to Mary that you are giving. This is the angel. Book. The angel he came to Mary. Mm -hmm. You know, and actually the, the Muslim they say this is an angel, by the way. But if you go. You will see it says, we send our spirit. Mm. In the translation, they say our angel, but in Arabic it says Ruhana. Mm. In, in Bible, it, uh, it's spirit too? No. In the Bible, the story says angel came, or angels. One of them spoke, oh. the rest are there. Oh, that's why, you know, in the Bible, since it says angels, I think they think, that Ru is angel and that angel must be Jibril. That's you know, why my I friend, first of all, it's you who just informed me, reminding me that Ru is not an angel. And we agreed about that already, correct? Yeah, okay. I'm still that. No, in the Bible, angels are not a spirit. Mm. They are angels. The Holy Spirit is a Holy Spirit. The angels are not spirit. So here you see, the confused Muhammad, he says, that the Spirit of God came to Mary. And then you will notice, you know, let us let us go a little bit just to show you uh, the stupidity of this, uh, you know, Quran. If we go to a different verse, hold on. Chapter 15, verse number 59, it says that Allah, he breathed into Adam, correct? Mm -hmm. Where are the breathers coming from? We breathe into Adam, I, I don't know where. No, no, read with me carefully. It says we breathe to him of my spirit. When I fashioned him, breathed into him of my spirit. Hmm. So where is the breathing coming from? Allah. 
Okay, and where the breathing is coming from? From Allah. His spirit. So what does that mean? Who is the one who breathes? Allah spirit. But it says I breathe into him. Oh, this says breathe him off my spirit. Yeah, I breathe into him. Of my spirit. So Allah he breathed from where? From his spirit. Mm. If I leave you with this one, you will get dizzy. This is the most stupid statement, destroy all of us now. Because look what happened. Allah, he is not a spirit and he has no spirit, correct? Yeah. Okay. But the creation of Adam is coming from the breath of Allah, which is from the spirit. Correct? Mm. That means the creation of Adam is done by the spirit. I will ask, I will ask this too. Uh, you have too many things to ask for, my friend. Uh, I will ask and I will get back to you soon. Yeah, all right, my friend. Thank you for calling me and, you know, feel, and feel, one feel, one free, feel free to bring your shakes to, to join us. That will be good. Can I ask you one last thing? Sure. Uh, you know, Zachar Naik, he, he keeps on saying this, that when Jesus will return, hmm. uh, people will say to him, Oh, we, oh Lord, we did miracles and wonders in your name. So Jesus will say, go away, go away. I don't know something, right? Hmm. What is that? So you are saying that Jack and Nick is quoting from the, from the, from the gospel, correct? Uh, I don't know where he's quoting from. Yeah, but you see but the same I verse. How many, uh, how many, that was Zach and Nick, how many times says, Brother Sitter, let the thing verse in the Bible that Jesus said, I'm God with me, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, the same chapter he is quoting, if it's the same verse, it says, they said to him, God, God, Lord, Lord, correct? Yeah. Okay. Can you show me that verse? Let us open the Bible, no problem. This is in Matthew. Let us open Matthew 7. And here you see how the Muslims, I don't mean to offend you, but this is what the Muslims do. Mm. You know? Give me a second. The same verse which Zechariah is quoting is the same verse he keeps saying, challenging where Jesus says, I'm God. Well, how come he cannot see it? We are going to put chapter 7 in the screen. And can you like not delete this video because I will take points from this video. Well, my friend, I keep my videos for a certain time and you can yourself, you can, uh, uh, you know, you can just uh, okay, I will download, download the video and post it in your channel if you want. Okay. Feel free to post new channel. Okay, here we go. This is Matthew. So it took time. It is within the screen. This is Matthew chapter seven. We go down where where Zechariah is quoting the chapter. <coughs> We will be carefully. Okay, wait, I don't see the verse yet. Well, this is chapter 7 again. Chapter 7. We go down. To, we can read from verse number 20 or even before. But you will see here, Jesus said in verse number 15, Be aware of false prophets. So your prophet, your, uh, Jesus spoke about your prophet, which will come to you in the clothes of a sheep. Your prophet, he claimed that he believed in Jesus, believed in Mary to be a pure woman, he believed in the same God, supposedly, blah, 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 but all this is a lie. 
And then he said, you will shall know them from their fruit. So Jesus warned us how to examine if someone like Muhammad is a fraud or not. His fruit is very ugly. And then, uh, even so, every good tree brings good fruit. Very simple. And then he continues saying, not everyone that say to me, Lord, Lord, do you see it? No, I don't see it yet. Okay, take your time. Even so, every good tree bring forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth mm. good fruit. Is it appearing now for you? Okay, not everyone that said on okay. the Lord. So, when when Zechariah he called it, he says that those who call Jesus, he called him Lord, Lord. He will say to them, they are you know depart away from me. But he's a liar. Look what it says. Not everyone. Do you see not everyone? Mm. That's mean. There's many they will call me Lord, Lord, and they are fine. But not everyone. Correct? Yeah. So Zechariah he lie. He's a potato. He's a scam. But, yeah. Because. Jesus said here that I am their Lord and they call me Lord, but not all of them, they will enter my kingdom. Correct? Mm. Why, turns, but... why those people will not enter the kingdom of God? Many, not everyone, which means there's many, they say to me, Lord, Lord, they will go to the heaven. But not everyone. So there's an exception. So the exception are not the total. The exception is an exception. So not everyone of oh there's a thousand people saying to me, Lord, Lord, we worship you. Jesus saying, Not all of you will go to heaven, because many of you are liars. You know? Can you scroll down to twenty? Just hold on, we are going to continue. So but he who does the will of my father, which is in heaven. Okay. Mm. But what is the will of the Father is to worship Jesus, to say to him, Lord, many, he continues saying, many will say to me in that day, which day? The day of resurrection, the day of judgment. Jesus is speaking of the future that he will be their God. When he come back and they will be worshiping him and they will call him Lord, Lord. And look, have we not prophesied in the name? Did Jesus say, you cannot do that? You cannot prophesy in my name? No. You prophesy only in the name of God. Remember that, right? Because prophet... They prophesy for the name of God, correct? Mm -hmm. A prophet cannot make you a prophet. And they name have cast out the devil in the name of Jesus. They have power. See what how powerful the name of Jesus? They can cast out the devil. Muhammad himself, according to you Muslim, he was possessed with the devil. Black magic. His God could not cast it. It took him 12 months, according to Muslims. But that is a big oh. fat lie. Why it's like the Quran says so? Because my prophet said that even the shaitan that I have with me has become a Muslim. That's another proof that Muhammad is a is a is a is satanic, because Muhammad he says that he became a Muslim and he command me to do good. Correct? Yeah, even he says. Okay, to do so good. who is the one who command Muhammad? No, there are two angels. No, 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 don't change topic. Who is the one who command Muhammad Shaitan? No. Okay, he, hold he on. No, no, no. You see, you, you know, remember, you are talking to Christian Prince. Those things can jump from here, from like, from window to window with someone else. With me, you cannot play. We can go there later. But no, 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 we will go, we will go. Hold on, we'll take us a second. So what? Who is the one who command Muhammad? You said no. It's not Shaitan, correct? Uh, I said Shaitan says him to do good. No, I said command. You said no. I said who command Muhammad? I said Shaitan. You said no. Okay, so tell me hadith. Okay, read it. There is none amongst you with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn. Hmm. They said the devil, Shaitan. Uh, yeah, Rasulullah with you too. Thereupon he said yes, but Allah helped me against him 
and so I'm safe from his hand and he does not command me but for good. Who command Muhammad? Hmm? Uh, shaitan. Okay. Shaitan meaning like command doesn't mean he gives wahi or something, you know. When we go to do something evil, that shaitan, you know, tempts us. Go do listen, it, listen, do listen, it. listen, listen. I, you are like like a somebody. He is, you know, is trying to step up in an, in a ground is full of ice and he is it's slippery. Hold on. I said to you, who command Muhammad? Shaitan, right? You said no. Now, suddenly, shaitan became a good person. But let us go with it. Shaitan who became a good person, which is false, because shaitan is a shaitan. But this shaitan who is a good shaitan who converted to Islam, which is stupid to say, because that means the pure evil shaitan, he likes Islam, for it is evil. That means that the, that the shaitan himself, he enjoys Islam to the point, it does not take too much time for Muhammad to make shaitan adopt Islam and accept Islam. It's satanic. Then Muhammad continues saying that the one who command him is not Allah. It's Shaitan. Where no, the no, no. What do you mean no? It's in front of you. Does it say he does not command me but for good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Muhammad received command from who? From Allah or from Shaitan? From Allah. But here it says Shaitan. No, you see, you are understanding it differently. My friend, who is the one who command him? Read. Even this one, need, even this one need understanding? I, I would have agreed with you if this says, only shaitan commands me. Okay, hold on. Does it say there, shaitan and Allah command me, or it says, he command me good? This is talking about shaitan, so only shaitan is discussed Okay, here. so now shaitan is giving good command to Muhammad. Do you agree with that or not? Yes, of course. Okay, so Muhammad is a person, he obeyed the command of shaitan. Because he orders about Allah. No problem. Hold on, guys. The shaitan, he is commanding Muhammad, and he is giving him a good command. So who is the one in charge of Muhammad? Shaitan. No. Okay, hold on. You see, I don't know how how you know. I, I I'm trying my best not to not to insult you, but I will go with you. Let's say you are a genius person, you are a smart person, and I am not. Okay, let us go with the word command. Mm -hmm. Who is the highest in command in Islam? Allah. Allah. So let us type here the word Allah. Wonderful. Okay. Now, Muhammad he received command from Shaitan. Do we agree with that? Yes. Okay. So let us type that the second person after Allah is Shaitan. What about the angel that is there? No, hold on. Don't put the angel there because the angel he don't give command. The angel he did delivery. Muhammad never said the angel command here. He is saying shaitan command. So now there we have, okay, hold on. So Allah, he command shaitan. Shaitan, he command Muhammad. Do I agree on that? Uh, uh -huh. Both of them command uh, Rasulullah differently. So are you saying that the command of shaitan is not good no since shaitan is a creature you know he he commands rasulullah to worship allah okay who told the shaitan to command muhammad to worship allah because good what is good good is uh, let's see what allah says good <clears throat> allah says listen 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 carefully focus with me focus with me shaitan he command muhammad to worship allah correct yeah okay who taught Shaitan to tell Muhammad to worship Allah? Allah. Okay. So Allah command Shaitan, Shaitan command Muhammad, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, Muhammad is a messenger of Shaitan. No. 
Allah separately gives wahi on to Rasulullah too. Now hold on. Muhammad, he never received wahi. Wahi means inspiration. Muhammad, he received delivery of an angel. His name is Jibreel. Inspiration right. is not wahi. Is not but, uh, inspiration is wahi. Sorry, delivery is not inspiration. He bring him. He says, say this. Correct. This is not inspiration. So even that word is a stupid mention in the Quran. But look what happened now. Me and you, we agree that Allah, He have a chain of command, and Muhammad is in the bomb of the command, and Shaitan is higher than Muhammad, and Shaitan is a good Shaitan in Islam. Correct. Only the shaitan who was attached to only prophet. the shaitan, guys. Only the shaitan. This is the bad. This is a good shaitan. Only the shaitan. No problem. So now we have a good shaitan who sent good command to the good prophet. Correct. Yeah. Okay. What is the command of shaitan was given to Muhammad? Can you name some? It just says good, right? Okay. Well, a good. I mean, Muhammad saying they are good, but. Good to shaitan is not good to us. I mean, no. why, why is even called shaitan? If he is, a, if he is, uh, hold on, hold on. How 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 silly Muhammad is to call him shaitan if he is good, because the word shaitan is about evil, the pure evil. So how the pure evil is a good evil? Did you watch good? Did you watch good uh, Doctor Evil movie? No. Okay, so Doctor Evil now became a good Doctor Evil. His name is Dr. Evil. So why he call him evil if he is a good person? If he is a good person, you don't call him Shaitan. Look, the Hadith itself answers you. Ah, okay, give me the answer. I did not see it. Go ahead. In the Hadith itself, uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said hmm. that Allah protects, protected me against him. So okay. he now commands me. So who protected him? Allah. Okay, hold on. So Allah protected him against who? Shaitan. Okay, guys, let us let us let us draw the, the things again. Look what happened now. You just help me more to prove that Muhammad is a stupid. Because the one who protect Muhammad from Shaitan is Allah, correct? Yeah. That means Shaitan is a still bad person. No, from the bad, uh, from the bad shaitan. No, no, it says he he come, you know, he became a Muslim, so he was yeah. his, his shaitan, and he converted to Islam, mm -hmm. and Allah he protected Muhammad from the shaitan. That shaitan, the same shaitan, correct? Yes. Okay. Who was evil so before. Good okay. Now. So guys, he was evil, shaitan. And now he became a good shaitan, correct? Yeah. Okay. So why he is calling him shaitan if he is a good person? Because he is jinn. So we no, will call him. Jinn. Not every jinn is a shaitan. Shaitan only is the one who is pure evil who disobey God. There is jinn. They are Muslims, according to your religion. There is jinn. They are Christians. I know, like a friend, his wife, she is a genie. She keep jumping like crazy, you know? She's a, yeah. according to your prophet, she is a Christian genie. So, if the if, if this is about jinn, then the story is different. And different hadith says it clearly, the word shaitan. He said, would you you have shaitan too? He said, yes, with me. But Allah, he helped me against him, and he converted to Islam, so he commanded me not, but to do good. So now, if he is a good person, and then still the idiot Muhammad called him shaitan. That means Muhammad is an idiot because he's not a shaitan no more. So, shaitan, uh, shaitan is jinn, right? My friend, but, let me, let me, help you. let me help you more. Let me help you more. Who is the one who sent shaitan to deceive people? Who is the one who sent shaitan? Uh, to deceive people? Yeah. Uh, like Allah sent him. Allah uh, sent him. That means shaitan is a good person, correct? Wait, wait. Let me understand what you are saying. And if shaitan is sent by Allah, that means shaitan, he worked for Allah, correct? 
shaitan uh, yes allah send him to test people okay so uh, allah he sent shaitan and this shaitan his job is to deceive people so the shaitan is a good shaitan because he is doing the order of allah correct no he was bad he challenged allah in the quran okay hold on no nowhere he changed him in the quran this is a lie but let's go here read with me chapter 6 verse 112 it says and so we have appointed to every prophet enemies correct mm -hmm. okay so how you just say to me that allah he protected protected him from the shaitan when he is the one who appointed the shaitan to him and he is the one who made him an enemy wait wait let me read this I like it and when you say wait wait it's like somebody is pushed from the top of the mountain like wait 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 and let me hold the parachute so appointed for every prophet enemy shaitan among mankind and jinns inspiring one another with a don speech hmm. okay. as a delusion if your lord had so will they would have not done it so leave them alone with their fabrication hmm. so what you said to me and what Muhammad said is a lie because Allah is sent the shaitan to be the enemy of Muhammad. How Allah protect him from shaitan? If Allah is the one who appointed that shaitan to be the enemy of Muhammad, and then this enemy of Muhammad, he command Muhammad. And then Muhammad, he says, he's a good, he's a good shaitan. But the Quran says he is evil. I am the one who appointed him to be your enemy. Correct? Mm -hmm. And what this enemy will do will make you a delusion person, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did your prophet suffer from delusion? Delusion? I don't believe that. What do you mean? No, I don't believe that. The hadith says that clearly. Uh, like satanic verses? No, no, delusion. Your prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but he did not. Your prophet, he imagined something he did, but he did not. That is delusion. Oh, I, I saw that when you were showing to somebody else. Hmm. Delusion and illusion, you know, the same, you know. So, shaitan mm -hmm. already, he have control of Muhammad. And when Muhammad, he says, Allah protect me from him, it's a joke. Because shaitan already is in his shoulders, is right in him. And as you see here, shaitan, according to Islam, is a Muslim. Because Allah, he sent shaitan to do jihad. And the jihad of shaitan is to struggle every day, trying to deceive people as much as he can. Mm. He inspire them, he tell them things, but all of this is from Allah, correct? Yeah. And not only that, it says, and if Allah will, they cannot do that, correct? Yes. Okay, so shaitan cannot fabricate except by Allah will. So Allah is the one behind the fabrication. If Allah will, if he, Allah he will, will, they cannot do that. Yeah. Okay. So Shaitan is doing the will of Allah. But Allah protects prophets from Shaitan. Right? How, how stupid is to say, I protect the prophet, but I am sending someone to be your enemy. This is stupid. Wait, wait. Does it say here? And we have appointed to every prophet enemy from Shayateen. Did you say that or no? Shayateen among mankind and jinn. Which means they will come to you in the form of a human or form of genie, whatever, but they are still shaitan. Okay, now I understand this. Uh -huh. This is the shaitan that comes in the form of human uh -huh. and jinn. Uh -huh. But Rasulullah is talking about the one who is on your shoulder. That's good one, my friend. You just shot me. What? You just shot me. What? You just shot me in the head, <laughs> guys. Hold on, hold on. You know, I I like what you said. You know, I I, sh I should make you like. Should, should I pay you a salary every month? Listen, guys. <laughs> this guy he just said this. Listen to this carefully. This is a prophet Muhammad.
I will make him handsome as much as I can, you know? So the Muslim will not be offended. And this is his shoulder. And Mr. Shaitan now is sitting on the shoulder of Muhammad. This is Shaitan. Okay, tell us now what the shaitan is doing. He is shitting, sorry, not shitting, sorry, sitting in the shoulder of Muhammad. Go ahead. So, isn't he a whisperer, waswasa? Ah, now we understand why he is sitting in the shoulder <laughs> of Muhammad. Yeah, come on, you are very funny. <laughs> what? It's you who said that to me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, when you say, ah, that makes me laugh. Well, I mean, is it, isn't this what you said? So now we have, hold on, we have to make the ears of the Prophet, we forget the ears because now we have to whisper for him. And now Shaitan, brother, he will start whispering in the ears. Let us, let us erase the Shaitan here and make a Shaitan whispering now. Now we understand Islam better, thank you very much. This is the only mm. Prophet he have Shaitan sitting in his shoulder. Amazing prophet. Who can who there's no there's no prophet in this universe like him. I mean come on, look how much he suffer. You know, he have his ears, they are big ears, you know, so he can receive the shaitan. Okay, and now shaitan. Okay, now I have to fix those shoulders. I mean how we how this shaitan will sit in the shoulders like this. He have to be comfortable, you know. This is a good shaitan. We have to give him a good seat. You know? So this is the shoulder of the prophet. Okay, and now Shaitan, Mr. Shaitan, because this is a Muslim Shaitan, we can't just treat with him the same as any other Shaitan. You know, we have to be honest here. This is not a normal Shaitan. This is Mr. Shaitan. So uh, here, Mr. Shaitan, uh, <clears throat> he stand up and he's he bent over. You know, this is his ass. He have a tail, by the way. Okay. And now, he is going to whisper to Prophet Muhammad. What, what he is whispering to him, what he is saying, go ahead. Hello? Yeah. What, what does he say? Obviously, he's shaitan. He tries to deceive everybody. He tries to uh, as, uh, tell them to do good, uh, to do bad. Okay, but but, yeah. but hold on. So shaitan, he tried to deceive Muhammad. Like what? Not to worship Allah? Yeah, like do shir. Okay. And Muhammad, he hear that? Hmm? Muhammad, he hear it? I mean, it's just like he, you know, I don't know if he, about hearing or anything like that. I'm not that knowledgeable, but obviously, you know, we feel uh, to do sense, you know. Okay, hold on. He, hold on. How Shaitan he speak to people, according to your prophet? Is it true that he used the sound of a bell? He used the sound of a bell? Yeah, bell. Like jungle bell, jungle bell, bell you know, bell about that okay well you're a prophet he said that this is how he communicate with people he used the bell this is the musical instrument of shaitan this is how we talk to people he have his own music to whisper to people read it carefully it says the prophet pbuh halal buh said the bell is one of the musical instrument of shaitan correct where does it say that can i read it okay it's on the screen Okay, wait, it's loading. Hmm. Uh, the bell is one of the musical instruments of Satan, okay. Okay, so now we have, we have to come with a new image. So this is Muhammad again. 
Come on, you are just trying to entertain everybody here. No, we are teaching kids, as you know, you know, because you Muslims are like kids. Honestly, I see you that, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just 20 years old. Yeah, 20 years old, okay. When I was in your age, I, you know, I was, uh, I did not say I'm 20 years old. Doesn't make me a fool. 20 years old is a, is a full man, right? Is a man responsible for death and life. Is a man responsible for family. This is not an excuse to be stupid and fool, correct? So this is your prophet now. And now Shaitan is in his shoulder. Okay. This is Mr. Shaitan. Oh, we forgot to draw the, the ears of Muhammad. Hold on. Because how we can hear him without ears? Come on. So Shaitan is coming now to your prophet. And he has a bill in his hand. Like the one you see in the school, you know what I mean? So Shaitan is holding the bill now with his hand. He's standing next to the Prophet in his shoulder. And he's ringing the bell. Okay. As long this is how Muhammad he receive the deception of Shaitan by the bell sound. How Muhammad understand what the bell saying? I don't know. Okay. But do you agree with me now that this is really a musical instrument of Shaitan? The bell. Yeah. Okay. So Muhammad, when he hear the bell, he should be hearing shaitan, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we go, we will find that Muhammad, he received Quran in the sound of a bell. Read carefully with me. And you help me. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3215. Al-Harith ibn Hisham asked the Prophet, How does the divine inspiration come to you? He replied, In all these ways, the angels sometimes come to me with the voice which resembles the sounds of a ringing bell. Mm -hmm. But uh, if 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 a musical instrument of the bell is the musical instrument of Shaitan, and Shaitan he whispered to Muhammad using the bell, and angels don't enter a house have a bell. This is a different hadith. Angels will not enter a house if the house have a bell. Then we find that Muhammad receiving Quran as a sound of a bell, and then we find the hadith says that Muhammad received command from the Shaitan. But Shaitan, he speak to you using the ring of the bell. And Muhammad received Quran in the sound of the ring of the bell. So who is the one giving Quran to Muhammad? Okay, I will uh, take note of this too. What do you mean you will take note? Hold on. Everything, every disaster I give you, you say to me, I will take a note. Are you going to spend the like, I mean, your life? You can take notes as much as you want, my friend. This is not the problem. I want you to use your brain with me. Can't we? I don't know if it's fabricated or uh, true. What do you mean fabricated or true? Because when I show you this the This is Sahih of... al-Bukhari. It is Sahih. Not a single Muslim objected. And this okay. is my challenge for you. Show me one Muslim he objects. Secondly, as long the Muhammad received Quran in a sound of a bell, correct? This is what it says. Okay. Okay. How the ringing bell became Quran? Arabic. I mean, I don't have much knowledge about that. What do you mean? This is a very simple question. Uh, I mean, obviously, Gabriel, you know, uh, hold on, hold on, I'm receiving Quran. Oh, this is okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. 
shake it and what stop hold on i'm receiving more quran oh this is strong oh. quran this is strong quran hold on this is shahada you guys i exactly do what allah said in like, the hold quran on, hold on Oh boy, this is Quran is given to me when I was a kid. So Muhammad received Quran as a ring of a bell. Ring of a bell is an instrument of shaitan. Shaitan, he whispered to Muhammad using the ring of the bell. And then Quran became Arabic. Who is the crazy here? Uh, I mean, obviously, if... if something like contradicts then obviously like first off i will ask somebody of knowledge what it is i, I was translating the quran hold on i was using the sign of morse you know because i think what muhammad he was doing he received quran in sound of a bell and then he like he translated can we go back to the bible Okay, I, yeah, we go back to the Bible, no problem. But now we are going, see, see, this is what I want to understand. They see how embarrassing this religion is. We go back to the Bible, no problem. <laughs> Let us escape the embarrassment. Yeah, okay, it. so not many will say to me, Lord, in that day, Lord, Lord, what day? The day of resurrection, Jesus coming back. They will say to him, God, God, have not we prophesied in the name, in the name of Jesus, they prophesy. A person should not prophesy in the name of anyone no man but god that is again confirmed that he is god and in the name we did wonderful miracles in the name of jesus they can do that and then and then uh, uh will i approach into them i never know you depart from me ye that work iniquity so what the problem with those people simply they were working for their own glory to be famous to be known, to be uh, people, they speak about them, what they can do. They were not glorifying Jesus. They were working for their own benefit. And Jesus, he explained that in the rest of the verses. So, not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus, but the one who do his will. So, my will is not just go and do miracle in my name. My will is to obey me. There's many false priests. There's many false teachers. They go, hey, worship Jesus. Oh, but don't forget to make donation, okay? Huh? And there's a guy, he's a priest. His name is Mr. Dollar. He went to bed. He woke up in the morning. He told him that the Lord told me to have in your own airplane. Obviously, it's a scam. So those people, even if they do miracles in the name of Jesus, they will not go to heaven but the verse is so clear many they will say to me lord lord but not everyone which means jesus saying clearly that only who say to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father but not everyone so if you don't worship jesus that's what the verse saying you do not say to him lord lord that's what the verse saying you cannot enter the kingdom of the father as a start but this is not the reason to go to the heaven only you have to do the will of the father and what is the will of the father many other verses in the bible mention to follow jesus to believe that he is the messiah and to obey him and to glorify the son the same as the son he glorified the father so when a muslim he come and he say that nowhere in the bible and he called the same verse Jesus saying, I'm God. The fact, the same verse saying that I am God. And you have to say to me, Lord, Lord. Because he should say, if, if you say to him, Lord, Lord, this is what Zach and I are trying to say. Because they said to him, Lord, Lord, they will not go to heaven. But Lord, no, this is what they're saying. Not everyone, which means there is many who say to me, Lord, Lord, they will go to heaven. But not everyone. So the exception is, is the fraud. The decent Christians who believe in the Lord and they say to him, Lord, Lord, and who obey him and do the will of the Father, which is not to kill, not to steal, not, 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 you know, and to repent. Those people who do that, 
and they worship me, those are the one who deserve to go to heaven. But those who worship me with their lips, saying to me, Lord, Lord, even if they did wonderful work, which mean miracles, still I will say to them, depart away from me. I do not know you. Why? Because you did all what you did for your own glory, not for my glory. You are not serving me. You are trying to get the benefit from it. What does inequity mean? You know, like your own glory, your own benefit, your own, you know, agenda. Not for me. You are not serving me. Okay, wait, wait, let me search. We can change the translation for you if you want. If this is how it, this is a this is an old translation, we can go to new or something newer. Oh, these people are inequity means lack of fairness or justice. Yeah, they are not not not, not decent. They are not truthful. You know. Mm. Yeah, they are not uh, what they claim to be. You know, and this is true. There is many today priests, bishops, etc. They are false. They are fraud. There are even some, they are child molesters like Muhammad. You know? So, when when they quote for you those verses, the same verses confirming that Jesus is the Lord. But they are what? hypocrite. You know? They are hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. You know? You see, this is why I don't respect most of those people who claim to be uh, uh, you know, defending Islam because okay, you don't want to agree with the Christianity, but don't fabricate things is not there. You know, just be honest. The verse doesn't say what you are saying, and you are a liar. Like, can't you can can't you beat the idea or the belief by being honest? They cannot. They cannot, and that's why they had to fabricate. And you see, the same verse says, My Father in heaven. So Jesus keep repeating, My Father, My Father, My Father. The Bible keep repeating, His only begotten Son. The same as the Father, the same as the Son. The Father, He glorified the Son. The Son, He glorified the Father. So uh, they say to you, Can you explain me what begotten Son means? Like how He begot Him? Well, you know, uh, can you explain to me how God, he can do things? How God, he said, let be light and was light. What? How God, he do things. Can you explain how God, he do things? Uh, for example, Allah, he says, be and it is. No, but this is a lie. There's nowhere in the Quran anything he created by be. This is a challenge for me. I will give you 25 years from now, all right, mm. to find me one thing in the Quran, Allah, he created by saying be. This is in the Bible. God, he said, be light. And light was. So when we say how God can, you know, how he begot a son, this is very simple. Mm -hmm. God, he is. He is the one who who is who he, he is. So he explained to us saying, I have a son. And this is the only son I have. I have a spirit, the Holy Spirit. So God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. If you are going to ask God how this has happened, well, we need to ask God about everything he can do, how he can do it. How you can create the earth from nothing? How you can, you know, if if uh, if it's impossible, that means it's impossible for him to be God too. If it's impossible for God to be able to have son, that means he cannot be God. Because we call him God, Almighty, for he is Almighty. Almighty means there is no limitation of what he can do. So, mm -hmm. if God cannot be three and by one in the same time, would God, this God cannot be God too? You know, let us say for the sake of argument, God is a 100 person, not three. Are you going to tell him, how oh, I don't like to, you to be 100 person? If this is what he is, he is, he is 100 person. Mm. As, as simple as that. So, when they make the questions, those questions are not really to, to learn as much it is to deceive uh, we ask the muslims okay how allah he made mary have a uh, have a child and she don't know a man you say oh this is a miracle okay so we don't question right no we don't question okay so we believe right yeah we believe the second we say our god he have a son this is how that can be and look the quran give you a better answer showing you that allah is a fraud 
Say how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. So Allah, he don't understand Christianity. And we go back to zero now. We spoke about Trinity before, you remember? So Allah, he think that the Christians believe that God have a wife and they have a son. His name is Jesus. This is why Allah, he involved Mary in the Trinity. So in chapter 6, verse 101, it says, He is the originator. Did you hang up? No. He is no, the no. originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a children when he have no wife? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this God himself is a questioning the ability of the God himself. That is a stupid. Because if Allah cannot have a son unless he have a wife, that means he is like us. He's like me and you. This is an answer. I can give it to you. You say to me, Christian Prince, do you have kids? I say, no. Why don't I have kids? I would say, how are you kids if I don't have a woman? Correct? Mm. But this is me because I'm a human. But for God, do God need a woman? What do you think? Do he need a woman to have a son? I mean, for for my God, he says so. Yeah, so your God is not God then, because he is limited. We call what the word Almighty mean. Uh, but could it not be like it's like against his Majesty? My friend, okay, uh, what what that will do to his Majesty? Still, people will worship him. Here we go. Our God, he have a son. Is that we, we will respect him? No, we love him more because God, he decided to come to us in a form of a man. Then the atheists, they say to you, where are your God? Show us God. Here we go, God came to us. He humbled himself and he come to us in a form of a man. Why that will be a problem? What you must you know, say, that your God, when he changed his look or he come to you in a form, not fit to your imagination he cannot be God no more so you must then you judge the book by the cover and actually that's what the hadith says that Allah he come to the Muslim in a shape other than the one which they know and then the Muslim they spat at him and say to him you are not Allah you are shaitan Muhammad he said that okay so even your religion says that if Allah, he changes his shape, you Muslim, you reject Allah. And this is exactly what you are doing to Jesus. You don't like Jesus to be a man, how he can be God and man in the same time. But in the same time, we show together that Jesus is holy. Jesus never commits sin. Jesus have no father. If you say to me that Adam have no father, this is stupid to say, because Adam is not born. So how he will have a father or mother anyway? Adam is from mud, Jesus is not. So there's one unique person in this universe, nobody like him, that is Jesus. If we say right now, who is the one who made Mary have that child, you would say Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay, so who is the father of Jesus then? The one who made my mother have birth on me is my father, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, who is, the one, who is the one who made Mary give birth? God, correct? Yeah. So who is the father of Jesus? He has a father. The, the father is God. For the one who made Mary have the child is not Mary. That mm -hmm. was the will of God. So the will yeah. of God, which is Jesus, the word of God, which is this, Jesus, the Logos, he is the one who is born as a human, humbling himself coming from a woman to be between us to save us for god he loved the world he sent his only begotten son what the bible says so the purpose and the reasoning of jesus to come is not to come and show us his how how powerful he is look i'm going to show you i can walk in water oh look i'm going to feed thousands of people oh i want to make the blind see jesus is not coming to make a show Jesus is coming to save us. So while Jesus was making miracles, raising people from death, your prophet was going after women, making verses in the Quran, who want to give herself to me? 
Oh, Prophet, it's halal for you, your cousin, and the cousin of the cousin, and the daughter of your uncle, and your uncle from your side, and the mother's side, and the daughter of the daughter, blah, 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 and any woman she gave herself. While Jesus, he never charged a penny for all the miracle he did. He never ride a horse. He never received gold and silver. He did not live like kings when he can do so. In the top of that, everybody want to kill him because he said and make it clear. The Jews, they said to him, we are not going, you know, trying to kill you because of a good, bad work you did, but because you claim to be God. You claim to be God. If you go to John chapter 8 and you read the Aramaic version of it, you will see that Jesus, he said in chapter 8, verse number 12, and Yeshua spoke again with them and said, I am the living God. What he said? I am the living God. You see the problem, more people, they read the translation. Each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I am God. Because this is how God spoke to Moses. You see, mm -hmm. many Christians, they say to you, Yahweh or Yahweh, they depend on how they you pronounce it but this is not really a name this is a sentence God he said to Moses I am the one who is exist by myself nobody created me so each time Jesus he say speak about himself he say exactly what God says to Moses and look and Jesus says I am the light of the world hold on if he is a prophet he is not the light of the world the light of the world is God correct Mm -hmm. Okay, so did Jesus claim to be God already or not? Okay, according to the Bible, the Quran did. says that Allah who nur is samawati will order. Your name is Nur, correct? Yeah. Okay, Allah is the light of the earth and the heaven, correct? Mm -hmm. But this is what Muhammad he stole from the name of Jesus. This is the title given to Jesus. I am the light of the world. Muhammad, he claimed his God is the light of the world. Whoever follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. If you follow Jesus, you will have the eternal life. He is the life. And in different verse, he says, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I mean, what is left? All those titles, you find them in the names of Allah, Muhammad, you stole them from Jesus. Uh, what? So, you don't accept like any, like you show me hadith, you know, hmm. uh, this is authentic, that is authentic. Hmm. But when I show you a any hadith which uh, talks about miracles you say oh this is no, no, my friend i will accept it but this is contradiction because when the quran says nothing about it and then the quran mention all the miracle of jesus you need to ask yourself how come allah is not interested to tell the miracle of jesus he is so interested to tell us jesus he feed thousand jesus he made the blind see jesus he did this and did that and when it's come to muhammad Allah hide it. Why? Yes, but I, I do agree with you. You know, I think uh, at least Allah should have said. You know, even though He said we won't show miracles, but somewhere maybe I would have liked Him to say. Uh, obviously, Muhammad did miracles uh, to some other. Muhammad, people. hey, my friend, don't you Muslim? You say Muhammad sons they die. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shouldn't he, if he can fix this and resurrect this and do that, can't he, you know, do something to his own son? Like what? Like, like what? Keep him alive. No, he cannot do that. Can't Allah do that? Allah can, but uh, since he's the last prophet, you know, his sons won't survive. You don't what? My prophet was the last prophet. That's why his sons. So, are you saying Allah is killing his kid, his his children? 
No, Allah is taking away them sooner than later. No, but still they are children. I mean, why he is hurting your prophet? That will hurt. If I don't have a kid, eh, doesn't hurt me as, you know, taking my child from me. Who is the one who... So you are saying that Allah, he took... He killed the kids of Muhammad, correct? He didn't kill them. Like, you are trying to sound it like murder. Well, he is didn't. it... It's okay. So did it happen because they are sick or it happened because it was the will of Allah? Yes, from the will of Allah, they got sick and they passed okay. away. So Muhammad, he, he have miracles. Did he resurrect anyone from death in his miracles? Like resurrection, I don't know of any kind of miracle like that. Okay, let, let us go to uh, to to some a miracle you believe in. Give me something serious. Uh, like you know, in the Quran, Allah says, "O Prophet, when you threw stones or something at them, it was not you; it was we." Allah throwing it like in the hadith like it is there. But it doesn't say that it says when you kill them when you throw your arrow correct like in the hadith it says when my prophet threw sand or stone something every single it hurt every single uh, disbeliever okay this is this is a joke what are you talking about talk, ask me about a miracle you say sand or what is that listen carefully you kill them not but allah killed them but this is a lie because if allah is the one who killed them why he need isis why he need mujahideen you kill them go mm. so this is a fraud so muhammad now he sent his his men to die and then allah he say it's not you killed them i killed them but this is a lie so why those people they die? Why we send them to war? You kill them. Go ahead. What isn't about you who said? Isn't you who said that Allah He destroyed the people of uh, of Irmul Imad? Yeah, yeah. Okay, destroy them. Here we go. Send a sandstorm. Make a whistle. Say B is going to be. What is this drama always about? So your God, He cannot do that. Uh, do, you, do, you know, do you know the story of, of the of the Kaaba, the chapter of the elephant? No, I don't. What do you mean you don't? You don't know the chapter of the elephant? Uh, I didn't re like remember. You have elephants in India, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. According to Muslim story, which is a fiction story, there's an army of the Christians coming from Ethiopia, and they have an army of elephants. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they are coming to destroy the Kaaba. I'm not going to ask how stupid this story is, because you cannot bring elephant from Ethiopia in the desert of Mecca. Elephant mm. need a lot of water. Every hour he need a lot of water, not every few hours. Elephant cannot walk in open sand desert in the middle of the day. And if you walk him at night, still he have to hide him at the daytime from the sun. He jump in the water, he, you know, he spread water in him. This is the only way to cool himself, otherwise he would die, correct? Mm. How this army is coming with the elephant from Ethiopia? Same time, this army coming from Ethiopia to destroy the Kaaba. Allah, he sent birds to destroy them. That's what the chapter is saying, chapter of the elephant, chapter 105. Mm -hmm. And those birds, they are throwing rocks with cooked bricks which is funny it's cooked you know it's a brick okay mm -hmm. and he destroyed all the army wonderful but at that time the kaaba have 360 idols around it mm. so how allah is defending the kaaba against the christians who they are supposed to worship in him even if they are associating with somebody against those who they are Idols worshippers. In the same time, Al Qurmuti he came to the Kaaba. He destroyed the Kaaba. Not only that, he stepped in the top of the black stone and he screamed to Allah, saying, "Where are you, Allah? Where is your birds? Huh? Where is your birds? Where is your bird? Huh? Who did that? Al Qurmuti. He's a Shia Muslim. 
he established a, 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 a caliphate is called Dawlatu Qaramita. He took the black stone and he made it a purple stone for more than 21 years. And then the Muslim, they send a letter to the Caliphate of Egypt, who he, from the same religion, Shia too, they ask him that we will pay money to Al Qurmati if he can give us the black stone. Al Qurmati, he took the money and he gave them what is left from the black stone. And now, if we go and look at the black stone, which is very funny stone, let us find it. Hold on. Have you ever go to? Did you go to Mecca before? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. So, what did this filthy rat do this year? He destroyed he the Kaaba. He killed all the Muslims around. He took the black stone. He kept it for one hundred. Sorry, for twenty-one years at least. And he, mm -hmm. you know, he put in it. Okay. Okay. Now we, look with me in the screen. You must have you go and you and you say that the black stone is a special stone, correct? Yeah. Okay, it's sent by Allah, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, who is the one who keeping the stone together? Uh, who is keeping what? The stone together. Is it Allah? If Allah is the one who sent it, then Allah will protect the black stone, correct? Uh, where did Allah say He will protect the black? Well, aren't you the one who says Allah He sent the uh, the black stone from the heaven? Yeah. And isn't it Muhammad? Is it Muhammad? He says that the black stone is going to have mouth and tongue and eyes and will witness to Muslims in the day, day of judgment. So in order to have a tongue and mouth and eyes, it have to be stained there. Exists, correct? But nothing left of it. Look at this. There's a few little tiny rocks. You put it inside the wax. All of this is wax. There's no stones. Look, look at this madness. Those Abdul, they go around the Kaaba. They put their head inside the vagina, which is the black stone of Allah. And then, but there's no stone left. And every few days, they have to do maintenance to the black stone. You can go right now and search in YouTube. Black stone Kaaba maintenance. And the guy who do it is from Pakistan. It's not Allah. And they have guards around it because they are afraid that Muslims, they can bring a knife and steal some rocks. Already Erdogan, he have a rock in Istanbul. And he's proud about it. He's the, the Turkish, they stole it. Little tiny rock in the, in the size of a needle. So this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud, Islam is a fraud, and the black stone story is a fraud. Because if this is coming from God, will God will protect his stone? Let me ask you, who is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba? Uh, I mean, obviously Allah. Okay. Do you think Allah, he chose the best location? Yeah, he chose the location, whichever he wanted. So it's according to Allah's choice, correct? Mm -hmm. Have you ever flooded in Indonesia your house? Sorry, in India? Uh, like what? Like a flood. There's a flood come to your house? Uh, no, no. That means you have a good choice, right? You chose a good location. That's good. Because I saw a flood in India. It was horrible, right? Yeah. So a smart person will not choose a bad location for his house where the flood come, correct? <laughs> you are trying to tell me there was a flood in Kaaba? Well, here we go, the picture in front of you. Not only flood, every year used to be flood. Until the American, they fix it. This is not long time ago. Every year when little rain happened, all the people of the town of Mecca will go back, go to the Kaaba because the Kaaba is the lowest point. So what kind of God he chose such a location? Look at this guy. This guy is, is taking us. Is he swimming? Look, look at this picture. This guy is swimming. He's taking like a. He's, he's doing a. You know, Olympic. How old is this? Hundred years. Yeah, maybe a hundred something. When the cameras start to be exist. Mm. Look, look at the Kaaba here. The Kaaba is is here. Is is all look. Like, what the heck? More than half of it is under the water. 
So this is where Allah He chose the location of the Kaaba, where the sewage water and the dirty water come from all the town and flooded. And before it used to be collapsing, but now because they are using concrete, you remember the Kaaba used to have no no ceiling. They put the ceiling after people they start throwing garbage at at it. People from other town who they have different Kaaba. There was twenty six Kaaba, some they say twenty seven, and. They compete with each other about to come to my Kaaba, go to his Kaaba, my Ka our Kaaba is better pagans. So they put a roof in the top of it so people will not throw, able to throw garbage from the top of the wall and they made the wall higher. And now the roof is a concrete and inside is marble and around the rocks there is cement. Allah cannot support the Kaaba. The Kaaba destroyed many times. Look at this picture. Mm. What um, this is an answer. What kind of God he chose? Uh, you holy, your holy house is where the poopoo -poo come. If I ask an engineer to build me a house in the best location of town, and then after I moved in it, and all the poopoo -poo and the and the mud and the water come to my house, I don't know what to do to this engineer. Who do you think built the Kaaba? Well, you just told me that the one who chose the location is Allah. No, who, according to you, like historically, what history says about who built the Kaaba? Arab, the Arab, the Arab, you know, people, they built it. This is a joke. Arab are uh, pagans, like your prophet. Your prophet is a pagan too. This was, I just told you, there's 26 Kaaba. And by the way, all those references is mentioned by Muslims, not by me. 26 Kaaba and the Kaaba in Mecca was one of them. 26 Kaaba? 26 Kaaba. What? Let me check. Yeah. Are there pictures? No, they are, you know, I mean, this is history. Uh, no, uh, pictures. Uh, actually, there's some, they have some pictures. But those are houses used to build on all over. And actually, the Kaaba is a counterfeit of the temple of Al Makkah. You see, what is the name of your, uh, your the city where the Kaaba is? Makkah. Makkah. Well, you can go right now and search for the temple of Al Makkah in the, in the, uh, in the Yemeni language. The letter K, they say, they say Qa. So this is Mecca. This Kaaba is a counterfeit of the big temple of the moon temple, which is in Yemen. What is its name? Temple. The temple of Al Makkah. Let me let me search it for you. Hold on. Here we go. And this is why both of them, they have the same name, Makkah. This is the moon temple. The historian, they thought this is the sun temple for long, but they discovered lately they were wrong. This is the moon temple. And this is why if you go to the Kaaba, you will find a corner, it's called the Yemeni corner, and that corner is called Yemeni because simply there's a stones taken from this temple. So now, instead of those people go and do Hajj to this temple, they do not need to go there. Here we go. We brought you the stones which you are going to kiss. Oh, this is uh, this is who's. Let me uh, remember. Uh, Suleiman Salam's wife. You know who she was. I know. Okay, but this is the temple of Al Makkah. Doesn't it's matter. Hard. Okay, I, but this is the temple of Al Makkah, the same exact name of Al Kaaba, the, the, the Makkah, but the pronunciation of the Yemen. And your prophet, he said, whoever touched those stones, the stones from the from Al Makkah, Al -Makkah and the black stone, Allah, it, uh, those stones are racist sin by touching them so your prophet he did not teach the oneness of god your prophet still is a pagan claiming that touching stones erase sin
it's the house of Allah. That's why I think he said it. No, my friend, he says, touching them, erase your sin. So, so what if it's the house of Allah? So now you touch, uh, you, okay, so you touch rocks, you, you, you know, your sin is erased. This is a joke. Because I go now, it, so I will go now and I will do child molestation like Muhammad. I will do rape like Muhammad. I will kill, I will steal, and then I go touch the stones. No, no, no. Only small sins will no, be no, forgiven. No, no, don't, don't fabricate things. Allah forgive all and, sins. How you forgive them, go touch the stone. Read carefully. Why do I only see you touching those two corners? He do what? He touched them, not just go around them. He says, I heard the message of Allah saying, touching them erases sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How touching the stone erases your sin? It doesn't say it erases major sins. Or all My friend, sins. it says erases sin. Sin, all the sin. Don't, don't be like a, a Mimi Hijab and those kids. Be honest. Does it say little sin? Why you are you adding words? Does it say major sin? Does it say small sin? Or it says sin? Are you saying your prophet is a stupid? He forgot to say small sin? If he went to small sin, then he should say small sin. And since when there is big sin and good and big sin, small sin? Sin is sin. No, no, like minor sin and major. Let me ask you. Adam, he ate the apple. Is that a small sin? It's an apple. Yeah. Is it a small sin? Yes, it is. So why he kick him out from heaven? Because if a prophet does anything even small, then Allah gets very angry. Ah, uh -huh. so how come he isn't angry for Muhammad? Because my prophet repents every single day. I repent every day for the sin he do? Even if he does not do, he keep on repenting. Ah. Because he's, he said, I, I am a person who fears Allah the most. That's deep. Okay, let me ask you. You just said that your prophet, he commits sin every day. Correct? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, your prophet he commits sin every day. I'm asking. Oh, you're asking? Yeah. I mean, sinning like, uh, like minor sins. Obviously, oh, he, he, he eat the apple. He eat apples. Uh, meaning like uh, he eat apples that Allah didn't want him to eat. <laughs> <laughs> if he if he did like okay, something, let me ask you, did Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad? Yes, everything. Where it says he forgave his sin? In the front of everybody, we have three thirteen hundred only people watching. People are getting tired, maybe. Mm -hmm. Where in the Quran it says Allah he forgave the sin of Muhammad? Uh, in the Hadith. Well. I have the Quran saying is that may Allah forgive your sin. It doesn't say Allah forgives sin. So here you need to ask yourself, how stupid is the one who made the Quran? Because if Allah is God, and then he say, may Allah forgive your sin, who is the one asking Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad? And how it says may? Who is asking the uh, who, who is asking Allah? Because if I say, may God forgive you, that's mean I am not God, correct? Mm -hmm. And I'm asking God to forgive you. We agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it say here, read with me, that Allah may forgive you? Yeah. Okay. Who is talking? Allah. Allah saying to Allah, may Allah forgive you? Yeah, he's saying to him, May Allah forgive you what uh, like past and future accomplishes and guide you on the truth. Yeah, he's saying that. Okay, I want to go with you. Is Allah sure? Allah is just saying, Allah may forgive you. No, no he like, did not say forgive you, he says may. 
I asked you, did Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad? He said yes. Correct? Yeah, he did. Okay, so why are you saying me? He's uh, he's talking to my prophet in this. Okay, so Allah, he is saying to Allah, may forgive your sin. He's talking to your prophet? The, there in my Allah in the Quran that uh, indeed uh, it like we will please you something like it's very near we will please you uh, like uh, we will not displease you on the day of judgment something I don't remember uh, okay. that. yeah we, we can go there later but just uh, focus with me mm. may Allah forgive you saying that's mean it is maybe correct that is uh, I, I don't know like there is a word in Urdu like uh, I I have heard this uh, big scholars explaining this in Urdu, so mm -hmm. I understood w what Allah meant, but I cannot explain it in English. Ah. So the scholar can explain it. How I mean, how, why the why the scholar can explain it, you cannot. I mean, it says me. I mean, this is simple. Don't yeah, so Allah it, may forgive your sin. Even this one, deal. huh? It's not a big deal. Allah is just saying that Allah may forgive your sins and do this. Yeah, see, it again, you are not reading the previous ayah. Now I read it, now I understand it better. Okay, go ahead. Verily, we have given you a manifest victory okay. that Allah may forgive you. Okay. We have given you victory because we may forgive you. What the victory have to do with the sin he did? Hmm? What is, what does have to do with this? Allah he gave him victory. Why he is talking about me? Allah forgive your sin. Complete and guide you on the truth and that he is just saying yeah like your previous and. Uh, future sins are forgiven. So I want you to focus like, with me a little bit. You are very confused. If Allah is God, mm -hmm. is He making decision that His sin is forgiven to Muhammad, or He is maybe thinking about it? No, Allah is saying we gave you victory because we may forgive you. He gave him victory because he wanted to forgive him and then listen, guide listen. him. First of all, maybe you do not know how the Quran is collected. There is a mm -hmm. guy, his name is Amran. Uh, I forgot his name, Amran something. He explained to you how the Quran came down. He says Quran came like a drop of water in many glasses. Mm -hmm. And the verses, they are not coming in the same chapter. So verse came here, verse came there, verse came a week after. They put them together. So there is no connection between them. And here, if there is a connection, we will love even more. Because if Allah gave Muhammad victory, why he is saying, may forgive you for the sin in the past and the future. Here that's mean that Allah he is giving a license for sin in the future. That is evil. Because a person who commits sin, you said, he need to ask for forgiveness, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, but Muhammad do not need forgiveness no more if Allah he is saying, I forgive your sin in the past and the future. You mm -hmm. have a license for sin. That is evil. That will increase evil. Imagine if God says, I uh, forgive your sin in the past and the future. Go and do whatever you want. All of us will return evil. Because now there's no law to stop us and there's no God, you know, watching what we do. Just go and go crazy. So the verse here confirmed two things, that the one is talking cannot be the God of Muhammad. Obviously, this is Muhammad making his own statement. Because if Allah is talking, he will say to him, he don't say May Allah, he will not even mention the word Allah. He will say, I forgive your sin. But when he say that may Allah may forgive your sin, this is obviously somebody writing Quran, making a statement, asking Allah, this is a dua, a wish, that Allah may forgive your sin. Mm -hmm. So here that will make it a prayer. 
If Allah is God, he's praying to who? You must not believe in the Trinity, so God the Son speaking to God the Father? Allah is making wish to who? If the one first of all is talking is Allah, and then Allah, he says that Allah may forgive you, obviously there is not, this is not the same Allah. Because if he is the same person, he make a decision, says go and your sin is forgiven. This is what Jesus said. Go and your sin is forgiven. And then the Jews, they said, who is this guy who forgives sin? You see, the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God. Because only God, he forgives sin, correct? Yeah. And the Quran says, who can forgive sin save Allah? Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. If only Allah can forgive sin, and then they find that this Allah is not sure, he's saying, may Allah forgive your sin. <laughs> Mm. yeah I get that hmm. so the Quran is messed up I will ask I will ask people of knowledge yeah well you have a lot of questions to ask right mm. and we will get back to you and yeah. uh, <clears throat> what, what do you think of, uh, about my prophet when uh, uh, he was trying nation about my prophet when he was saying ummati ummati ah, then, then, uh, I mean my, my friend your prophet he says tons of things and uh, the funny things is about you Muslims that w w when you want uh, as an example there's a hadith about Muhammad saying that uh, uh, there's no difference between you if you are a slave or free black or white correct mm -hmm. but this is not, not this is not an authentic hadith it's not a, a, a strong hadith Muslim they accept it here you see the hypocrisy. When they want the authentic is not authentic. When they want the authentic is authentic. When they want the da'if is authentic. When they want the da'if is garbage. When they want the authentic is the da'if one. They love it. When they want, they don't want it. So we just showed a video just last week about the guy, you know, holes in the narrative. What's his name? Yasser Qadi. He was mm. quoting Muhammad, a da'if hadith. Mm. Okay, but if I quote the hadith for him, he will say this is a da'if. Yeah, in, that is right. But, yeah, but in his classroom, he was teaching the Prophet says, Her son, he freed her. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I quote it, if it's if, if it's a Christian prince is quoting the hadith to the Muslims the Muslim they will say this is da'if you see the hypocrisy of Islam my friend yeah I, I do see this Muslim you know uh, some Muslims I'm not saying obviously a lot of people you know only accept authentic but these people who say who preach daif hadith and stuff which are not reliable then that's not correct you have to be fair you know we need when, you need to remember that when you muslim you say this is daif that's mean islam is daif because now who can follow a religion nobody can trust what the prophet of this religion said because it might be fa fabricated because what is considered authentic today, tomorrow the Muslim, they will make it false. Even the, uh, Erdogan, he have a conference. He brought thousands of sheikhs from around the world. And he asked them, it's time for us to filter the books of Hadith. You want to change the books of Hadith. So those books are exist for 1400 years. And now it's time to take off all the disasters. You know, one of the reasons why I really feel happy mm -hmm. about my prophet is the one hadith that I showed you. Which one? About him saying Ibrahim left his nation. 
and Isa left his nation, left the sinners. Okay, but hold on, I hold on. Uh, uh, Isa, he left his nation. He where he where, where he went? I mean, not left. Meaning, like he said, "Oh Allah, you I you were the witness when you lifted me. You do whatever you want." Hmm. They are your slaves. You forgive them or punish them. But my prophet said, "Forgive them." Hmm. And are you and, forgiven? And he started crying. No, not like right now. If I'm good, I will be. But if if I do sin and if I rebel against God, you know, not pray and stuff, then if I die while not praying, no, if I you will... if you read Quran, that will protect your anus. If you uh, uh, say certain dua, that protect your nose. If you say certain words, that protect your ears. There's a video you can go watch it for a guy from Pakistan. He speak about how the Quran protect your anus because if you don't read Quran, Allah will insert in your in your anus ninety nine dragons and they will bite your anus. So everything you have about your religion is a stupid. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He claimed that if you don't read Quran. Then Allah will insert, and he's talking about the Muslims. Allah will insert inside your ass a dragon, have 99 heads, and they will bite you. Actually, if I play the video now, people will die laughing. If, I, if anybody had, if anyone have it, by the way, because the Muslims, they, they, they did their best to delete this video. Can you show me the hadith where it says that? Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> And not only that, this uh, this uh, this snake is bold. <laughs> it's a bold snake. <laughs> I feel sorry for the snake. She lost her hair. Okay. If you bring a picture of a dragon or a snake, I will laugh so much. Mm, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let us see if we can find you uh, some hadith. Well, I found the first one here. Let's see if we can find it in English. There's Tonzo. You know, your prophet is a talking machine, and the more he talks, the more he do poopoo. -poo. He's a poopoo -poo machine. Read carefully. <clears throat> uh, this is one of the stories, but let us see which one of them. Okay. This is about the angels will beat you with the hammer, brother. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, look at those stories. I know which one to you to read. Uh, Let's take the whatever it is in the front because it's endless. Okay, brother. The Prophet said, when a human being is led in his grave and his companion return, he even hears their footsteps. Two angels will come to him and make him sit. And they ask him, what did you say about this man? And they will show a picture of your prophet. Mm -hmm. Muhammad. He will say, I testify that he is Allah's slave and his apostle. Then it will be said to him, look at your place in the hell fire. What? Allah has gave you a place in paradise instead of it. The Prophet added, and then a dead person will see both in his places, which mean heaven and hell. But a non-believer or a hypocrite, which means a Muslim who is not true believer, will say to the angels, 
I did not know after they asked him about Muhammad. But use I used to say that what the people used to say, uh, it will be said to him, neither did you know nor did you take the guidance by reciting the Quran. Mm. Then they will hit him with an iron hammer iron between his two ears and he will cry and cry and he will be heard whatever approach him except a human being and jinn <laughs> who's left <laughs> nobody will hear him <laughs> but i'm trying to find you about the uh, uh the genie uh, uh, but hold on, hold on. Let me let me see if I can find the video. The video is more funny, you know. It's 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 good to watch it. Uh, let us see. If you search, by the way, for the video uh, uh, for any video about the punishment of the grave, you will find tens of thousands. All of them, they are talking about the same story that you will go to the grave, brother. And then the angels will come to you and they will ask you three, three questions. Who's your God? Look, look, look at this. Look, movies. Look at madness. Even Zachary and I. Why Allah punish people in the grave as the person may get what? Acquitted. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can Surah Al Musk save us from the torment of the grave? <laughs> just just one chapter will save you from the from the from the snakes. Hold on. <laughs> Only on that day it will save. Yeah, the moment, look at this guy. If I play this guy, you would die laughing. But I want to show you the video of this. Uh, hold on. Let me try to find it. Uh, no problem. Take your time. Yeah, that, that this guy, because he say it in a very, you know, like he is, he is this is what they believe, what you can say. Uh, Man, there's millions of videos. How they can find it? You should remember the name of the person who posted that video. There's no name, you know, because he, you know, uh, the Muslim, they started flagging his videos because everybody started laughing. Or maybe download that video or like it. I made a video about it, actually. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. Until now, I see nothing. Even though there's millions of videos about it. But I want that video because it is short and enough to explain how stupid it is. Oh, the admin, she found something at the sea. Well, for some reason it says uh, the link you posted did not work. Uh, let me try to copy. Is that the video you are posting for the for the uh, the guy from Pakistan? No, no, I didn't. No, I mean they are posting in the chat, so I'm asking them. <clears throat> Let us see. Yeah, I wish I can find it, but I will not be responsible if you have heart attack from laughing. 
Oh, it's okay. Let me hear it. Okay, I found a one. He is using that video, but it's not the video, really. Hold on, let us see. He's just reacting to it? Yeah, a reaction to it. Yeah, this guy, actually, he became a Muslim. He's an atheist after he saw the video. Okay, maybe you can see his link. He might uh, put that link of the video in his description. Yeah, but I don't think this is the the video we are looking for, but let us see. No problem, take your time. I hope you will accept this video response, brother. In shot, this morning, oh, you will find it. I was an atheist. Hold on. Oh, you cannot hear, right? But after hearing and watching... Listen, if you want to hear, mute Skype for until I finish the video so you can hear from YouTube. Because you cannot hear me, the, the, the audio is not linked to YouTube. So this is an atheist, he became a Muslim after he heard the story about the punishment of the grave. Mute, mute, mute uh, Skype. Listen, if you want to hear, mute Skype for until I finish the video so you can hear from YouTube. Okay. Because you can't hear me, the, 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 the audio is not linked to YouTube. So this is an atheist, he became a Muslim after he heard the story about the punishment of the grave. Oh, okay, I will mute it. Mute, 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 uh, okay, I will mute him from my side then. Uh, oh my Atheism God. is not a position that I can maintain one day longer. I think most of my subscribers are atheists, and I, I want them to hear how you converted me to Islam. My respected brothers and sisters, the topic for my today's talk will be punishment in the grave and how will the will be punished in the grave and what will happen to the pious persons in the grave who lived according to the Islamic monotheism. Okay, the first thing I would like to talk about over here is that of course we believe uh, I mean not we believe I don't know who believes in or not but according to logic and common sense that and of course that's what started it this point from here on in, common sense and logic, it's all there. The reason for us um, being in the grave is that there is something. Remember, this guy is an atheist. We don't agree with atheists in anything, right? And now they are making, this is the sound, they are playing with the sound. I wish I can find the original video because it's really funny. I don't know why they did this cartoon, this is stupid. But anyway, this is what the guy is saying. This is his voice, but they play with his voice. Thing to come, because if there is nothing to come, why would we die? <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> it's so clear. It's so clear. I've been wasting my life. There is an afterlife. Why else would we die? <laughs> the logic of the Abdul. It's like light. It's like light. And my pet rabbit will be waiting for me. Because he died too. So from, from here, we can uh, think or we can argue uh, ab about one thing that there is something uh, after this world. Uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people. And those punish are, <laughs> of course, very fearful. <laughs> I'm scared already! Uh, the punishment will start from here that two angels will uh, will come. They will ask you three questions. Not the quiz of death! First is, who is your lord? Allah. Second, <laughs> what is your religion? Islam. Third, who is this person? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad. But I don't know what Muhammad looked like. Nobody knows what Muhammad looked like. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer. <laughs> I have to mute him here because he speaks a bad word. <laughs> between your two ears mean on your face now from here um, if you see that those hammer will be of steel 
and it will be kind of big and quite heavy and if you hit your face from your hand like this on your face you feel a little bit of pain and if you hit hard on the nose or on this part you will feel a lot of pain and think how much hard will they hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I found the original video. Hold on. <laughs> that is a good one. Hold on, give me a second. I found the original one. This is a priceless video, actually. I encourage you all of you to download it and repost it again. I will post the link for you. Yeah, finally, we found the real video. Forget about this atheist. Okay. Don't don't mute. Uh, keep keep muting. Uh, keep muting your, your Skype. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. وَحَلُّ الْأُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِ يَفْقَوْ قَوْلِي My respected brothers and sisters, the topic for my today's talk will be punishment in the grave and how will the will be punished in the grave and what will happen to the pious persons in the grave who lived according to the Islamic monotheism. Okay, the first thing I would like to talk about over here is that of course we believe, uh, I mean not we believe, I don't know who believes or, or not, but according to logic and common sense that the reason for us um, being in the grave is that there is something to come because if there is nothing to come why would we die so from, hmm. from here we can uh, think or we can argue uh, ab about one thing that there is something uh, after this world and uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people and those punish are <laughs> of course very <laughs> fearful uh, the punishment will start from here that two angels will uh, will come uh -huh. they will ask you three questions mm -hmm. first is who is your lord second what is your religion uh -huh. third who is this person and they will show you a face of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace and blessings be upon him when he, when the angels will ask you the first question, who is your Lord? The people will answer, I don't know. I don't know. Maadri. Maadri. This is uh, in Arabic, Maadri means, I don't know. A Pakistani will ask, what is your religion? Uh -huh. You will say, Maadri. You don't know. I don't know. Who is this person? What a drama. Maadri. Oh I don't know. <sighs> then the angels will hit you with a hammer Oops. between your two ears, mean on your face. Now from here, um, if you see that those hammers will be of steel. Oh boy. And it will be kind of big and quite heavy. And if you hit your face from your hand, like this on your face, you feel a little bit of pain. And if you hit no, no, hard on the nose... No, brother, or, brother, hit harder so we can understand. Hit harder. If you hit your face from your hand, like this on your face, <laughs> you feel a little bit of pain. And if you hit hard on the nose or on this part, you will feel a lot of pain and think how much hard will they hit you from the hammer they will hit you with so much force that your head will blow in two parts that's it you are dead now and, and they are then you. they will join again and they will hit you again and they will keep hitting you for a while for a and while brother oh, if a person thinks this... that how much uh, with how much force and velocity will they hit me that hammer that with only one hit my head is going to break up into pieces. Pieces? Oh. <laughs> okay, then from then, there will come snakes oh in boy. the grave. Oh boy. And those snakes are not snakes uh, which are found in this world. No. They are snakes which will come from hell. Uh -huh. There will be 90 snakes, each snake with 9 heads. Oh boy. And those snakes are so... Shh, hold on. 90 snake. By the way, he is not. This guy is not lying. This guy is a believer, which means he is just quoting you what Muhammad, the liar, said. So when you are laughing, you are laughing at Muhammad, not at him. He is just a poor kid, you know. This is what they taught him in school. This is what Muhammad said. So there is 90 snake. Actually, there are 99, not 90. He is wrong in the number. 
and each snake have nine heads that's mean each snake have 810 snakes based on his number all of them they will go where they will bite you and they will go in your anus hold on full of poison that it is said by the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that if one of those snakes bite the earth, earth. this earth then till the day of uh, qiyamah mean till the last day man that uh, the whole earth will never ever uh, bring out any any greenery can you believe it brother if one of those snake bite the earth the earth brother the earth will not have a greenery and the day of judgment brother okay i mean now i understand why the atheist was going crazy the day of uh, qiyamah mean till the last day <coughs> that uh, the whole earth will never ever uh, bring out any any greenery everything will be rotten and no one will be able to harvest any plants or any trees or something the earth will be so much poison will be full of so poison and they will keep biting you the snakes will keep biting you from day till night if you don't pray if you don't worship and each bite they will uh, the snakes will bite you it will take you 70 yards beneath the earth mean, I mean brother each time the snake she bite you you will go down 70 yards down the earth so now you are dead and you are beaten by a hammer <laughs> non stop between your ears <laughs> by the way what do you mean between his ears like where is that location <laughs> and then brother After they beat you with the hammer, non-stop, non-stop, brother, the angels, the snakes come and they keep biting you, biting you. And each bite, you go 70 yards. But, okay, hold on. Each bite is 70 yards. There are 810 snakes. One snake has 810 heads. So, 810 x 70 yards each bite. That means 56,700 yards in one minute. For one second, you are going to go from the other side of the earth, brother. 57, 56,000 and 700 yard. Every bite, you will go down. Continue, Abdul. I mean, by the way, he, he looked like Uthman, you know, <laughs> genius. A man, no matter how much powerful he might be, yeah. he uh, grabs something and throws it uh, on the earth or on the street. He can <laughs> hardly bring a crack on uh, it. I'm, I'm Maybe yeah. move in one centimeter or hardly like that. And that snake will take you 70 yards beneath the earth and you will go beneath the earth up. Piercing the earth, piercing, uh, piercing the surface of the earth, your body will go 70 yards down, and then the snake will bring it back, and then he's gonna bite you again, and this is gonna happen. Mm. Imagine 90 snakes biting you, each snake have nine heads, and one scorpion. Stop. And that scorpion. And one scorpion, look, just one scorpion. 90 snake with 99 head, or nine heads each. And one scorpion, just one. But don't think it's just a normal one. You have no idea. Look at those eyes. Look at the intelligence. Look how the intelligence of Allah is dropping from their eyes. And they ask you why people they join ISIS. Those are the people who join ISIS. Look at this. You see, Islam make you look like a fool. It make you fool, not look make you look like a fool. Look at those eyes. And one scorpion. My friend, just by seeing those eyes, I get the scorpion idea very well. <laughs> and 90 snakes biting you. Each snake have nine heads and one scorpion. And that scorpion is so much poisonous that <clears throat> <clears throat> there is a... This is a true story, by the way. Stop. This is a true story, by the way. Let, let me hang up on our friend there. Maybe we can call him later. This is a true story, by the way. I mean, look. 
Now it's time to get serious. This is a true story, by the way. <laughs> Each snake have nine heads and one scorpion. And that scorpion is so much poisonous that <clears throat> there is a this is a true story by the way for sure. that once in Saudi Arabia yeah, once there was a person who once hit a camel oh and boy. it is uh, famous about the camel uh, I mean it's famous it's a fact about the camel if you hit a hit a camel the camel is gonna take revenge Ooh. Ooh, be Ooh. careful so <clears throat> there was this guy in Saudi Arabia he he once uh, hit a camel and then at night when he was about to sleep he remembered that oh man I hit that camel oh boy and when he was peeking out of the um, of his, uh, out of his door, he saw the camel standing outside, <coughs> and he knew that camel is gonna catch me, man. That's I, it. I need to run. That's and he it. was in a tent. He was not in a house. Oh. So he began running, and while running, the camel started to follow him. Oh boy! And the camel was following, and the man went to a graveyard. Oh boy! And in the graveyard, he saw a grave uh, which was a little bit uh, weak. Weak. I mean, it was not. Um, you can say yeah, hard uh -huh, not or hard. firm. Uh, so sorry. he broke the grave and he <laughs> went inside. And inside he saw the a scorpion, a small <laughs> scorpion, a strange kind of scorpion, and he was stinging the dead body. Oh boy! And he got a little bit afraid. The that scorpion uh, came out of uh, of the uh, grave uh -huh. and he uh, he saw the camel coming. He stinged the camel. And the camel all of all of a sudden died, and it is famous about the camel that if uh, a person, uh, if a snake or any deadly um, animal uh, bites or stings the uh, the camel, it takes at least seven to eight days for the camel to die because camel absorbs the poison very slowly. And when the scorpion stinged him, he died at once. At once. And then the man came outside. He saw the camel uh, is dead. He got happy and he kicked the camel Oof. with anger. And when he kicked the camel, uh -huh. his feet till the ankle melted. Oh boy! Because of the poison. <laughs> Remember, this is a true story, by the way. <laughs> He can hardly bring a crack on it, or maybe move like a, one centimeter, or hardly like that. And that snake will take you 70 yards beneath the earth, and you will go beneath the earth, uh, piercing the earth, piercing, uh, piercing the surface of the earth. Your body will go 70 yards down, and then the snake will bring it back, and then he's gonna bite you again, and this is gonna happen. Imagine 90 snakes biting you. Each snake have nine heads and one scorpion. One scorpion. And that scorpion is so much poisonous that. Brother, do you know his name? I mean, the scorpion. Do you know his name? Like, do you have a name? Like, is he just a scorpion? His name. Like, what do you, what, 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 what we call him? <laughs> one scorpion. <clears throat> <clears throat> there is a. This is a true story, by the way. I want to take a, to take a note. In the minute 5.5, he said it is a true story. <laughs> that once in Saudi Arabia, there was a person who once hit a camel. And it is uh, famous about the camel. I mean, it's a fact about the camel. If you hit a, hit a camel, the camel is going to take revenge. Ooh, Ooh, be careful. So... <clears throat> there was this guy in Saudi Arabia. He he once uh, hit a camel, and then at night when he was about to sleep, he remembered that oh man, I hit that camel. And when he was peeking out of the um, of his, uh, out of his door, he saw the camel standing outside, <clears throat> and he knew that camel is gonna catch me, man. I I need to run. And he was in a tent. He was not in a house. I mean, come on, we have to make the story like so. He is not like how the camel will catch him. He is not, he is in a tent, not in a house. Like a brother, come on, you. So it's not a house. It's a tent, brother. <laughs> so now the story is more convincing. <laughs> so he began running, and while running, the camel started to follow him. And the camel was following, and the man went to a graveyard. And in the graveyard, he saw a grave uh, which was a little bit uh, weak. I mean, it was not, um, you can say, hard or firm. So he 
broke the grave and he, he went inside. And inside he saw the a scorpion, a small scorpion, a strange kind of scorpion, and he was stinging the dead body. And he got a little bit afraid. The that scorpion uh, came out of, uh, of the uh, grave and he uh, he saw the camel coming. He stinged the camel. And the camel all of all of a sudden died. And it is famous about the camel that if uh, a pers uh, if a snake or any deadly uh, animal uh, bites or stings the uh, the camel, it takes at least seven to eight days for the camel to die because camel absorbs the poison very slowly. And when the scorpion stinged him, he died at once. At once. Then the man came outside. He saw the camel is, is dead. He got happy and he kicked the camel oh boy. with anger. And when he kicked the camel, his feet till the ankle melted because of the poison. The camel was the camel's body became so much poisonous uh -huh. that his feet till the ankle which he hit melted at the very spot. And that kind of scorpion is gonna sting us. Oh, oh man! Man! <laughs> so. <laughs> From here, you can see how much horrible Ooh. will the scene be. And the that good thing that. about uh, about the past person is, <laughs> if you uh, worship, uh -huh. your worships are gonna save you from the snakes and and the scorpion from your left hand side. Uh -huh. If you give charity, uh -huh. your uh, your charity will save you from snakes and camel on the top. If you um, <clears throat> don't lie, speak truth and do righteous deeds those will help you from the snakes and uh, scorpion coming from the right hand side uh -huh. and if you read the Quran that will help you from the bottom stop so what will protect your anus the Quran now I know why Muslims they recite the Quran they are worried about their anus. If you read the Quran, it's going to protect you from the bottom. <clears throat> Why didn't say the anus? That your charity will save you from snakes and camel on the top. On the top. If you um, <clears throat> don't lie, speak truth, and do righteous deeds, those will help you. From the snakes and uh, scorpion coming from the right hand side, uh -huh. and if you read the Quran, that will help you from the bottom. So now I know when a Muslim he send me he says we hate you from the bottom of our heart. They mean their bottom of uh, <clears throat> where the Quran is located. These are the only things which which can save you. The only in things. The grave. That's it. So think about it. Think about I mean, it. It sounds horrible when a person thinks about these things that such poisonous snakes and such a poisonous scorpion oh, is gonna sting us and snakes are gonna bite us oh, so before you die oh, you need to save your grave yourselves okay. from the punishments in the grave because that really scared me I am scared too I don't too. know what you want your fate to be I don't know I mean I, I don't know <laughs> you tell me <laughs> This is an example of what Muhammad he teach. This is Islam. So, uh, how many of you heard the stories about, you know, like this guy? Now he is he was talking to us, right? Uh, the prophet, the prophet, he did, the the prophet, uh, 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 you know, uh, he said this what this what the prophet said too. <clears throat> this is a story made by your prophet. And this guy, he believe in them. And by the way, Muhammad he never said the snakes. Muhammad he said seventy or some hadith different depend in the story. Uh, some story they say seventy dragons. Dragons. This is why Muslims, they stay Muslims.
This is a religion of fear. Muhammad, he started telling them fake, stupid stories, and they are uneducated, and the educated one, he cannot leave, because if he leave, he will lose everything. Let's call our friend Noor to see what his opinion about what he heard. We hang up on him because we don't want him to wait for long for nothing. <coughs> Yeah, hello. Yes, Noor. Did you hear the story? Uh, about this guy, right? Yeah, no, this is not the, your guy saying, this is your prophet saying. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you, you think your eyes is protected, Noor? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you making fun of the prophet? Come on, don't do that. No, I'm not making fun of my prophet. Yeah, so? But the way, the way this guy, you know, is, is showing is very very funny like. well it's funny this is about uh, this is guy is being serious i mean come on you're laughing <laughs> yeah you know the, the quran protect your bum no i mean i understand everything and i respect everything he's saying but oh you respect the way, it? <clears throat> the, the way the way he's showing it like people are gonna laugh like that man. Uh, so you think the story makes sense I mean, obviously, like it makes sense for me to be, uh, to get punished, but I don't know if it's gonna be that severe of punishment. Mm, but you are dead now. How you will be punished? You are, they are punishing his physical body, but he's dead. Is he alive or is dead? Yeah, uh, he will. He will obviously be given uh, his soul back to his body, so he can feel the ah, pain. Ah, you're alive again, then. So the the day of resurrection is a lie. Read with me this hadith here. Abu Sa'id, he reported <coughs> that the message of Allah says 99 dragons. How many? 99. 99 dragons, not snakes, will be given the power over an infidel of his grave. And they will bite and sit in him till the last hour to come. What do you think? Is that like really authentic hadith? Well, you know, here it says Hassan, which means good. Uh, it's not authentic, you know. Well, this is authentic because, you know, this is it says good. Uh, I can reject that. Oh, you can, for sure. Did you reject that, what the guy was saying to you? <clears throat> uh, why, he don't that? why he don't reject that? I mean, why you reject it? But this guy, he don't reject it. Why? What's wrong? Uh, he just... I think he's very passionate. Ah, you are not passionate. No, like he he believes in whatever, but like if I will see like if it's authentic or not, and what other Muslims think about it, hmm. and if it's believable or not, then I will see. Well, we we just saw there's tons of videos in YouTube speaking about the punishment of the grave, correct? I I do believe in punishment of great grave definitely like it's very dangerous but the way this guy is presenting like uh, I think it I don't know if it, whatever he's saying is authentic hmm. people people will laugh like if he present like this have you ever heard of the of, of the bold uh, snake which snake? The bold snake. <clears throat> uh, like I can't really hear you properly. Like which snake? I don't know what to say. Hmm. Well, there's tons of videos, Muslim making videos about your prophet speaking about this. Uh, uh, let's see if we can find you. But it's definitely very, very famous in India that snake will be there in the grave <clears throat> as. A friend, the snakes will be anywhere. There's rocks, and there. This is a, this is a joke. Snakes everywhere. You know, I can take you to my yard. I live in India, by the way. You know, <clears throat> I am in Bom Bombay. But like the way this guy said it, like it's mm. on another level. Like I don't think anybody will beat him. Uh, so are you saying your prophet he lied when he said that? that there's two angels will hit you I'm with the hammer. I'm not saying anything about my prophet. I'm saying how this guy presented it. 
That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but he, this he is just saying what your prophet said. He he said it, but he also like said what is <laughs> what. Like he explained it with his own interpretation and stuff. Mm, okay. And he he also put in there a story of the camel in Saudi. Like this is not a true story. That, you think this is not a true story? Is that a true story? Well, for sure. You know, me myself. I don't have feet no more. I did hit a camel, which was sting by a scorpion, you know, and now I don't have feet. They, they are melted. What? I mean, why you are making fun of the guy? I mean, how come the prophet's story makes sense and the story of this guy, it doesn't make sense? No, no, it, it makes sense to me. I'm saying, like, I have to see what is authentic or not. But what he said about the camel, that is what makes me laugh. Okay, when the angels, they will come to you and they will hit you with the hammer. Is that a stupid story for you or it makes sense? No, no, that is a very true story. That is a okay. very severe... Why, it's a, why? What makes sense about it? <clears throat> uh, they will hit us with hammer. Hmm. What is, what is making sense? What is making sense? Why the angels are using hammers? I mean, it is a form of punishment. You can ask God why he chose that punishment. But the person is dead. He should not feel anything. Uh, look, that is a life of barzakh. Hmm. You know, that's hmm. different. Okay. Like same in, uh, after Allah will resurrect and then he will send people to Jannah and Jahannam. Mm. And in Jahannam, people will not be alive, nor they be they will be dead. You see here, they are not only using a, a hammer; they are using a sledgehammer from Home Depot. Mm. Yeah, look, it's in front of you. The angels they will go and get a sledgehammer from Home Depot, and they will take the guy. And those hammers they are enough to destroy mountain. The guy is a guy. I mean, mm. if the hammer can destroy a mountain. So they will hit the guy and he will become a dust. I also heard about this sledgehammer. Hmm. Uh, stories from Muslims that they say hmm. even all mankind come together, they cannot like move this hammer by an inch. Yeah, I saw the movie of Thor, you know. I think this is the Thor hammer. No, you cannot say Thor because Hela broke that th th Thor's hammer. I did not get that, sorry. I, you know, you're right. You get the point, brother. <laughs> I, I get that point but that's not really like fit in this story <laughs> all right my friend well thank you for calling me we have enough yeah. enough time it, you know it, it, and it, now we, you you said you promised there's tons of things you will check in so you have a lot of things you know enough to work with forever but yeah, i yeah. want you to promise me to contact zach and i to tell him when you will have the courage to let not don't call Christian Prince, he will call you. When you will do that? Tell him this guy keep keep saying that Zach and Nick is a potato. He don't dare to, to to talk to me. Just tell him that. Why you don't talk to yeah, him? Yeah, I will tell him. No problem. What he will lose? He will refute me like he refute everybody in two seconds. Brother and sister, right away, you know. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to take if you if you if you make a post in Facebook and he answer you take a screenshot. If you if you call and you know record the audio and you know give me the video, mm. all right. Also about Uthman too, I will do that. All of them, all of them, all Muslim, not even without names. All the Muslims who they claim they can refute me, they are more than welcome. And as you see, I was very easy with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. All Obviously, right. we talk like six hours. All right. Well, thank you, my friend. It's and very late in New York too, like. This is the first time me talking to you. That's why I wanted to talk to you. And yeah, but after six hours, you did not leave Islam. <laughs> I think somebody I hit you with the hammer. <laughs> the first thing I said to you was, I want to talk about Christianity, but you came to Islam. Then yeah, we I will talk to you about Christianity as much as you want. If you are a person who decides to leave Islam, then uh, okay, well, you know, let's talk about Christianity. But everybody knows my topic is Islam here. Correct? It's not a secret for you. So for me, why I want to waste my time with somebody who say to me, I don't accept this and I don't accept that. And you mentioned to me about the Bible, I answered you. Did I say I will not answer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so whatever you ask me about the Bible, I answer them. Even though mm -hmm. this is not my topic, but it's okay. You know, I'm here to help you. 
But as you say, yeah. Islam, you know, this is my belief, I say to you, Islam is a very stupid religion, full of fiction stories, and none of them make sense. And the Muslims, they are desperate to try to make it look, sound, make sense. But as you see, all those, they, they, you know, okay, if this is true, why Allah did not say to Muhammad this story in the Quran? Where Muhammad is getting this information from? If you say to me, the angel told him, well, angels don't speak except what Allah told him, correct? Yeah. Okay, that's it should be Quran. So all those hadith you see, if they are really true, and Muhammad is a true prophet, then he should not have anything beside except the book of God. This is what happened to Musa. This is what happened to all the prophets. Mm -hmm. There's nothing called hadith. Musa said, it's in the Bible. Elijah said, it's in the Bible. There's no hadith even though it's the prophet saying so when the prophet he speak and if this prophet claim that every single word he is saying is coming from his god then this story should be coming from allah because this is all is unseen correct yeah who knows the, what will happen to the grave nobody save who god supposedly okay so if this god is the one who taught muhammad this story well this is story to be true at least put it in the Quran. But we cannot find it in the Quran. We mm. cannot find anything about this hammer and the point and the scorpion and what is that? So if this is if this is Allah speaking to the angel, like what Allah he was sitting with the angel telling him stories, this is stupid, this is silly. This is not, this is this is a grandma at the age of two hundred years telling a story to her neighbor who cannot even hear. This is deaf talk. So you need to ask yourself, it doesn't matter how much you want to be stubborn to leave this cult. This is cannot be from God. God don't say stupid things. Like when Muhammad, he says that angels, they, they cut his chest and they clean his chest. And then they stuff his, uh, uh, his vein with uh, wisdom and faith. Uh, but the companions say, I saw stretch marks, right? I mean, my friend, my friend, this is, this is, a, the, uh, the, most of them, they fabricate the stories to confirm a fabricated story, but think about it. Have you ever heard of a God? He sent wisdom and faith in dishes. To clean his heart, I think he did that. No, 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 I'm not talking about to clean. First of all, secondly, isn't it Allah, he says, if he wants something, he say be. So Allah cannot clean the heart of Muhammad without making a surgery. Secondly, what heart? They cut from his throat all the way to his testicles. In the same time, they wash everything inside. Why? Muhammad is very filthy. In the top of that, they brought with them a dish, a dish full of faith and full of wisdom. Since when faith come in dishes? What do you say? Are you there? Hello. Us, uh, so we answered the phone of somebody without knowing. How how we switched this guy? Maybe my mistake. Hold on, Jihad. I will take your call after we finish here. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Where is this guy? Text me, text me, uh, Noor. Where is, where is his name? Okay, here we go. Yeah, first, you know, this guy, he called and this is the call is switch. I think I hit enter. So, uh, uh, since when, Wisdom come in dishes. What do you think? What happened? You weren't listening to me? No, I, because somebody called me and by mistake, I think I hit enter and I accepted his call. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think about that? Uh, Allah, he sent a dish full of faith and wisdom. I mean, what do I think? I mean, it's Allah's choice. What can I say? But okay. But do you believe that wisdom is something physical and faith is something physical? We can install it. I don't know. See, I'm not a very technical person. 
this is not about technical see this is what i don't like about muslims i ask them you know simple questions suddenly it's about what happened? I well, I'm, hear you. I'm asking you about technique now i'm asking you about uh, technical Hello. i'm here with you oh your mic is muted okay what about now do you hear me now do you hear me yeah now i hear you okay this is this is about technical now i'm asking you is wisdom is something physical uh, i mean it could be physical too it could be since when it could be i'm trying to understand how that can be you know how that can be that faith is is physical so now if we take you to the laboratory we can take some of your blood and then we will find in the laboratory a faith and wisdom uh, for normal human beings we are not talking about normal uh, human Muhammad beings. is not a normal yeah he he is uh, something else. he's not normal I agree with you nothing normal about him yeah he, he is very great. but look what happened now Allah he had to make a surgery for Muhammad to install wisdom why he was a fool no he was a human so yeah but okay hold on did Allah made a surgery for Moses to install wisdom for him uh, no Moses is much different than Prophet Muhammad okay so Moses because he's a Jew he's a smart are you saying that no, I'm not saying so that. So why Allah he need to make a surgery to install wisdom to Muhammad if he do not need wisdom? If he is wise, you do that only if somebody he have a lack of intelligence. I think Allah wanted to make him very much, much better than he already was. Hmm. But okay, so Allah He made him a surgery, and because He want him to make him better, because Muhammad He was not better. That's what you are saying. No, He was already better, but Allah wanted to make him even much better by removing uh, some of the stuff uh, that is there in his heart. Who is the one who put those stuff in his heart? I mean Allah, Allah put that in every single human. So Allah, he put that in his heart and now he want to make a surgery to take it from his heart? Yes, that because hmm. that is showing that he's a human and Allah removed that human. How much now, be honest with me, how much you look different from this guy in the video, which you were laughing at? You, you are the same. Look what you just said. Allah, he put something in his heart and now Allah want to clean his heart. From what? For something he put in his heart. Why? Because he want to make him better. So Allah make him worse. And later he want to make him better. So Allah decide, oh, oh, I made Muhammad worse. And now I want to make him better. Remember, you are the one who said he want to make him better. So now he sent two angels. The angels, they put Muhammad in the table. They chop his chest all the way and they take off his heart and he took all the material and all his, his stomach and everything and they wash it with the water of Zamzam and that will make him better. Explain to me. Now again, my knowledge is very little. That's why, you know, you can obviously you and everybody else can make fun of me. Okay, I'm, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying you were laughing at this guy in the video. Because, you are saying yeah. the same thing because wisdom, anyway, I mean, who in the world would I believe that wisdom, you just say that maybe wisdom is something physical. You said that. Mm -hmm. I said faith. Is it physical? You said maybe. Since when? Faith is a physical? Uh, okay, you know what I will do? Uh, I will try to get somebody with knowledge to speak with you, inshallah, next time I contact you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. And Yeah, all right. Take care. Bye. Yeah, it's possible. Let us see Mr. Jihad. He called me, even though we are here for many hours.
or he isn't answering so as you see he was laughing at the guy in the video but you know he doesn't sound different anymore suddenly who okay Allah want to make him better by doing what by doing a surgery that's weird so all this time Muhammad was a prophet but he is not better and now we need to do a surgery for him and what we do we take all the material in his chest and we wash it with the water of Zamzam okay now after we wash it with the water of Zamzam what happened Hmm? Read with me carefully. So those angels, they did not talk to him till they carried him and they placed him beside the will of Zamzam. From among them, Jibreel. Jibreel is the surgeon, you know, he had the, the chopping machine. He took a charge of him. Hey, Jibril is a surgeon, see? He cut open the part of his body, which part? From his chest all the way to his testicles. Between his throat. All right. Hello? Is it too late for you? No, my friend, it's okay. As you see, usually I don't take really calls at night, but we start very early. Maybe you want to go to sleep or something. No problem. We can speak for a little bit. What do you, what do you think about the topic we are talking about? Well, you you and that Indian guy were kind of all over the place, so I don't know exactly which well, topic. Uh, you know, he is asking me. I go with him, and you are no better, Jihad. Always, you are you yourself. You are all over the place. Here we go. I ask you, what but, do you think about this topic? You are, you know you are all over the place already. Can we have a discussion about numbers thirty one? See exactly. You are all over the place. Because, but you never, you. you never gave me an opportunity to discuss that with you. Okay, I but never we, have, once we, have a, we have a topic. We are talking about it. So now you want to be all over the place. But you, but you never gave me an okay. opportunity tell to discuss about, that. With tell you. me about this one, and then we will go to number what? Numbers thirty-one. Okay, tell me about this one. What do you think about the prophet receiving? Okay, okay. receiving a dish of wisdom. Uh huh. Well. Just as the Bible speaks about parables and metaphors, hmm. in Islam we have the same thing. So, you know, it, it, I don't, I don't believe that it's a literal cutting of his chest uh -huh. and, and placing wisdom and stuff like that. I hmm. mean, we, we we have things that are metaphoric. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And sometimes you don't apply the same logic or the same you know understanding that you have of the bible to the quran you mm. you have a double standard whenever it comes to the bible you will say this is what it is you'll make an excuse for it because okay. no i will go that's with you. why no, you have I will a bias you. you see here here you see how how jihad he playing as a hypocrite i challenge you in front of everybody to show me one muslim scholar even one muslim normal muslim saying that this is a parable Either you show me the proof, or you are a hypocrite who is trying to make something very embarrassing look as something else. So the challenge in the front of everybody, show me. Go ahead. Well, this is in the hadith, isn't it? My friend, you just said it's a parable. Show me. I don't care for more. You will show me. Go ahead. I'm listening. I didn't. I, I didn't say it was a parable, but I said it was metaphorical. Okay, show me. What do you mean show you? Where it says it's a metaphorical, it says a blood vessels, it says they cut his heart, they said they took all the material from his, his stomach, and now you are saying to me, this is metaphorical? Prove it, go ahead. It depends how you want to interpret it. I'm asking you, how you come to the conclusion that this is a parable, otherwise you are a hypocrite liar. You are all over the place. Well, either it's a metaphor or it actually Don't tell happened. Me either or or or. I want the answer. Is that a metaphor or not? If it's a metaphor, give me the proof. Okay, maybe it's not the metaphor. Maybe it literally happened. So why is that so hard to believe? Okay, so you agree with Muhammad that Allah He sent to him a dish full of wisdom and dish full of faith? If the hadith is specific that it is literal and it says that it's 
that his chest was cut open, then yes, I believe it. Okay. I believe in miracles. So why a second ago you were lying to me saying it's a parable, it's a metaphorical. What happened now? Did because you... I didn't read it. Oh, no, I know. But because I challenge you to prove the lie you mentioned, so now you give up because you have no proof. You are lying. Correct? So this is a trick. Most of them they use with someone, not me, other Christians. They say it's a parable. They say it's a metaphorical because the Christian will not ask him, okay, well, as you say, no problem. Okay. But as you see here, Muhammad, he proved himself to be a false prophet. Why? Because if this story happened for real, as Muhammad he claimed, and the angels, they have to do a surgery to install wisdom. That means Muhammad, before the surgery, was a fool. Do you agree? No, I don't agree that he was a fraud. So why they, no, I'm not saying fraud. I'm saying he was a fool. Well, he, he had to be, uh, you know, he had to have his wisdom replenished. What? In the sense that, you know, always as, as a human being, you want to increase your faith. You want to get closer to Allah. Uh-huh. So, so what does this have to do with the getting closer to Allah? Muhammad is created by Allah already, correct? Yes. Okay. Muhammad designated Allah, he designated Muhammad to be a prophet before he created him, correct? Yeah, he was a prophet, yeah. No, no. Before he, he was created designated him. to be a prophet, Allah, he wrote okay. for him. So to now be a prophet. Allah decided to do maintenance because Muhammad is not a qualified. He decided to do maintenance because he is he is what? He is not qualified. Otherwise, why he is doing this maintenance? If who is the one who created Muhammad, who designed Muhammad? Give me the name. Allah. Okay. So Allah he made Muhammad, and now Allah is adding repair to Muhammad because Allah he did a surgery to fix something in Muhammad. What he fixed? Muhammad have a lot of dirt inside, and this is number one, correct? So, but 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 that's your takeaway from it. I'm not. It's this not, what, this what the hadith is saying. Don't tell me my take. This is what the hadith is saying. They took what is inside and they wash it with zamzam. Even it says uh, what uh, alaqa. There is there is a there is a bad blood inside him. Inside your prophet, there is a bad, dirty blood. Alaqa. So, okay. Okay. So they wash his chest, which is full of dirt. And they they increased. They increased his faith. They increased his wisdom. Before they we go, increased okay, his IQ. On. Bef okay, guys, did he say? Did you hear it? They increased his IQ. Did you say that or me? They did. Okay, but you just said they increased his IQ. Did I hear you correctly? I said that. Okay, that means Muhammad was stupid. Because why he need to fix his IQ if he was a smart? But when I say increase, does does it mean he's stupid or or did it just get better? Well, no. So maybe but, maybe, but, maybe 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 Christian Prince has an IQ of one twenty, and Allah came no and, and washed My his friend, brain, and now well, he's one thirty. Well, hold on. So you are saying to me that Allah he found that Muhammad he have a lack of intellect and he decided to fix it. Well, when I say that, I mean uh, in terms of knowledge. So he, he gave him more knowledge. No, you he are gave the one who said. Wisdom. You are the one who said IQ. Don't swallow your tongue. Everybody heard it. Yeah, I said it. No, not knowledge have nothing to do with IQ because a person he can be so smart, but he don't have too much knowledge because he did not get the opportunity to go to school. What does have to do with IQ? IQ is the level of intelligence, and you are the one who mentioned it. So your prophet was a fool, and now Allah he said to himself, how am I going to make this idiot a prophet if he is a fool? So let us increase his IQ, correct? I I I I don't I don't see it as as him being a fool, but I I see it as the, the prophet alayhi salam being improved. Uh, he was guys, he's been improved. So he was what before uh, before the improvement? He was a prophet doing the best he can. And he uh, he was good still. And mm. then he became better. This is how I see it. Okay. Now, do you want to tell me how I should think? Okay, hold on. So now Muhammad became better. How a person who became better, he say, that they installed a dish of wisdom and faith in his vein. To increase his iman. 
Okay, so you put faith and wisdom in the veins? Yes. Is that something new or something old? It says here, and then Jibreel stuffed his chest and throat, blood vessels with it. Do you, do you believe in the unseen? This is not unseen. Muhammad blood is a blood. Muhammad vessels are vessels. Muhammad the throat is a real throat. It's not unseen. So don't give me but the But I'm, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to no, tell I'm, you. I'm, no, don't tell me. I'm asking you. Is there where is that where faith is located? It is in the in the blood of Muhammad or in the heart of Muhammad? The way I understand it is that th there are things that are unseen and that that only my friend Allah has, no has an understanding you, of. You see, you are the one who now is all over the place. Who is talking but about? But I'm, I'm, I'm on the topic. Did I jump? No, you are I, jumping. Did I jump? Um, you are jumping. Who care about the unseen now? This is not unseen. This is seen. Muhammad blood okay, is seen. Okay, so, so but but okay, okay. no. But, but, the, but Allah, the point is, okay, why he opened his veins. Why he put Allah the in his veins? Okay, no problem. How Allah, the angel of Allah, he stuffed. Do you see the word stuffed? Yeah, I see it. Okay, explain to me. How such a thing happened? He stuffed his vein with wisdom and faith. Go ahead. What I'm trying to tell you is the angel hmm. placed more wisdom uh -huh. and faith inside of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. What do you mean he inside him? Please don't speak to him. No, not inside him. In his vein, not inside him. He installed it in his in his vein only, not inside. That's him. what the hadith says. Okay. That's what happened. All right. But so so the now, way the so, way you understand things because you're a, you are, we are humans. That's why the way we ah, understand things. But this story is taught to be to us to the human, correct? Right. Correct. Okay. But, so the human they will understand as a human understands. So the story is meant to be understood by a human, not by God. But the but the way that it's done. What the way is done? Things. What the way is done, my friend? First of all, there's there are certain things that are done. First in, in of all, first, Allah first, first of all, first of all, first of all, did Allah did any surgery to any prophet before to increase his IQ? Not that I'm aware of. So how come only Muhammad he have a low IQ? But do we do we have the authentic sources of, of the other prophets? You, you Muslims, you are the one who says nothing of aware of that Muhammad never mentioned such a thing. The Quran never mentioned such a thing. The hadith mentioned only Muhammad, he did such a surgery. Allah he did a surgery for him. And you explained to me, you said to increase his IQ. Wonderful. Based on this, Muhammad was the only foolish man. Allah he chose to be a prophet and Allah he noticed that this guy is horrible. We cannot just let him do the job like this. We need to send maintenance guys to do a maintenance surgery and I will send with them two dishes. One is full of faith and one is full of wisdom. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. And, I, and he, he, needed to in, he needed to increase the prophet's iman and the prophet's uh and the prophet's uh ability to give the message okay. and to be able to talk to the people all right so now muhammad he got the, the he got better ability because of the surgery which allah he did to him using the angels correct yes okay but if we read the rest of the story we'll see that muhammad is being a fool now because after he the surgery is it still more stupid more than before the surgery read with me carefully is that your opinion oh, this is this is the, you will see this will be opinion you actually you are the one who said increase his iq right let us see if he okay. have, let us see if he have any iq or not okay here we go so now muhammad he have the surgery done they install wisdom and faith in his chest and in his veins and read now, it read the hadith I'm reading the hadith in front of us, okay? Now Muhammad, he went to heaven and he found the river of Euphrates there and the Nile River. Okay. Okay, but this is after the surgery. So after the surgery, Muhammad, he found that the river come, the river of Euphrates and the river of Nile is coming from heaven? 
is coming from heaven or he or he uh he went on or when he went on the mirage uh, he don't know arabic mirage not mirage okay listen so he is going up up to the heaven uh, muhammad he went to the seven heavens so now he went to the first heaven and there this is after the surgery this is not the fool muhammad now this is the smart muhammad he arrived there and he found the right the river of the nile river and the euphrates river coming from under the tree of allah in heaven yes in heaven yeah by what? the qadr of allah allah can produce you know anything uh, 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 listen, saying, uh, listen, so listen. What can it produce anything? The Nile River is in, in the in the sky now. Euphrates is oh, over. The, the, the Nile is... River is in Egypt. No, it's not. It's coming from Ethiopia. You don't watch the news. This is why they are going to fight about the river. So it's coming from Ethiopia, and the the, the Euphrates River. I hear myself twice. Mute YouTube, please. If your YouTube is unmuted, I hear myself twice. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so the the Euphrates River is in the north uh, in the south of Turkey, and the Nile River is in Ethiopia, in the heart of Africa. How Muhammad, after the surgery, he discovered that the rivers, those two rivers, are in the heaven of Allah in the sky. This is remember, this is after the surgery. This is because because Allah can 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 create this you see ah, what I'm saying so Allah now, can uh -huh. Allah he can create this this is another question you know you as a Muslim you believe that everything is, is, is there is created by Allah correct I'm not talking yes, about I who mean, created now I'm talking about the location but, but Allah can create different realities and different perceptions no 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 people. he's talking about the Nile River and Nile River and you see in the translation they say the source but in Arabic it doesn't say source it says he went there he saw two rivers he asked Jibreel what those rivers he said this is the Euphrates and this is the Nile River it says that it says that yeah it says that in the front of you we want to show you in Arabic here we go this is in Arabic it says وَهُوَ فِي السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا دَلَوَسَ sky. He, he saw bin Ahraini. So is it saying that this is the location of the Euphrates yeah, and the he Nile? Said, okay, he, he no, said he said he said what those rivers? He said this is the Nile River and this is the Euphrates. And those are the branches of them. So how come so how come you can't understand it to mean that you know Allah can create this picture, this reality? My friend, is you that, know, like when is that us a, when we go to heaven. We can have any reality we want, you know. If if I'm in heaven, right? Mm. If Allah accepts me into heaven, mm. you know, maybe I I was living, you know, in in a beach in Florida. Well, th this Florida can can be in heaven, just uh -huh. as it is on Earth. Oh, okay, yeah. You understand? Uh -huh. You it yeah. Like Allah can can do anything He want. Oh, Allah, He can do anything He want. But this is not a question. You see, are all over the place. We are talking, where is the Nile River right now? I know the Nile River is, as you mentioned, okay. in, uh, in Ethiopia. The, in, the time of, in the time of Muhammad, where was the Nile River? The same location it is today. Okay, so why it is in heaven? Because, CP, don't you understand that I'm trying to explain to no, you? No, I that don't understand. Go ahead. That Allah can create any kind of image that he wants. What image? So, this is, a, is, there, that, is that a real river or a fake river? Is that a picture in the wall? I'm trying to explain to you, okay, oh, okay. that that when 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 the Prophet salam, went to heaven hmm. in his night journey, okay. the 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 actual Euphrates River is where it is. Okay, but the Prophet can see it because when he goes to heaven. Hmm. Because Allah can produce and anything He wants hmm. as an image for people. You keep saying the word image. Is that a real river or not? 
he can produce the perception that the Prophet saw the Euphrates so and the Nile. So you are saying river. that Allah, he lied to Muhammad, he deceived him, he made him see the river there, but he's not there. Correct? He did not see a real image. Muhammad, he was. He, he, he was, saw it in heaven. You are the one saying, keep saying to me, Allah, he can produce image. It's you, who, it's you who explained it to me saying, Allah, he, he can, can produce, produce image. Did you say the word image or I'm, I'm, I, 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 I am being deaf? It is you who keep repeating, Allah, he can produce image. Image is not a real thing. It's an image. He can produce the reality okay. of the Nile so River. Is the Nile River there or it's down in Ethiopia? It is down in Ethiopia. So but how the Nile River you. is in there? This is Muhammad after the surgery. So Muhammad, the foolish man, he do not know that in the time will come and people will know where the river coming from. If he if, is he saying that the location of the of the Nile River is, is in heaven? Yes, read it carefully. He asked the angel, "What is those two rivers?" He saw two rivers. He said, "What are those rivers?" He said, "The angels." He said to him, "Well, this is the Nile River and this is Euphrates." And not only that, this is your Muslim translation saying. The, these are the source of the Nile River and Euphrates. They changed it? Well, in Arabic, it doesn't say source. It says, That's what I'm saying. It, it, says, it says that those are the branches, or let us say, the main line of the Euphrates and, uh, you know, the Nile River. Which can be the same. We can say it's the same as source, but it's not exactly really. Okay, so you cannot understand this as as in heaven and anything can be created for you, any kind of reality. Okay, Allah so that Allah, this, that Allah created two Nile River? It's possible. Yeah, but that that will not that will make Muhammad more stupid. Because, so, but you, but, but hold on, see, you, you believe in Allah. Hold on, hold on. No, I don't believe, believe in, Allah. in no, Allah. I don't believe in Allah. Allah is a shish kebab. Hold on. Listen, what listen, do you mean? Listen, it you're, says if you're it's, Christian, you okay, believe no, in No, we don't believe in Allah. Don't, don't go there. Hold on, don't change topic. So look with me. It says he did not say this is a Nile River. He says a Nile. You speak Arabic, you know what El means, correct? El yeah, Nile yeah. and Al Furat. So this is what people know. Al Furat, not Furat, not Nile, and Nile, which means the Nile River. The Furat. The Euphrates. So he add the EL before it because it is what you know. The river you know, the Nile River you know, the Euphrates you know, this is where they are coming from. Correct? Okay, well if if, if that's if if that's the if if it specifically says that that's the location, the exact latitude and longitude of the actual Nile River, <laughs> then that's wrong. You see, but if it's you see, you see, uh, you see, uh, 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 jihad. I am here for what more than seven hours, and people they claim that I don't have patience. And look how Muslims they play all kind of games with me, trying to defend a stupid statements. If this is the attitude and attitude, what is that? I mean, the CSCP, you, can, what, you need on. to have concrete evidence. It's in the front of you. The guy he went up, he did not go down. He did not go in the land. He did not travel over a donkey. Actually, it's a donkey. He took a burak. Okay, is okay. Let me ask you: What is the location of Muhammad alayhi salam in this hadith? What is his location? Supposedly, now he where is, is he? now he is in the lowest heaven. Muhammad he told the Muslim there is seven heavens, and this is the lowest one. So now he entered the lowest one, and not only that, just to show you how stupid the story is, because when Muhammad he entered the heaven. Okay, let me ask you, when an angel, and his name is Jibreel, and he is the head of the angels, he is the command, and he have a prophet with him, his name is Muhammad, how they can get to heaven? Can you tell me? He can, they can go to heaven. Okay, I understand, but how, how Jibreel will open the door? What will happen there? There's a door? Yeah, he, he, will, he will knock on the door. Okay, and what will happen? He, guys, he will knock at the door. Okay, and? Come on, my friend. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Tell me what will happen. Then Jabril, you will knock at the door. Here we go. What is next? But, but, 
we can ask the same questions about any any religion listen you can ask as much as you want and now don't you see you are all over the place again you claim that the other guy he was all over the place it's you who's all over the place i'm sticking with the top no you are not i'm asking you now first of all if jibreel is an angel of god and he is the commander of the angels he knock at the door what the angels they will say to him who they are in charge of the door they will let him in okay let's read what we have prophet after the surgery he said your prophet he says uh, he arrived to the first heaven and he knock at the door as you say it doesn't say here knock at the door but they ask him from behind the door who is it the angel is asking Jibreel who is he what do you say they asked who is he yeah they said who is it the guy he knock at the door the angels, they are asking Jibreel, who is it? You mean like before they, they knew who it was or they went to, to go friend, look at them? With you? Take it easy. Uh, Jibreel, he come to the door. He look at the door. I'm trying, I'm trying my best to okay. stick with the topic. Okay, okay. stick with you. the topic. You are being slow. You are the one who need the eye surgery, not Muhammad. So listen, he came to the door. They knock at the door. And then the one behind the door, the guards, the angels, the guardian of the, the, the gate, they said to him, they said, who is it? What do you say about this? They don't know this bridge you breathe? Or maybe they cannot see him. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they cannot see him. Ah. So Jibreel, he is an angel. He have a physical body who cannot enter the go the door of, of the gate of Allah or the heaven without the door open, correct? Is that what the hadith is saying? And my friend, the hadith is saying that he cannot get in unless they open the door. But as we know that Allah, he created the angels, and this is the head of the angels. Have you ever heard of, a, of, of gods? They do not know the leader of the army. The leader of the army, he come to the door, he knock at the door, and then they say, who is this? Yeah, this, this sounds like a bullshit. Thank you. This is bullshit. And not only that, look what it says. He said, just as you breathe. Look at this. They said, who is it? The guy, he said to them, like, I am Jibreel, you idiot. But I, I, when it comes to religion, I try not to ask any questions. You know? Uh -huh. As a, mat a, as a matter of fact, I was at the Jum'ah prayer yesterday, uh -huh. and the khutbah that the sheikh was giving hmm. was saying, do not ask any questions. When Allah and His Messenger give a command or give a decree or give a law, mm. we cannot say anything. Mm. And if we ask too many questions, mm. we became disbelievers. Exactly. So that's why I don't so like to ask they want questions. You to be, they want you to stay low IQ because they, why they are saying don't ask questions? Because if you ask questions, you will become disbeliever. This is, a, this is in the Quran. Uh, you know, uh, uh, verse 101, chapter... I heard this uh, at the yeah. khutbah yesterday yeah. at the Jum'ah. Yeah, so ask not, chapter 5, verse 101, ask not questions, because if you ask them, verse 102, you know, you will leave Islam. You are right, because Islam cannot stand the question. Islam is a religion of low IQ. And you just said the word bullshit. Sorry, you are the one who said it, not me. Describing what? A story told by your prophet why because we start questioning the story you discover this is bullshit and it's you who I mean, said it, the it, word it, this sounds like a like a, i mean that story it just it just sounds like a cartoon story thank you very much guys did you hear it jihad is saying this is sound like a cartoon story so this is why i said to you muhammad after the surgery is more stupid than muhammad before the surgery because muhammad after the surgery and you admit it now he is making a cartoon story Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say one thing before you accuse me of anything. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. is the reason why I so I I saw a debate between you and a guy named Sheikh uh, Doctor Rohi. Okay, correct. Okay, and I saw that man himself as a Sheikh. He was denying Sahih al Bukhari. So if 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 a Sheikh himself is denying it, why is it wrong for me as a normal because Muslim to deny it? Because he's a hypocrite. 
because all of because us he's a know, sheikh so i have to follow no his because he's a sheikh he have to lie you see the muslims they debate to win the argument not to win the truth because everybody knows that if you deny al-bukhari then you have no religion no more because all of islam is in the bukhari not in the quran it's the Bukhari says no muta. It's the Bukhari says how you get married. It's the Bukhari says how you divorce. It's the Bukhari describe how you pray. It's the Bukhari describe how you fast. It's in the Bukhari. Everything is in the Bukhari. Even how to clean your penis. So when you deny the Bukhari, simply they are embarrassed, and they deny it because it's embarrassment. And you you just say to yourself, it is sound like a cartoon. Yeah, so, a lot of stories in Bukhari do to me. Okay, but the Quran is no better. The Quran is more stupid too. But let us focus together. So, your prophet now he have a surgery, and after the surgery he is making this stupid story. And look, they said, who is accompanying you? Those guys do not know. They never heard of Muhammad. You know, if you go to any uh, place, you will see that the guards they've been given a name. There's a guy he's going to come to visit me. Let him come in. They didn't know. They didn't know Jibril. They didn't know Muhammad, who was with you? He said to them, this is Muhammad. They said, oh, he was called? Like, what the heck? The security, they are the last one to know. Okay, yeah, this story doesn't sound correct to me. I don't I don't agree with it. Yeah, but this story keep going, keep going, keep going. And then the story get more stupid. Muhammad, he go, and Allah, he gave him 50 prayer. I don't want to read the whole story for you because it's more stupid. It's more dumb. Okay. Repeating the same thing each time they arrive to the, you know, they say, who is with you? Who is it? What a dummy religion. And I mean, my, that just doesn't sound like it, it, it has anything to do with, with, with Allah or with anything like, you know, that makes sense. It just hmm. sounds like okay like like a like a like a cartoon hmm. this it's, is a story it's a cartoon thank you now look allah he gave muhammad 50 prayer how many he gave him he gave him 50 but he was because he went he went to allah and then he came back to musa uh -huh. and musa said go go back and and, and negotiate you are the one who mentioned cartoon story. Does it sound this one is a cartoon too? I don't know how how anybody. But, Jihad, I, I want you to be honest. You go to a store, or let's say you meet a businessman, a person he is very high. Okay, and then he he's said, very what? He's very high, like he is like high rank person, you know. And he said oh. to you, if you want to deal with me. Let's say he is your boss, the big, big, big boss. You say you do 50 times push up, push up. Do you really dare to go back and negotiate with him to make it lower? Remember, we are talking about God. This is God. This is not a boss. So Muhammad, he came back. He saw in the way Musa's, Mushe. Mushe is a Jew. He's good in mathematics, not like Muhammad, the low IQ. He said to him, Muhammad, Khabibi, Muhammad, tell me what happened, Khabibi. Muhammad, he said to Musa, Allah, he gave me 50 prayer. Musa said to him, Khabibi, Muhammad, Khabibi, Muhammad. You cannot handle 50 prayer, Muhammad, Khabibi. Go back to Allah and ask him for discount. This is a Jewish story. Discount? You ask God for a discount and who is the one who is behind the idea a Jew so if not Musa's was there you Abdul today you will be praying 50 prayer which is impossible this is stupid because if a human being he sleep only eight hours but we sleep more actually there's no way we sleep eight hours but let us go with the eight hours 16 hours a day is the day we are up and now we have 50 we are going to divide them to 16 that's mean we have to pray three prayer every one hour if you prepare yourself to the prayer it will take you at least 20 minutes that's mean you will not even have time to live that is the most stupid story ever actually it is uh, uh, 3.125 and what it will be so 50 prior why Allah is a stupid, Allah is a fool, 
Allah do not know that this is not right. And remember, you said that Allah, he gave Muhammad a higher IQ. Okay, but Muhammad is still a foolish. He go, he, he you know, he get the, uh, the order of a prayer of 50. He don't question it. Okay, 50. Okay, we will do 50. When he go in the yeah, street... Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It okay, doesn't make sense. Hold on. When he go in the street, he see the smart Moses. Moses is a Jew. He's a smart. Muhammad is a fool. So Musa said to him, you idiot, what's wrong with you? How you can do 50 prayer? Go back to Allah. So remember, Allah, he did a surgery for Muhammad to improve his intelligence. But Muhammad is still a fool. And the one who correct the foolish Muhammad not to accept is a Jew. And the one who is correcting even Allah is a Jew. Because don't Allah know that this is not right? So Muhammad, he go backward, forward, backward, forward. The 50 became 45, 45, 40, 43, 35. Like, you know, you don't even, you will be shy even to go to a grocery store to do that. I'm not going to go to a store twice. I okay, can you give me a discount? Okay, I'll give you a discount. $45. I mean, I just think that somebody, if they, like, how can they ask their Lord the question? How can you go to exactly. your Lord? How you can even ask him to change it? That's it. Allah, he gives like, order. It's like, how, how are you going to go, you know, I mean, this is not a, you know, a fruit market. Of, oh, oh, Allah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, let us negotiate the price. You're right. <laughs> what a stupid religion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work like that with with, with No, God. it work. Here we go. It work. This is Islam, my friend. What do you mean it doesn't work? It work. Look at this. It's working. People believe in this garbage. Yeah. Well, I. I... Yeah. I anyway, listen. I really my I, my my voice is tired. Anyway, YouTube will give us only eight hours to broadcast, and almost we are there, and we did not answer you about your. It's question. very late. It's very late. It's very late and I need to go, uh, you know, drink some breast milk. So, all right. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Don't drink camel urine. <laughs> you see, is it interesting? They call me to challenge me to prove me wrong. And then they are the one who come with the word, excuse my language, bullshit. They say this story is a bullshit. And the story is mentioned by their prophet. Is it amazing? They always, they come, you see, like, the bend in the person. Like the one before him, always he tried to escape the embarrassment by saying, I don't know, I don't need to ask a shake. But you know, he's trying, just trying to escape. It's reality. This guy, he started with, oh, you and the guy were all over the place. Ten minutes after, he said, his prophet story is a cartoon. Five minutes before, Allah is increasing his IQ. Fifteen minutes after, Muhammad is still a fool, and he agreed. <clears throat> what kind of religion this religion is? Muhammad, after the surgery, is more stupid from Muhammad before the surgery. The problem is that all of us, not only Muslims, Muslims, Christians, doesn't matter. We don't learn how to think deeply about the words we see in front of us. You see, people, they talk about high IQ, low IQ. I understand. There's people, they have high intelligence. There's people, they are average. There's people less than average. But that's not to make you a bad person. That does not make you a bad person. Let us say I'm not smart. That does not make me bad. But what makes me bad is to love to be stupid. To love not to learn. A person who have a low IQ, he can work harder to train his brain. And he can come maybe even with better result as work if he work harder from someone who have a higher IQ. It can be accomplished. But we read, and nobody want to read. We hear, but nobody want to hear, because they decide to be deaf. 
and the sheikh told them don't ask questions why because if you ask questions you will leave the cult Islam is a stupid Islam does not fit for questions while Jesus said read the books search search read the books he order you to search he order you to read to read not to recite they recite we read they repeat we don't repeat we understand this is cannot be a prophet this is a mad stupid man if Muhammad saying this story after the surgery how stupid Muhammad was before the story my throat is hurting me honestly I wish I can you know continue more and already it is 3 20 a.m. in the morning here for me so I think we have enough for today otherwise somebody else will call me and we will continue until tomorrow actually maybe some of you do not know I used to stay 12 hours 16 hours I know it's hard to believe but those people who used to come to my chat room in Palto they are a real witness they knew what I used to do but thanks to, to the Lord you know he gave me the ability to stay for long and we saved a lot of Muslims a lot you cannot believe it how many and now because our videos are recorded even the benefit is way better because time will come Christian Prince will go the Lord he said let the dead bury the dead that is a speech of a very wise God not man let the dead bury the dead all of us we are dead it's just a matter of time we will go but those videos will stay and those who talk to me and those who answer them and those who make comment they will be remembered and please don't forget you see I don't ask people to give a like because this is not this is, this is not really right you should like what you like you dislike what you dislike but I've been told that most the people are they don't do it unless you remind them which is strange do we forget to do what it should be done don't forget to make a comment after you watch the video don't you have your own thought after all this conversation nothing moved you nothing make you really need to say some words that would be a problem for you because if after many hours of debating you have nothing to say it's mean you were deaf and you were blind you heard nothing you saw nothing you are just one of those monkeys who they place them in Asia the deaf and the mute and the blind don't be just a monkey be an active person who speak the truth who use his brain who think and maybe you can come even with better ideas from what I just said I want you all to be part of the thinking of the brain which God he gave us it's a gift if you don't use it my friend it is your fault use the gift of God those who don't use it they don't deserve it and those who don't support their belief they don't have belief and those who don't care well God will not care for you because you don't care the Messiah he says knock at the door and I will open for you sadly many Christians they think that the door is going to knock by itself you have to knock at the door you have to come to the door the door will not go to you many of us became so lazy to the point we want Christ to do everything for us already he did a lot for you but you are not willing to do anything for yourself and we say to the Muslims 
all the stories we showed you today videos or non videos is coming from your books it is stupid you cannot deny it and how you can live with it how you can live with it how in the world anyone can accept such a religion now the video is long feel free to download it cut it pieces make it short caller after caller you do not need to keep one call for 10 hours make a topic we talk about many things okay there's a christian prince asking a muslim about this i don't you know i do not need to teach you how to do something good right so it's so long and i advise you to make it many short videos and that will help people like make a topic this topic is talking about this this part of the video like now jihad calling christian prince and jihad agree the quran or the story of muhammad is a cartoon give it a title based on what you heard all right so i want to say thank you all for being here and we really i wish i can stay longer but i feel i'm getting tired it's 3 25 a.m in the morning and this is the clock you see it it is a three 26 a.m so I wish I can actually I don't know if I will be able to to sleep now because the sleeping is gone but my throat is hurting so thank you all may the Lord bless you pray for all those Muslims who call us including this poor jihad and the, 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 the poor Muslim Noor and we encourage all Muslim sheikhs if your God is with you who could be against you you will win debating me don't worry be happy you will win if Allah is with you right so why don't do it but as you notice they never won and they will never win because we are the one who have the true God the true Lord and if the Lord is with me who could be against me if the Lord we depend on his name is the Messiah who is the judge in the judgment day even in the yellow pages of Muhammad if the Lord we depend on is the one who his name is holy chapter 19 verse 19 if the one who would depend on his name is the Messiah that name is alone is a miracle if the one we depend on he's born without father which means he himself is a miracle not only he do miracles nobody do he himself is the miracle if the one we depend on is the walking talking living word of God God on earth who could be against us so we are winners and we are victorious and doesn't matter how much discriminate you you will be the winner and actually discrimination make Christians better Christians Christians are lousy when they are not discriminated because they feel comfortable Christians under the threat Christians under the Roman Christians been giving food to the animals and to the beast are better Christians wonderful Christians this is why you see Christians who live in Islamic countries they are way better in belief and they fight way more for their faith and still they are Christians after all the discrimination for they are better Christian thank you all may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Muhammad is a cartoon I quote Mr. Jihad this is a cartoon I'm not going to quote the rest he said because it was dirty God bless you and may the Lord he opened the eyes make the ears hear and see with their own eyes the truth and the truth will set you free take care and be the blessed